What's going on, people? I'm King Riches, and you're on the King Riches YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe right now and have the notification bell ringing so you don't miss any of the quality content on this here quality channel. We've got something for everyone. We've got the street interviews, we've got the reaction videos, and we've got the podcast. Interviews, I go out there and ask the general public questions pertaining to dating, such as do nice guys finish last? And then on the reaction videos, I react to crazy stuff you see on the internet. And on podcasts, we go more in depth on issues pertaining to dating and men's self-improvement. So if you know you like content like that, make sure you subscribe right now and have that notification bell ringing so you don't miss anything. Do it now. Yo, what's going on people? King Rich is back again with another video, yeah? We got to the old subscribers, new subscribers. Make sure you're hitting the like button on this one. This one's going to be epic as always, yeah? And I've got a brand new panel of guests, yeah? And I'm going to move along to the panel and let everyone introduce themselves by saying their name, age, and a fun fact about themselves and their relationship status as well. All right? And let's start with you. Oh, me. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Rosa Diaz, and I am a radio host. Uh, I have a radio show. I'm 34, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> so you got a radio show, yeah? Hash, hash. You got a radio show. Yes. So what do you talk about on your radio show? What kind of show is it? Oh, it's a Latin heat. Um, Latin, Latin heat, heat, yeah? Yes, I'm Latina, so we do play... Um, Latino music mm -hmm. and talk a little bit about history, some fun facts, and yeah, it's on Flex FM. Okay, that's yeah. big. That's so, big. Yeah, we we we're, we're doing great. We we do have listeners all over the, all over the globe. I'm really proud. That's Been awesome. live for the three years now. That's awesome. Just cool. Cool. Awesome. All right, next one. Hi everyone. My name is Noor, and um, I am. 28 years old. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, fun fact, uh, fun fact about me. Yep. I believe I speak five languages. Je parle français un peu, falo português, e que prato Nederland. Um, hablo espanhol también. And um, yeah. Awesome. What so awesome. like like did you learn all those languages when you was really young or like as an adult? When I was young. Yeah. And um French, I'm still learning, but um, I used to live in, in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. in Holland, and then English, I taught myself just by listening to music. Serious? You taught yourself English? Yeah. <laughs> that's mad, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Um, and Portuguese, that's my language, because I'm Portuguese and Angolan. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Okay, that's it's, it. And then Spanish, because it's similar to Portuguese. <laughs> I want to learn, wanna, wanna learn Spanish, like Espanol. Yeah. Hola, baby. Hola. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Moved to Miami. There, there you go. <laughs> Tyrone therapy. You know what it is. Tyrone therapy. Anyway, uh, next one. Hi, my name's Andrea. I'm an early years educator, family practitioner. I'm 49, 15, two weeks time. Fun fact is I love talking. <laughs> uh, you're on the right show then. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's perfect. Awesome, awesome. Next one. Hi guys, my name is Esther Durin. I'm a singer, songwriter, rapper. 25 years old. I'm single and not ready to mingle unless you're <laughs> trying to give me a big rock. Um, and um, fun fact about me is I am a kingdom citizen, which is a cute like explanation for a Christian. So yeah, yeah. Okay, you said you're not you're not ready to mingle. Yeah, because the people that are mingling are playing around and I'm not here to play games, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Very. Uh, next one. Hey, guys, I'm Melanie King. I'm 41, um, and I'm a YouTuber, and also, fun fact, I interned at the White House. I grew up in D.C. Did you meet the president? At the time, yes. Damn, homie. Well. <laughs> Some years. So. All right, that's mad, boy. Was you like nervous to meet the president? Was he scared? Not really. I grew up in the Pentagon in the U.S. I don't know if you guys know what that is out here, but it's it's, it's the Pentagon. It's, the isn't Pentagon. It? <laughs> it's it's yeah. So I grew up in D.C. If you grow up in D.C., it's like it's that life. So you're not impressed by anything. Oh, boy, say nothing. Mm. All right. Last but not least, 
Hi guys, I'm Jodiak and Sanya. I am single. I'm not single. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> what fool? I've been with my man for a whole seven years. I think it's because everyone said they're single and I just like, I oh, have to that. that. You, you was with your man <laughs> for seven no, years. No, I'm with my man for seven years. Can you believe that? <laughs> He's watching right now. He's going to be cussing me. Um, I'm a fashion designer. I've got my own brand. And a fun fact about me is I went to boarding school from the age of 11 to 16. What what your fashion brand, what kind of inspires your fashion brand? So I'm inspired by my heritage. So I'm Nigerian and I'm Zimbabwean. So I'm very inspired by that and like colours and um, things like that. So I yeah. see the patterns. Yes. Thank you. I see the yeah. patterns. Melanie's Nigerian as well. Okay. So, yes, we did Ancestry DNA. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 30% Nigerian. Oh, so there we, oh. there we go. There we go. See, I threw off. She wasn't ready for that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be much. <laughs> all right, it's cool. Um, all right, so I like to do icebreaker with the ladies on the show. Um, first question I'm gonna ask you: looks, money, or loyalty? You can only pick two in a man, and everything else is the same. So, looks, money, or loyalty? You gotta give up one forever. Yeah. Oh. So, which two are you gonna pick, and why? And why did you get rid of the the third option? I'm going to pick money and loyalty. Okay. Uh, loyalty, you can't like buy that. If that makes like, I don't know. I will go for loyalty and money. Yeah, loyalty Give and money. Looks. So you with gotta... money, you can make the looks. Can you? Of course. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you know, yeah. fly them to Venezuela. Best doctors. Gonna he's come not, looking. He's not gonna get a BBL, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's there's a lot you know, that you, get, can get you with money. Nah, this is the thing. Like you see with that, yeah. Like you, you. I think that a lot of women might may be looking at it from, oh, if I want to change my body, I'll change this and change that. But like with a guy, if he's busted, he's gonna look busted. Doesn't matter. Good perfume. Perfume. Yeah, like smelling good. <laughs> that that's attractive. So the Dressing per- properly, that's so, attractive. So if he looks like a two, you're just going to spray some Dior Sauvage on him <laughs> and then now nah, he's, he's hot. Um, so I don't... I, uh, yeah, probably. Like, I, I don't know. These are the two things I would go for. Okay. Like, it, it looks are not it's okay. as important. It's okay. Live your movie. It's okay. <laughs> Live don't your feel movie. pressured. <laughs> yeah? You want your two? There you go. All right, cool. Next one. I probably will go with um, loyalty because it's rare and um, I am definitely a loyal person. So I just I, I, I hope to, you know, to get that in return and definitely with money because I don't care about looks. Um, my mother actually says that I, I date a lot of ugly guys. So hmm. <laughs> I really don't care about looks. It's just about I don't know. I Are they ugly and rich or are they just <laughs> ugly and broke? <laughs> Normally they tend to have money though, but I don't go for the. Oh, I don't. Interesting. I don't, but I don't go. I don't go for the money. It's just like you know. It just it just gravitates. It just to you. it just happens. Just it by just magic. Happens. It happens. <laughs> um, um, right. No, it just happens. But um, yeah, <clears throat> loyalty and money probably. Yeah, definitely. Okay, loyalty and money. All right. Uh, next one. Yeah, I definitely would say uh, loyalty and um, what was the other one? Looks, money, or loyalty? So looks obviously would fade, but lo- I would say loyalty and money, definitely. Um, I've been, in, I didn't say this before, but I've been married for 20 years, and I would class my husband as being very loyal. Mm. Um, I mean, it's a bonus. He's He's got a good looks as well, but I didn't go for that initially. But I would say long term, definitely. What did you go for initially then? It, his character. It was his character, um, his persona, and history, I spoke to people who knew him before. To, to, to oh, you got the work history. history. Yeah. The work, you got the it's CV. Like I, didn't even, I didn't even have to do research. Just people came to me and kind of like spoke about him and stuff and how loyal he was. So, yeah, it was, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're throwing away looks as well. I, I would definitely throw away because that, that would fade. That could fade. Yeah, but, what, yeah, that, but before it fades. Today. Yeah, but listen, before it fades, yeah. You're gonna have a long period of time where you're gonna be looking at his mug, Fact. at his face, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, if we, if we're really being real about it, I said looks. So he didn't say just face. It could be his face and his body that are dead. So, boy, that's a tough life. 
<laughs> well, initially, yeah, you would see the looks, isn't it? But I mean, yeah. I think with experience, sometimes you can be with somebody who's got good looks, but the character is nasty. And, so and if and you've got versa. good personality, and that's, what, that's what you're going to see. Yeah, but and vi- yeah, but and vice versa Definitely as well. Definitely vice versa, yeah. There you go. So you're just going to have to... <laughs> well, it's mad. All right, next one. Okay, so you said... So he said looks, him. money, or loyalty. Looks, money, or loyalty. Mm-hmm. So definitely loyalty. Mm-hmm. Because I think you can't buy loyalty. Loyalty is so important when you're in a relationship. That's what she so said. I can say it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same view system, so I can say it as well. Um, yeah, loyalty is important. Um, oh, it's difficult. Yeah. Because I really want my man to be good looking. Cause I know yeah. you do. Because I'm fine as hell, so it's only right. Like, what do you rate yourself out of ten? Ten. Why? Because I'm a ten. I don't need to explain that. But okay, no, but I'm just asking you your reasoning. Why do you think? Why do you say you're a ten? I think I'm beautiful with or without makeup. I think that's one thing I really love about myself. Like I love myself without makeup more, and I think a lot of women are not confident about makeup on. So I love that about myself. I have really nice. A eyes. lot of women think they're tens, though. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think most women? Do you think all women are tens? I think B is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say on that. But so you're your own beholder. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back to the question, and the question. Why? Is, why we? Why? Because I want to focus on the question. <laughs> no, because you, <laughs> what you said is a bit mad, though. What's mad? Because you said you're a ten, and yeah. then you said uh, looks in the eyes of a beholder, and yeah. I said, so are you your own beholder? And then you said, I don't okay. want to talk about okay. this now. I am my own beholder. Does that work for you? <sighs> Boy. All right, so back to the question. Reality is reality, isn't it? So, I mean, if that's what you think, calm What would it? you give her on a scale of one to ten? What would I give you, her? That, you can't use seven. Are Fresh face, out the shower, no makeup. Uh, can't use seven. Kevin what? Samuels. Me personally. Why are we rating me? No one else got rated. No, 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 that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll rate, we'll, no, we'll have a segment of, of rating everyone then. And you lot can say what you like about me as well. I don't mind. Okay. Cool. But that's later. That's but later. Yeah, we gotta um, move on. Go on. Make it spicy. So yeah, the main, <laughs> yeah, my main yeah, thing yeah. is looks and. You said looks. And, you only got two out of three. Looks and loyalty. So you're throwing away money. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Because the reality is, yeah, he could be rich and like a really ugly, terrible person. Yeah, like the ones these lot picked. That's between them and God, isn't it? But I just know loyalty and looks. I'd be happy waking up in front of him every morning, knowing that he's being loyal to me and he's good looking. Living in a cardboard box. No, I'd be rich. That's so okay <laughs> if he hasn't got money. Are you rich now? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah. come on. We thank God. You've been drilling and trapping, haven't you? No, I'm an artist, like I said at the beginning. Oh, mm. sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Are you a singer? And a rapper. Oh, you're a rapper as well? Yeah. Can you rap quickly, eight bars? No, you guys should go stream my music, Esther Durin, Spotify, yeah. YouTube. But you, know, you know the thing Run is, though, do you know the thing <laughs> is, though, like, bare people come here and say I'm a rapper and singer, and only, like, probably, like, two have actually, like, really All right, just put so this Because remember, a lot of people watch this. Yeah, let me you know give you saying? context in it, so I'll give you... No, 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 just rap or sing. sing. Just no. rap or sing. That's all. We don't want okay, no, we don't want no monologue. I can sing for you guys, but not rap. Go and sing then, sing then. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know I was going to be singing on here, okay You may not know right where you're going But I do, I do, I do And all the times you wasn't chosen Well, I'll make it up to you Ah, uh, that's enough, that's enough That's enough <laughs> Not the side eye Yeah, yeah, no, that's enough, that's enough <laughs> You said sing, right? That was yeah, no, yeah, I just wanted, I just, I, that do you know what it is? I just Thank wanted you. to see Because when great. people say they can do stuff yeah. On the spot, bruv Like, because you don't Because really and truly, you've met me today You don't know who I know or what I, who, who I am Do you get exactly. what I'm saying? And I just feel like if you say you're this thing you should be ready to Show do it. it. Like, yeah, do you get 100%. what I'm saying? Like, you said you can sing, gun. Okay. I'm telling you, don't be shy. You leave just one, so let it shine. I'm telling you to live this life. The time is now, don't let it die. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Get me gassed in here, bruv. <laughs> Loud. You ready to sing your song? Nah, I can't. I'm, I'm embarrassed on, now. I Why never said I'm a singer. You've been, you sung it three times said, on the last listen, video. Listen, I'm, mod- I'm, stra- I'm the moderator here, yeah? Okay. First of all, moderator. 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 That's jokes. All right, cool. She's trying to throw me off my square. No, all right, cool. Listen, looks, money, or loyalty, Melanie? 
looks, money, or loyalty. This is tough because it's complicated. For real. Because when you talk about looks, what do you mean by looks? Mm. Mean you said either face he's and good body? Look, face and body. Okay, he's but, great but, or trash. Okay, but okay. A guy can look great, but in where I am in life, when you talk about looks, it, it's a different kind of look like what he looks like in the bedroom. Bruh. Because that's uh, honest. Bruh, listen. That's, I'm sorry. You're, you're, sounding, that's where we're you're sounding like the women we talk about right now. Listen, no, listen, not. listen. I he looks care. trash. He either looks good or he looks trash. But he can hold it no, down. No, 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 he no, no. If down. his body's trash, his willy's a part of his no, body, No, it bro. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Does not, not yes, in this scenario, it is. is. Okay, okay. In this scenario, That's why I ask the rules. All right, cool. You're mad at me no, about asking no, no, the rules. No, 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 no problem. If you, if you want to if we wanna make it specific, <laughs> yeah, his body's trash, his face is trash, and his willy's below average. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You can't have everything in this world. That's well, what I'm looks, saying. Looks, I'm done with. Like, I'm good with looks. Um, so you don't. Ca- All right, cool, cool. Go on. Money. It's not about that he has money. It's the fact that he's he's got it out the mud. He's high achieving. Like he's he's grinding. I enjoy a man who works and mm-hmm. works hard. So whatever level of money, I don't know what money means to different people in here, but there's levels mm-hmm. to this. So what do you mean mm-hmm. by money? How how much money does he have? What money? So like, basically, you don't have, you don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about financial anything. Like, you don't yes. have to worry about nothing. A lot of people who are basic don't have to worry about bills. Nah, nah, I, th- nah, I think nah. That's like, are true. you talking about like I'm on private jet money, or are nah, you talking nah. about you know you can do, we you, can take a vacation a couple times a, a you can year. go you can basically do whatever. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It may oh, not be living whatever. like a flipping royalty, but you can basically live a great life. Great. Oh. I think women, let's not lie, women are drawn to success. So absolutely, it would be money. But to me, it would speak more of his hard work, unless it's given to him. I don't, oh, I don't value God. that. Oh, God. Trying just to just you, to, listen, you're trying to make it sound all sweet. And you put, already you're made him, to put, you're you trying made to put him the ugliest sugar man on earth already. You're trying so to put like, sugar in it. I'm working with it. Listen, I'm trying to work he's, with he's, it. He's, listen, <laughs> but yeah, also, you want the money, you want the peas, the pesos. Loyalty, and I would pick loyalty, but... Depending on the type of high value, if he's got money, he's a high value man. What mm. does loyalty look like? Does that mean he's sleeping with other women? If we have an arrangement, Probably. if he has an arrangement, <laughs> as long as he's to me, it's not loyalty, it's honesty. Like if he comes to me and we're already starting a relationship, he's this high value. If he's like, listen, listen, you, you, the, the one, you, my wife, but listen, a man has needs, a man spreads seed or whatever. Sometimes it's going to be a situation. I'll never embarrass you. She's not going to get your bag. Bag. She's not going to do this. Listen. Uh, so you I don't mean, mind sharing that, a guy, yeah? Calm. Um, he can't wife a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not. He's just. He's just banging, isn't he? Yeah, he's just yeah, piping yeah. them Because I know women have a hard he's time. He's just getting really hard and thick and veiny in other women, bro. Uh, That's all. But you already said it. It ain't working with none. So she don't want him like that. Like, let she. Yeah, but I never said how. I never said how big. I never said how big it is. Breaking my. You said it's not. You said it's. Did he not say he's not working with much? Yeah, I said mm. below average, but he might have thickness. But not length. That's above average if he has thickness. Oh, well, I don't know. Anyway, we've been stuck on that for too long. Yeah. So I, who did, what did you pick? Uh, what's it? Uh, money, money and what? That guap. Mon- yeah, guap. And what else? And uh, honesty. Loyalty. loyalty. His, his version of loyalty. So throwing away looks. His version of loyalty. You're throwing away willy and looks. There you go. All right, cool. Next one. I'm definitely going for looks and loyalty. Uh, I feel she like, knew exactly yeah, what it I was. Yeah, because I feel like you can always make money. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you can always make money. He can't. Girl. Why? He can't. Stop Why not? Cap. That's not Stop the rules. The you said, you said yeah. money Stop looks loyalty. Yeah. And you can always Stop make money. So, so why not? So are you throwing away money? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Okay. But in a scenario, if he could have made money, he would have already made it. That's the whole point. Why the, oh, the options there. Why you got for a spanner because in the works? No, it's not a spanner because it's quite clear. Because obviously, if I put money there, that means there's some men that were just like him that were able to do it. But he's not one of those. Men, that's Ooh. it. So if you don't, if you don't pick money, you're gonna take care of him, and that's your portion. Oh bro. no, no, no! I'm not trying to take care of anyone. So maybe <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with money and money and loyalty. 
money a lot so your friend looks away as well yeah mm. but then who's trying to look at someone they're not attracted to though these lot mm. no. oh these lot not me <laughs> I don't know about that that's a really hard question I can work with it I said I, I don't care about work it. With I, 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 really? don't change okay. your answers now <laughs> okay do you know what <laughs> I'm, I'm looking I'm looking in on money and loyalty then money and loyalty yeah I'm gonna have to so you're gonna be with a duck as well there you go anyway what about you though me yeah I'm the host of the show King Riches obviously hit the like button <laughs> hit the they like button right now money. yeah hit the like button right now you're damn right I don't care about woman's money I don't care All about right. so he already got looks and loyalty that, that men only care about looks and loyalty that's it well done Melanie yeah, like that. It's yeah. not even a question. No, no, money absolutely. would not be unless he's a uh, he's. Unless I don't know he's if you a guys say a pookie Bob, and a rare. Yeah. That's what we call it. Like he's a homosexual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. I'm seeing that. It's, 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 homosexual. 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 <laughs> it's real like that. It's real like that. That's the thing. Yeah. Like every every. Y'all like, know some, there's some homosexuals. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Every every like, like guy yeah. that you think of that is like rich, famous, blah blah blah. If they walk into Burger King and they see some stunner in there. Who wants to be or wants to be with him or play the part and be loyal? Blah. He'll scoop her up. Hundred percent. I'll yeah, scoop her up. Floyd did that. My producer would scoop her up. Security would scoop her up. I, I'm telling you, this is how mm-hmm. it is. But women think mm-hmm. about, oh, I've got money and I have real estate and but I can went I tell to this you, school. No one know. cares, bro. Only you care. Can I tell you though? Some I don't do think it's. Though. I don't think Some it's completely do true because mm-hmm. I find that. Men will find if you're in a sector where they want to be successful or you're a successful Mm. woman, not just money, but you have intelligence Mm -hmm. to like and you have a mind. I find men will if you ask men, let's forget money. Let's change it with another M, her mindset. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I think a lot of men will exchange if a woman is like support, you know, like she's, she's feminine, she's supportive. She can she's educated, not in school. But in terms of whatever so she's doing, and if it's a sector that you're in, this happens to me, I, I would say, almost every day. Same. And it is like, guys, because they know what I've done, and mm-hmm. they'll just, you know, want me to teach. And I'm like, I'm not teaching you the game unless you So do you think, do you you think, right. do you think guys would substitute loyalty for mindset? I think I think I think mm. so. Loyalty. Mm. I, don't I don't know. So. I don't Loyalty. Know. I think some guys. You don't are, care. I mean, no. you are no. tripping. No. You're, no. tripping. No. You're tripping. I mean, no. You're tripping. No. <laughs> no. 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 If he's doing that, he's using you. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. He's using you. That's so most saying, men, no loyalty will come above. Everything, everything, everything. everything. Yeah. everything. It's majority. everything. It is true. Yeah. You, you, as a guy, you don't mind. You'll drop a couple points down on the looks, looks for a woman that's just loyal. For a woman yeah. Loyal. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you can depend on her, okay, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I'm saying, like, this is yeah. why you lot are here, so you can learn something. Get me King oh. Riches. Get me. L O L. It's real. <laughs> it's real, man. But anyway, um, all right, next question, yeah? Next question. Would you delete Instagram for your boyfriend or your no, man? No. Raw. Yeah, I'm already no. saying no. Like, why? What? Tell me why not you wouldn't. Because, like, why? Do, the... Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. why? why? Like... Okay, let me let me make the scenario for you lot, yeah? Yeah, say, you, say it was you. I don't know you lot's Instagram. I haven't looked at you lot's Instagram yet. She's getting hot fan in so <laughs> No, because get it's me. just... It's... But listen, say it yeah. was... Because we all know what women, a lot of women typically post on Instagram, yeah? They usually... Post their body in provocative poses, in bikinis, in Hello? lingerie, and yes, because mm-hmm. if we can go, I swear, if we were to all go on Instagram Explore page, that would probably be the most you would Your see Explore on there. page, all of us. I don't agree, but okay. all of us. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we all know that exists. Whether you want to say not on my Explore page, anecdotal, but we know it exists and it exists quite a lot. Yeah? I think the so reality is you need to. It's like... not about, it, bro. Be real. Isn't that true though? It's not. Yes, not it is. But what? But what if your Instagram? Not, super, no, what if your Instagram to promote your business though? Like exactly. you're, 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 I'm, I'm using, giving you the. I'm, well, giving, you the, the I'm giving. I'm giving you. The, let me give you the situation. The All situation right. is this: boom. Say you're just a typical girl, typical woman. Typical. And you, yeah, typical common or commonplace who post typical content like me, selfies, body, tight dresses, going out, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And then the guy was like, you know what? And this is a guy that actually likes you and you like, yeah? yeah. And he's like, um, I want to make a commitment to you, but I just don't feel comfortable that, that you've got these kind of provocative pictures out there for everyone to see. It's given insecure. I was not gonna lie. It's actually given insecure. Go on, go on. Because, why is it insecure? Because why do you like if I if I've committed myself to you and I've mm-hmm. said, you know, we're we're in a relationship, I like mm-hmm. you, you like mm-hmm. me, or as far as to say as I love you, you love me. Mm-hmm. Why are you upset that I'm posting the Instagram picture? As long as it's not on a disrespectful vibe of like, you well, know, what if, if he does take it as disrespect, why does what, it? Because I'm posting the picture in a in a nice dress and going out. No, um, yeah, but it depends what kind of as I said, provocative. 
If it's, if it, I'm not talking about you. Unless it's your, unless it's your job and you're getting and you're getting money for posting. Most women are not making money. I mean, Instagram I'm not like somebody that. who posts pictures in my underwear. I on understand that, so but I, don't I understand know. that. I understand that, but most women are not making money on Instagram for posting really pictures. Something. But I feel like it's your body, your choice as well. Like thing, 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 yeah, and it's say. and it's his commitment, his choice. Mm, I don't know. What's what, what, hold on, what, hold on. What don't you know about that? No, but I just don't know how. I don't know how that correlates because, like, because he doesn't. What he? <laughs> there's a difference between posting. New, hold like, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. The the fact of the matter is, no man out there, any sensible man, is not gonna want their woman who they've committed to to be um, accessible to any strange men on the internet. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, in the first place. Then if you said, of course, why did you say it's insecure? No, because I think, no, because I think it's di- it's different. Like, you don't have to delete a whole Instagram, but you could say, babes, like, could you just you not be pictures. posting pictures of, of you and your underwear on Instagram? And then if, okay. you, if you're respecting your man, then you'll say, you know what? Yeah, of course. But, but to tell me to delete my whole Instagram is a mad Okay, well, so if he, if he, let's just say a lot, let's say 50% of your pictures were provocative or he perceived them as provocative. Right? Would you delete fifty percent of your Instagram? Probably, yeah. I'm not gonna okay. lie. All right, fair Can enough. I, okay, what I wanted to basically say is, before a man decides to commit to a woman, he needs to do his CRB checks. He needs Max. to do his research, like what you said. Mm. How, like, when you was married to your husband, that you like People got research people, about him yeah. before you actually started to be with him. A serious man that values himself and values his time would do his research before he starts talking to a woman and deciding to commit to her mm. in such a serious way. Mm. So in that time when you were doing your research, you didn't realize that your girl was posting pictures in underwear. You didn't exactly. realize that your girl was. And that is actually very you true. You didn't realize yeah. that she was over sexualizing herself and you still decided to commit to her. Mm. You still decided to take yeah. her to your parents. Yeah. You still but decided let me to just say this. Let me just can say I, can this. I just quickly let me just say it. Can I just quickly finish my point? So you've done all of that. You want to commit to me and now you want to come into my life and control and tell me yeah, what I'm doing when you could have just turned away and gone for the next girl mm-hmm. that doesn't already post those kind of pictures. And then you lot could have been happily married. Let me ask you a question. You, you know when you you know when you get into a relationship, do do you change your behavior from when you was single? No, personally, you don't change your behavior. In some no. way, in, no, in, in no. some way, in, in some, some way, she would. Don't. Yeah. What? Some women don't. Some <laughs> can I? Let me say when you say behavior, what do you mean no. behavior? Do you, you no. bruh, When you hold on, let me yeah. finish. Say your thing. Say your I thing. will say my thing. I'm the moderator. Yeah. It's my show. I will say it. I will. That's good. I don't need you to keep uh, giving me that. All right. Go on. All right. I don't need you to do that. You don't that. need to mimic me, but I'm here. No, but you don't need to keep speaking when I'm speaking. Okay. Say your point. Nah, because that's kind of rude to do that, to be I, honest. I'm not trying to be rude to you. Say your point. So as I'm saying, like, when you're, in a, when you're single, you behave as a single person. You are uh, open to people approaching you because you're single. You may not even be looking for it, but you are accessible as a single person. When you're in a relationship, especially if you're with somebody that you respect, you will not, you will not act as a single person. There will be a change. Even if it's a, a minor change, there will be some kind of difference in behavior. So for you to say that you wouldn't change, it's either you've never been in a relationship before or you've never respected any guy that you've been in a relationship No, I disagree with that. And the reason why I disagree with that is because someone like me, for example, when I'm okay. single, I'm not, like even though I'm single like I said when you guys asked at the beginning I'm single not ready to mingle I don't give guys my number even though I'm single like I don't actively let guys just access me just because I'm single so but there are women that do that that they they maybe date several guys they give their number out to bear guys and there's nothing wrong with that but there are still some women that don't do that so for me personally I don't change when I go into a relationship but I'm still the same person I think the only difference is maybe I'm only focused on one person, but I don't change my character. Maybe. You're okay. maybe focused on one person. Can't I one. talk about that? Because on this person. was actually my case. I've done that. So let me tell you the story, right? I used to do modeling. I used to um, when and did photo shoot sessions and um, was, was that kind of woman until I met a man who was Muslim Right. And obviously, you know, they don't like that kind of things. And I kind of like I was so in love with this man that I did that. I deleted all the pictures out of respect. But you didn't delete the Instagram, just the pictures. No, no, no. I delete this pic. I delete these pictures and I actually changed my whole way of presenting myself on Instagram out of respect for this man. Yeah. Why? Because when you are in a relationship, it's give and give. Yeah. Right? And as I was giving, he was giving me. Mm-hmm. So he was giving me 
his respect. He was giving me his love. He was giving me um, um, a lot of things. And I thought, okay, after that time where I, you know what I mean, where I got to know him him and everything and what she was saying she was saying that you do your research and you do that but sometimes when you fall in love you you know love grows as you go and as the way we started we started as a joke and obviously he was attracted to the to my posts on Instagram and then we kind of like got to know each other and I saw he was amazing and I said okay I'm going to uh, change the way I conduct myself, change my picture out of respect. And I received equal respect from him. And I do not regret it. I even changed my religion. I'm not Muslim, so I have changed the whole way. And I do not regret it. I think uh, when you truly love someone and when you truly commit to someone that, you know, that you click, that you connect, that you're, it is absolutely worth it. You would regret more not having done it for someone that gives you that. That Yeah. That I think you made a really it. important point about mutual respect, though. Like, you were given respect, so he he gave respect. Because it's a difference when you're giving that respect and you're doing what they've like asked you or requested for you to do, and then there's no mutual... There's no give yeah, but why would but why would you ex- why would you assume that in this scenario the guy's not giving you respect? I said in, in in a situation where the guy's your boyfriend or husband or whatever, and he's he's committed to you, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. And he's saying that these things are making him feel uncomfortable because at the end of the day, any guy, any of his friends or his family could go could on your it, yeah. Instagram and see you dressed like in. Like no, whether, you, not, whether you not like it or not, it looks like advertising. It looks like advertising. It looks like you're just you know putting yourself out there. Any thirsty guys, any blue check guys, any celeb guys that like what they see, let them hit you up. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I hear. And that's that. why it I don't. Under, I don't. I don't really understand like why there would be pushback on that. Like I've asked this question to a lot of women, and there's always this pushback and oh, you're controlling and really and truly, all that means it says to me is you don't respect the guy. You just don't respect the guy because if you do, you're gonna want to make sure that he feels comfortable because you don't want to risk losing him. Yeah, exactly. That's what it exactly. Is. Yeah, no, I hear it, exactly. and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would delete the pictures, but I wouldn't delete the Instagram. That's my standpoint. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, yeah. my, my really, my yeah. focus was on the content being provocative. But yeah. I think the I'm question saying? is really is like, why are you posting provocative That's things in the first place to begin? Mm. And on what what a lot of women think is not provocative is just, uh, you know, I'm saying I'm a bad B, is girls trip, girls night. Y'all don't understand how men think about y'all when these mm. girls trip and you're promoting this. You for the streets. It's bikini. It's bikini pick. Absolutely though. for the streets. I think it's for the yes, streets. You're for really? The street. No, I think even I tight dresses. I think the women post these pictures like, um, you know. She's a bad bee, but she has a good heart. These quotes are narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, just, you're just like, and it's like all this other stuff. When, like, on my Instagram, most men would not tell me to delete it because I've, I've before I have I was married previously for eleven years, okay. and I did not file for divorce. I did not cheat. I talk about how if you haven't been married, you don't understand the dynamics. <coughs> People have mental health issues, death. Ooh. There's things that happen that end a marriage. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not going to be Tyrese and wax oh, poetic God. about what someone <laughs> else did, but I took accountability on what things I could control, control. control. which is myself. Mm-hmm. And and so, but one of the things is, I did. I, most women when they get divorced, they run to the streets. They a bad b. They busting it open. They think they're gonna get flown to this place and that place. They don't understand these streets are. There's no love in these streets. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but they think they see all this. So one of the things I, I knew, Kevin Samuels became my friend very quickly after this. A lot of women don't like him. I don't give a shit. So like, <laughs> you can f off if you don't like him. My thing is, I know that man was there for me and helped me and guide me, and he guided me to a place where you know, like. But even before that, I was raised, my ambition in life was to be a housewife. That's how I was raised. I was raised very religiously. And it was my honor and duty to serve a man and be there for him. Like, like I get a joy serving a man a plate. Most women think it's like subservient. So there's levels to this. And so when I present on Instagram, can I look nice? Can I be a bad bee and probably be better than most of these women who are half my age? But I choose not to. Instead, I try to post things that build a man up, that speak to who my character is. Women do not post things about their character. 
you know, um, they do, they they're just trying to look as sexy as possible, and they don't understand you're getting the sexual attention, but you're not getting relationship intention. Mm -hmm. These men yep. don't give, they don't care about you mm -hmm. because your your character doesn't speak. They only see your body parts. But women don't understand your body. You can look good and be covered, and then you're speaking you're speaking to a man and who he is, his essence, and understanding him. Like it just like if women were to see. And I say this all the time on my show. If one were to see the men, first of all, in my therapy practice, that come to me, the men that hit me up, it would, a lot of women would be like shocked. And how they come to me with respect, they don't come to me with some BS. I've never dealt with the F boy. I've never dealt with BS. I've always had protection and provision from men. Why is that? It started with my father. So I say to women, why does a man even have to tell you to change your Instagram? Mm. Your Instagram, you should be presenting as a wife. Exactly. And you, well, a lot of women don't understand. You would receive, a lot of women will, God, where is my husband? Girl, he's out there, but you look like a hoe. Straight, so you, straight, you let's go. Right. Hey, listen, listen, right. listen. That was, hey, that, hey, listen, hey, editors, clip that, bro, because this is <laughs> oh, King Riches right now. You're gonna get me in trouble. This is King Riches right now. And I'm not right talking now. about y'all. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know any of y'all. I'm just saying in hold on, general. Hold on, hold on. The women hold on. I've come That's across true. in council. Hold on, hold on. So I'm not talking about y'all. Hold on, hold on. Listen, that that was it, but. You know, if I said that now, mm. it would be beef. Not necessarily. Bruh. Yeah. When I said it, when I was putting that across to you, the first thing I got is insecurity. Why should I do this? Blah, 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 blah. When Melanie, when Melanie said it, um. But when she um, said about men like, are insecure when he wants you to delete it, you having to put your body and dress sexy, you are insecure. Exactly. Yeah. You're, who you are it's as true. a woman, you've got to put it in the street because you have no intrinsic value. You don't know how to speak to men. You don't know what they value. You don't know what br draws them in. If I were to show you, and I, him and I, he's like trying to get me to show everything. He knows some of them. <laughs> and he's like, whoa. But I say to them, because it's not about, it's like, y'all don't know men. When they're looking for a wife versus a bust down, Many women don't understand. Well, I'm just cute. I'm at dinner. And your quote is about some bullshit. Some <laughs> yeah. narcissistic. Oh, she up here. I'm like, like live you life, can't see love. the air up here is clear because I'm done with the dust and brokey. I'm like, so ma'am, like your box is dust and brokey. Like oh, no. you are oh, no. giving yes. it away. Oh, no. yes. I think let's go. Yes. Let's go. Mm. I think it comes with like with the self-respect that the woman has, like mm. and also like the background and like the, the family. The kind, the kind of like, education, like yeah. Um, look, they, men don't care think, about I education. Think, think Cut the education yeah. out. Hold on, hold on, no, hold on. Have you hold been, have you been educated to be aye, a wife? Aye, aye, when I say aye, education aye, aye, is aye. about yo, yo, yo. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, you lot are getting a bit out of control. And I have to pull the reins. Yeah. When I say wait, everyone has to wait. Please. Yeah. Um, what Melanie's saying is true. Um, what you're saying as, as well is very true. I think a lot of the reasons why a lot of women are insecure and feel like they have to go and put their body out there and be provocative sexually exposing themselves is because they didn't have no dad or they didn't have a strong... Um, they didn't have their dad in their life, yeah? And so because of that, along with the media and the way society is now incentivizing and, and motivating women to kind of put themselves out there, they've never had, like, unconditional love for a man. So they go out in the world looking for that. But what you find is there's a lot of thirsty guys out there and wolves, Mm. And sharks, mm. and then they will they will gas you up. Oh yeah, you're queen. Oh yeah, you're beautiful. Oh yeah, I'll drink your bath water because you're yeah. taking a picture and your lingerie mm. turned your back to to the camera in the dirty bathroom. Yeah, there's gonna be loads of guys that are gonna like it because they want to smash. They want to put pipe inside you, but that doesn't mean anything. That's why when I ask this question, would you delete um, Instagram? And maybe I should just say, would you delete certain? Pictures. Content pictures yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. But at the end of the day, even if it, even if you was deleting your Instagram, which most women are not making money from it anyway, why would that be so deep anyway? One thing I wanted to say that contextually, mm. when I was saying what I was saying before, the reason why I was saying it was because when you're put like what you said about um, the self respect of women and stuff like that's the main issue. That is the main issue. But the focus point I was saying was any man that feels that like he needs to tell any woman to delete her social media channels. I just don't feel like that makes sense. I don't feel like you should even start a relationship on that foundation. On that basis. Why doesn't it make yeah. sense? If he's already rolling. telling because you... Because their relationship if grows. If he, it, listen, listen. Now, I want to hear what you're saying, for real. Like, at the end of the day, like, at the end of the day, 
as I said. Yeah. No, no man, man was, yeah. no man wants to have a woman who is just easily any guy of course can go Accessible. and look take a I look at them. Like why would the man commit to that? Why but he shouldn't. He but shouldn't let's commit. even talk about that's how the, about that's the reality. He shouldn't commit. My man, if I commit to him, he he has access. He has my phone code. He can he can manage my Instagram. So he never has to worry about what I do, who I'm talking to, because I understand the value of a good man. But what about trust in a relationship? I don't give a damn about trust. trust. Whatever he needs to trust, whatever, (laughs) I I don't care about that. But my thing is, you know, whatever he needs to feel, you know what I'm saying? That's my ministry. That's my, whatever wound he's had from whatever's happened in the past. I know he's a good man. If he's a good man... I don't give a damn. I, no men are blowing me up. I don't have. If he don't want me to have male friends, you're gonna he, call your male friends off if you don't. Want absolutely. Oh, Fair enough. Yeah. That's that's you. And are it. my male yeah. friends protecting and providing for me, paying my bills, providing for my family? No, what, about, 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 okay, what about someone like Kevin Samuels? Kevin, Kevin Samuels. You mentioned he was there for you at a point. As in my life, friend, as your friend. So like, let's say, for example, he was still here. May he so rest in peace. Let's say he was still here and you got married, and your husband told you to let go of him as a friend. I, you let Kevin go of him. Samuels would tell me. I'm Let not your friend go. no more. Okay, fair. Because he don't. He's not about unless That's the man fair. was like, no, I need you because he'll counsel you. He'll keep you straight. A lot of men be like, yeah, keep Kevin Samuels because he going. He, I don't have to tell you something. He's yeah. gonna be that way. Because my father was like Kevin Samuels. I said, I'm never offended by it. it. I hear that's your value so, system in it, so it makes th- sense. No, and it's what men's value system. And a lot of women wonder, like a lot of women say, but you're not married. You got divorced, and what's wrong with you? I'm like, girl, let's compare your DMs to mine. And I'm picking and choosing, and I'm evaluating what man I want to dedicate mm. to because it's that lit. And it's the men okay, that women Melanie. want. You okay, Melanie. Don't okay, Melanie. Games. You know. The DMs are lit. So my question is, say games. nothing. You playing say games. Say nothing. High rollers. It's high not rollers about only. high rollers. It's not about <laughs> high rollers. So I can ask you a question. No, it's I'm not joking, about I'm high joking. rollers. I, 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 but I, I, I do. I, do I, get... I, I, want, I want someone else to speak. Go on. Go on. No, just what um, Melanie said. Personally, for me, I've, like I said, I've been married for 20 years. I've got male friends, good male friends in my life. And no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give them my. my if your husband, equally, if it, if equally, it ended your marriage, my husband has got female friends. As so well. if so there was a male friend and you wouldn't get rid of, you would let go of your husband I because get, your male friend, because he doesn't like a male friend. If he doesn't like them, well, that that would be obvious. But th- but th- he'd have to have a good reason why. Yeah, he'd good like them. reason. Exactly. I was just gonna yeah, say yeah, that. Exactly. Mm. They because got bulls nah, in a willy. Nah. They he's your husband. That should be good enough. He's not good enough. No, he's your husband. If, if my wow. husband has got that male wow. friend is my not going to be my friend. And well, why, why is your male friend nah. such a high priority, nah. though? Yeah. It's because nah. it's her claim. Let me all of them. If you've had a respect, like, I'll change my number. Oh, that's you. Oh, boy. Just, Go on, oh, what's gonna say? About that. <laughs> I feel like if your male friends have respect and like they respect the fact that exactly. you're in a relationship and like they're never going to move mad or, you know, be talked act in a certain way towards you, then I feel like. You shouldn't just. Do you feel like it's your job as the wife to be his helpmeet? What if that's an insecurity for him from a childhood trauma or whatever? Your job is to meet him where he is and be his helpmeet. Why do you keep saying? Hold on, yeah, he's insecure. You want your man to be in the streets? Hold on, yo, hey, 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 listen. This is the thing. You keep saying, oh, the man should be with someone else. The man should be with someone else. In that, but at the end, in that no, no, no. But, but your mindset is the man should uh, pick somebody else. Do you understand that a lot of women are single these days, get growing With old and mindset. single because they have that mindset of I'm like this and I'm staying like this. No, and if that man, hold on, you it. said what you said, bro, say and I'm word. going off what you said. Okay, yeah, you said that that I, I've got my Instagram hypothetically. You've got your Instagram. If he doesn't like it, it's, it's his problem. I'm staying where I'm staying, and all of this out on my male friends. I'm keeping them. I'm staying. I'm staying, bro. At the end of the day, it's you that's gonna lose. I'm not, I'm Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? I'm never going to lose though, but I want to hear it. The reason why is because everyone gets older. That's, That's the reason why. That's fair. And guess what? You said you're a 10. You're not going to be a 10. If Well, I'm you said 10, you're a 10, yeah. but really and truly, whatever you are now is not going to last that long. It it's will. not going to last as long as you think it, it is. It will. I have, I have gra- I've seen my grandparents. I've seen my mom. Bro. What would you say they makes you, what would you, say makes you a 10? <laughs> You no, 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 no. Let's my stop for a second. Let's 60. stop for a Let's second. A lot of women, no a lot You're of women playing, get, bro. Men, Bro. get mad when You're men playing. rank a woman. What do you say? But sorry. A lot of men get a lot of women get mad when a man ranks a woman. But a woman will walk around. I'm a ten and I'm a bad B. Meaning <laughs> yep. you are putting other women below you. What do you say? Not what women think about you. Yeah. Why would a man? What do you think makes you a ten in a man's eyes? 
I think it's my personality, it's my value no. system. No, it's no, no. Let's Blockage. go on looks. Blockage. Fresh face, <laughs> fresh face, out the shower, yeah. no makeup. You yeah. cannot use seven. If he just okay. saw you raw, glowing. wet, I'm glowing. No makeup, glowing. nothing. Glowing, babe. But what would make you attend to the to men? Not okay, not what your men. pride, not how you build yourself. You're just talking up. about looks, right? What men yeah, want? Yeah, we're talking about looks. Yeah. What men want? Um, before I ask your question, what kind of men are we talking about, and what do every these man. men want? Every, every man. man, every man has <laughs> the different... man you want. Why would he consider you a ten? Because I'm gorgeous, like naturally. No, 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 no. Let's talk about what men want. But what? As I'm asking you, what do they want from your Re- perspective? You want to tell her what men? You're want? a man. What do men want? Well. Cause men I like you. Men like, I ain't men a man. Like you want. Yeah. I ain't a man. Uh, I like. I, I like women for different reasons. F- I'll be real with you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be real with you. Men I'm like man. men like women that are pretty, yeah. natural, and fit. Exactly. And in shape. Okay. Are you pretty, uh, natural, and in shape? I'm pretty. I'm natural, and I'm in good shape. Yes. You're natural. Yeah. Right now, I'm not natural, but you like go check my Instagram. Go watch my page. I'm naturally so, beautiful. But, but I'm saying, but right. Okay. I've right never now, met you before. I'm makeup. Yeah, I've fair never enough. met you before. Fair so enough, the guy, yeah. so just like the guy that is the guy you want to be with and yeah. may want to see be with you when you're in your natural state, yeah. he's gonna see blue hair, yeah, eyelashes, yeah, nails. Yes, <laughs> that's is. not natural. But if is you're it? dating someone, let's let's be real. If, if like for for example, someone like yourself, if you're dating someone, you're not gonna just see her one time. And then never see her again. You're gonna date her. You guys even might spend time together. Yeah, but so, think about it. The first initial when I spot that girl yeah. will determine if I approach her or not. Because girls don't usually approach guys like that. Of course, so yeah. if I see you and you look like that, yeah. hypothetically, yeah. I wouldn't approach you. And that's fine. But the reality is, I don't always look like this. I don't always leave my house with makeup on. I don't always leave my house okay. with a wig on. Okay. I don't okay. always leave my house with. So lashes why do you date on. today? Because I'm gonna be on a podcast and the lighting's gonna look cute and I want to get content. Like the flip. Like that's why. Like. But if you know. <laughs> But if you know, I'm gonna look at our husband on this podcast. Like. No, but yeah, but that's that's not the point. At the okay. end of the day, at the end of the day, yeah. if men look at it a certain way, as natural is probably the best way to go. Why okay. would you think I'm going on a podcast where there's gonna be loads of people that's yeah. gonna see it? Let, why do you keep ad libbing, man? Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm actually just that's just how I talk. But yeah, go on. Oh, continue. okay. I thought he's being no. Like, trying I'm to be actually funny. no. I'm actually hearing you. Like I'm listening to you. <laughs> go on. Finish your point. So, like at the end of the day, uh, okay, let's go with that. You say that most most of the time you're natural. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh. So, what's it? Fit? Are you? Would you say you're in your best shape right now? I'm in good shape. But I'm not in like the best shape I could be in. Hundred percent. No. I can agree to that. Like, I feel like I need to definitely work out more. But I'm in good shape. Like, I love the way I look in the mirror when I'm like. Can I ask you how old are you? I'm 25. Okay. So I'm 41. I used to be a fitness model, and yeah. I understand like your gene- like genetic p- potential. Mm-hmm. And I will tell you, as you age, what you can get away with when you're younger. No way like to me it. right now, I'm trying to cut off. Wait, I don't know kilograms. I don't know stones. Mm. So forgive me, guys. Okay. I would say like 10, 15 pounds. I'm constantly in a mindset of how I can get my abs even tighter. So it's an 11 line, four pack, like, like get it to a way. And I talk to men. You know, like my dad, you know, a lot of women growing up are called princess or if you have a dad that's like in your life Mm. and all that. And she's my sweetheart. And she's my father called me meatball the day I was born because I was a little fat chubby thing. (laughs) Then my name became meat, meaty and then big meaty. (coughs) If I call him now, he'd be like, what's up, big meaty? (laughs) And he talked about that because he was always wanted me to be mindful. He's him and my mom would take me to the gym, oh, nice. have me show about fitness and all of that. My father wouldn't let me wear makeup. I couldn't wear dresses above my knees. Okay. I was raised a certain way. You and Christian? so what I, I am Christian. I'm not as like religious as and he ain't religious. No more. I'm like, Dad, what happened to you? Like, why are you so loose down? <laughs> with uh, that man, man, with he's living his he's like, listen, my kids grown. I'm movie. good now. Like, I'm out there in the streets. But like Big my up parents, Mr. King. My parents living his movie. My parents have <laughs> been married 40, 44 years. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, and the people in my family. And so what I I realize a lot of women have not been exposed to like how men talk and what they think. My father, if I if I looked a little thick, too thick for what he thought, he'd be like, look at them thighs, thunder, thunder, roll, jelly, jelly. And he would call me big meaty. And I was used to it. I'm like, if you don't get out my face, he'd be like, you back. But you know what I would do? Mm. I would start because it, it made me run track. It made me go to the. It made me do these things yeah. because he knew fitness and being a certain way in a mindset. And so it's not that everybody has to be a perfect. You so, know what I'm saying? Because that that is 
that is not what everybody, what every man needs. Exactly. Men like them, you know, a certain way and all of that. But right now, you know, one of the things I would say to a lot of young women is y'all got to listen to what men say. Even if it feels offensive or you feel a certain way. Yes. They yes. want you to yes. win. They're not saying it because they just want you down. Mm. They're saying it because they, they're a man. They talk to and men. Let me say Especially one successful thing men. Which he is a su successful man right now. And so what he's saying is you got to take it as gospel. He's not talking out of his ass. He's saying to you, listen, sis, I want you to win. I'm not putting you down. But like, I'm telling you to the cheat code to getting, if you want a husband, I know a lot of women don't want a husband. You want to run the, no, be in the street. A I'm not saying you want to be in the street, but no. a lot of women want the street because it's fun. Is it? You don't want the duties of a wife because a lot of women have not been raised to be a wife. I was raised to be a wife and I and I I desired to be a housewife. So my question to that you was my ambition. My in question life. to you is obviously because like it was, it was bouncing off the point I was making. What is it that you feel like, um, like even like with King Rich is what he's been saying like that you feel like as a young twenty five year old that maybe I'm not taking on board that you feel like maybe I should take on board just from your perspective because you were bouncing I, off my point. I would say I think you have beautiful skin yeah, and I think you have beautiful features. Yeah. I think I understand you're a performer yeah, and that city girl culture who's no, I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not interested no, I'm in saying, that. But what oh. happens is yeah. you get swept into city girl culture because you got the, the blue hair. You got the eyelashes. Okay. Men hate those eyelashes. They call them tarantula. Some and I'm not men. saying it's pretty on you, yeah. but I'm saying to women. But a man who takes you seriously, he wants you he wants you as natural like like as it's you, like your beauty. Like you have beautiful skin. I feel like looking at your facial features. I used to work for Vogue. So right. when I say your your facial features, you don't need yeah, all no, of that yeah. to draw attention. I tell you it would be thing. better to run three miles a day yeah. and have no makeup. Your hair in a bun and wear basic clothes, you'd be shocked at the men who would like you run three miles a minute, you're into fitness and you focus on that versus the you take the nails off. That's your personal style because you're young and you enjoy it. Yeah, and I get it. It's a creative. Right. It's creative. Expressive. But I always say, think about your future. You're you can be as creative, creative as all you want. But like, girl, like, like these city girls, look at them, like the city girls getting peed on by, you know, so Diddy. <laughs> Mm -mm. And they still want a husband. They talk about we getting flued out, we doing this, but all of them want to be. They're all got boyfriends and, and want a husband. You know what's funny about and they'll get well. peed on just to get chosen. I, but they'll call me a pick me. No, but you getting peed on, me. sis, to be picked. Uh, I like, think you're man, just a man, make it make sense. I think you're just a traditional woman, which I, I agree. <laughs> I ain't getting peed on. I, I agree with some of some of the things you've said because I'm I'm Nigerian and I'm naturally quite a traditional woman outside of obviously the blue and the Look lashes. Look at your skin though. You're beautiful. I know skin. I'm glowing. Thank you. But like, um, yeah, I think it's important. The reality is, like, what you said is true. Like, there's majority of the men, that's what they're going to be drawn to. Mm -hmm. But For like, a wife. For a wife. But I also have brothers. I also have a lot of male friends. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are not just focused on those girls. Because some of those, some of the guys will say those kind of girls are easy to push around. They don't want a girl that's easy to push mm -hmm. around. I'm just saying but that's not my you. experience. But you're I'm just saying, saying from my that, experience. That's you, even though your bro they're your brothers and all of that. If they get real with you mm. and if they can be honest without without your pushback, you're not considering you probably push back because you push back against him quite a bit tonight more than other women panel. It's not a it's not a diss on you. Yeah. Because I'm, like I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. And I've had to learn how to my father's just like, you need to shut the F up. Yes, and it's my turn to speak. Yes, that was a good transition. <laughs> That was Hello. awesome. Oh, it turned into oh. them, them two show for a second, bruv. My bad. We were just... Sorry. Bruv. Sorry. Sorry. We respect you. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so oh, shit. <laughs> we sorry, King. I'm sorry, me up. sorry man. Right, listen, listen, listen. Podcast. My thing is this. and Because the, thing is the things I want to say are just short and choppy anyway, yeah? All right. When you come outside with the blue hair, I'm just I'm, I'm just being real. No, it's and I, cool. Because this is the thing. There's other women that watch He's this helping. show. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not just you. I'm talking to everyone yeah. watching. Like, I'm an example. Like, because you're here. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Of course. Like, the hair, the eyelashes, the makeup, the everything. Yes. It just screams like she's just one of those girls, bro. She's it's just one, one of those of, out even there girls. Even if it's not you. That's what, even if it, yeah, exactly. Even if it's not you. One of what kind of girls? Just, just like city girl, whatever city, city girl. girls, like Young stripper Miami. culture, stripper culture, yes. like that kind of shit. That, I, that's what I it just, looks can like. Can I just say one thing to that? Yeah. Bro, but I'm, you can't say what, you can't say nothing to that because I'm telling you okay. how guys perceive it. So that's how we perceive it. 
Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? What are you going to say it's that's going to negate what I'm saying? It's fun, girl, not wife in the house. Contextually, I think the issue here is, mm. obviously, we've never met in it. Like, you've never seen me. I've never seen mm-hmm. you. You're just seeing me, blue girl, mm-hmm. makeup, lashes, mm-hmm. over the top, mm-hmm. long nails. I hear it. So, like, you have the stereotype. Like, what you were saying before we start the recording? Stereotype. The stereotypes. So, you stereotyped me based on my hair. But that's what life is look. about. You stereotype you men. Okay, can I just land? Mm. What I'm trying to say is contextually, the places and spaces that I'm in, mm-hmm. I'm naturally very respected because of the brand and the name and the kind of image I put on myself online. Are men proposing? Ma- a man has proposed to me. Like, is it so the man what, you want? Is point. it the man you want? Let me just finish my point, but I'll answer your question. Respectfully, I just want to finish my point, but I'm going to answer your question, yeah? The rooms and the spaces that I place myself in, I'm respected because of the brand and the name that I've carried for myself. I'm an artist, okay? So... When I'm on stage, my lyrics, everything that I do, I represent Christ, I represent myself, and I represent beauty, and I represent black women that are bosses. So for me, no, no, let girl, me land, girl. Let me land no, 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 we, you can't land no more. That well, boss stuff. No black women are not bosses. I'm sick Excuse of the narrative me? that black women are strong, independent. I, never, I didn't and say strong, independent. Well, I said we're not boss. man. A man does not want a woman who says she's a boss. Insecure men don't yeah. want a boss. No, 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 no man. And oh, I'm telling you, men who've conquered the world again. do not want this. <laughs> These are my clients. These are the know. men that I know. Let me say they respect you, you as your singer that's and they're pandering fine. because of your talent. But are they taking you home and saying that's my wife? Somehow. There's a difference. Somehow. Though, that's the point Between your art and being a wife. And what you've got to say at 25, you got to say, you know what? I don't know everything. I don't. But and wh- so what I'm telling you, you haven't yeah. talked to enough men who are high value. And I mean the highest of value in the mm. world. Billionaires who are my clients. And they're dealing with BS and they want me to walk them through their divorce and hold their hand because they're sick of it. They can't talk to anyone else and they're sick of the BS. And what I'm telling you, no, 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 no. You got a rebuttal to everything, but you're not digesting. You're hearing, but not listening. And it's not. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You know why it's important for you to listen to you? No, not to me. Okay. To To wisdom. Because the Bible, you talked about being a Christian, but it says the older women need to teach the younger women and younger women need to listen and be submissive. But you know how many young women are not submissive to what men say? But you say you're a Christian woman. Okay. You can't be a Christian woman and buck against what men are saying. That is anti-biblical, is anti-God, is anti-Christ, and it makes you the great whore of Babylon. That's Yikes. what the Bible no, talks about. Man. I was no, raised, I was raised in Christian school, Christian college, and I was in church four days a week, all day on Sunday. That doesn't mean anything. No, though. it means something it when I'm telling you scripture and you're bucking against it, okay. and it's against the word of God. So don't claim God and Christianity, so but your God? attitude is bucking. And you cannot be quiet for one moment. So what is what but, have I, I said don't don't ask God? me a question. Respond to what I said. Okay. So what you want to don't respond? ask me a question mm-hmm. you didn't hear. That's why I said you you hear but you do okay. not listen. If you okay. listened, you would know the questions I asked. You asked. Okay. The questions that you asked. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really have much to say to them. I'm going to be honest. But with don't you. claim Christianity okay. if you're not willing to submit to when men are telling you. I can a lot of women are Christian feminists. I'm not a feminist. No, you came Christianity when it works in your favor, not necessarily. but you put down men and say, I'm, you're rebellious. Can I just you're ask, rebellious. when did I put down a man here? You're rebellious. <laughs> when did I put down you're a man? You're rebellious, and I'm calling it out. But when did you're I, rebellious. But when did I call you're a man rebellious. Out? I'm not. You're rebellious. I'm not, babe. Don't claim Christianity. Don't you're rebellious. Don't speak that over me, because no, that's No, I'm mean. speaking it over Don't you. Even you talking me. now, yeah. you have no discipline, because you okay. can't sit and listen without opening your mouth. Because I don't feel like Because you're rebellious. No, I'm telling you, you are anti. Christ and you are the Jezebel. Okay, one thing I will Your say attitude, to you. Not who you are, but whoever has influenced you has told you you need to be this Jezebel and anti and okay, rebellious. what we're not going to do. Firstly, no, no, what, no, you're not going to tell nobody what we're not going to do. This isn't your show. Don't, don't tell nobody what we're not going to do. Yeah, don't tell me what I'm not going to do. No, but I will. you will not tell but me what I'm show? not going to do. Don't tell me what I'm going to do. No, is it yours? It's his. Don't tell me what No, no, what you're not going to do is Tell me what do at 25, man. Melanie, 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 Melanie. Shut, Melanie. It Melanie. Shut, shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down because we will go All right, all right. Stop. 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 Stop.
Everyone's gonna have to just be quiet for what a bit. What she ain't gonna do is talk to her elder like she. Everyone, everyone, everyone's just gonna be quiet what? for a bit. What did bit. you say? Yeah, you heard what I said. I didn't said. hear you. What yeah, did yeah, you yeah. say? All right, listen. All right, all right, all right. You don't listen. Turn off their mics, man. If they don't wanna like listen sorry, to what I'm saying, because sorry. like I'm getting pissed off now. Sorry, sorry. I'm like, just not gonna have that. Sorry. No. Yo, hey, nah. No. Like everyone needs to be quiet. Seriously, like no from <laughs> like seriously, 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 seriously. That's fine. All right, cool. Everyone hit the like button. Yeah, we're on 1K. <laughs> <laughs> 1,000 people watching live, yeah? Uh, Listen, I get the likes up. You lot are taking... This is you lot are rebellious, bro. <laughs> rebellious, rebellious. <laughs> How can it... Hold on. How could there not be over 700 people liking this video, bro? Like, you see what I noticed on this YouTube thing, yeah? Like, it's like some of you... Or not some of you. A lot of you viewers have some weird... F- like kind of bias or something going on because what i notice is when i watch other people's videos or live streams they don't even have to ask their viewers to hit the like button bro they don't even have to ask me now i have to always <laughs> periodically hit the like button don't be an egg don't be a scumbag hit the like button bro we have the best podcast setup in london do you lot understand do you know how much money it costs to do this we have a whole team working every single day, internationally working, to make this thing work. And all I ask you lot is hit like hit the like button. You got people that make make videos where they're just talking on their phone, and you lot will just I don't know, maybe it's just some weird bias. I don't know, but support what we're doing here because it's not easy. All right, thank you. All right, the next question we're gonna go, move on to the next question. Yeah. Because it got heated. So let me change the pace a bit. Yeah. What is a simp? What is a simp? I have you, no idea. You know what a simp is? Somebody doing something like leaving, let's just say, like in a relationship, um, the guy leaving everything just to please their partner. Okay. You know, isn't it that? Uh, yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, it's just like, you know, um trying to please the his girlfriend or the girlfriend tried to please the, the please the boyfriend and um you know, he can be hanging out with these guys and just because she needs something and just, you know, she kind of walks all over him in a way. Uh whatever she needs, he will just do it for her, vice versa. Yeah. Does anyone get any other ideas of what a simp might be? A guy an American a, an American an American term? that they use in America for some reason. I haven't heard that here. No. No. Yeah. No, we say it over we, here We too. had to Google it earlier on, sure. but I forgot already. You forgot already. <laughs> Interesting. Do you know what a simp is? No, I don't. I'm not even going to pretend like I do. It. I don't even know what that is. Never heard do you that. know what a simp I've is? I think you know a simp is? is a guy that's like ready to like give everything up for a girl or something like that like just do the most for a girl i'm not sure if that's the right um definition but something like that melanie what do you think a simp is you gonna ask me yeah (laughs) so a simp is i think we're in a state we're in in modern culture and modern dating because of simps they don't correct women there's no discipline they have no standards they just want sex so they'll see and pander to whatever they have to do to get a woman they're soft, they're not masculine, they're not alpha, and they're just, they're on, you subscribe into OnlyFans because they're desperate for whatever to give women validation on social media who dress for the streets, um, who act for the streets because they're desperate and thirsty. They don't know what it means to hold frame as a man, what attracts a man, what makes a leader, who makes a man a king. A king is not <coughs> simping. A pauper is simping, meaning he's doing the most just to please a woman and see a true king. It's anti, it's anti pleasing a woman. A lot of us, if a man right now made us upset, right, ladies? There's a there's a huge like like Instagram TikTok thing going around. So like if you get in that like the guy is like he gets on your nerves, something happened, and he's just you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna go home. So instead, this guy's like making he's cooking on the stove. He's just like, She's like, I'm going to go home. And he says, now I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. I'm going to finish cooking this food. We're going to eat. I'm going to give you some dick. We're going to watch a movie and I'm going to hold you. And that's going to be the end of it. 
And so a man who has the energy mm. to control that, he's taking care of you, not abuse. But he's saying, listen, I'm going to rein that in when you feel in some kind of way. But a simp be like, please, baby, don't leave. What would turn you on more as a woman, a man begging you or a man says, you know what? I'm going to leave. With, I'm going to give you direction and tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to rein in those emotions because I understand you. I'm not going to be abusive or anything. But I'm going to give you that dick and I'm going to hold you and we're going to watch a movie and go to sleep. Or he was like, please, baby, don't leave. And he started arguing and fussing and, and like, <laughs> why do you want to leave? I don't understand. And all that. That's what a simp does. He's emotional. Mm. He's extra. You want authority in your life. Definitely. A man that knows how to, you know, how to put things down. Because I feel like this new generation, like a lot of men, they're like not aware with their masculinity. They want the same kind of equality as a woman and i don't feel like men these days are just having that that did behavior. you say did you say men want the same equality as women <laughs> equal to equality sorry my english sorry equal, no, equal, um equality e uh, equal. they want equality yeah equality so they want to be the same yeah, yeah they want to be don't, like don't, the don't don't you think don't you think it's women that wanted equality or fought for equality that's that kind of came with women because we always wanted that so now because of that women, men also want to behave the same way they also want to be pampered they also want flowers they also want to be mm. taken out on a date you know that's, yeah so, yeah yeah i hear what you're saying but don't you think yeah it, okay if we think about women of of the you know later older years yeah, yeah compared to modern women yeah or actually scratch that if we look at society back in the day let's say about 50 years ago compared to society now who do you think has changed more men or women mm, women women definitely women 100 percent, right yeah for sure men what, uh, 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 women have changed more right yeah. so with that change in women, don't you think that a lot of men may have adapted or changed in in uh in some kind of like reaction or in some kind of trying to balance or whatever it is because women have changed so much because m the way men were back in the day was more like let's say hyper masculine. Mm. There was more. It was more of a macho thing. It was more of a masculine thing, more like patriarchal. Whereas now things is more matriarchal, more uh, focused and tailored to women. And you know, you can't call a woman overweight because that's fat shaming, and you can't tell a woman uh, that she's old because that's ageism. And you can't say like. But at the same time, women can say, "Oh, a guy's too short. He's too short. I don't want to mm -hmm. date a short guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, a guy's too broke. If the, even if the guy makes average money, oh, he's broke. He's broke. Broke guys don't deserve no vagina." Can I tell you next? That was a meme. But, but listen, <laughs> this is the thing. So really and truly, when, when you talk about, oh, men, they want to be equal to women. But at the end of the day, it's not the same women because women make their own money. They're bosses, just like someone on the panel said. Women are bosses now. Women make their own money. They're independent. A lot of women, they will out, we'd outwardly tell you they don't need a man. I want him, but I don't need him because I got my own money and I'm educated. And yeah, it is what it is. But and if he and if a guy doesn't like the way I am, then he go, needs to go and find another woman. And somebody <laughs> else said that on the panel as well. Why are you so no, but because the thing is, I do this show nearly every day. I hear you, and I hear the same rhetoric. Okay. It's not just you. I hear you. You, you could uh, what, what episode are we on? Like fifty something, bro. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? And women say the same thing. Fair Modern enough. women say the same thing. It's not unique. It's not. You all think the same stuff. Do you no, get what I'm saying? No. At the end of the day, you lot are the one that lose lose at the end of the day because uh, men are more tailored to being lone wolves. Yeah. We're more tailored to getting up, get, getting on on our own and just building our own empire on our own. In fact, a lot of times guys are very uh, productive when we're on our own, whereas women more. are community based. Women want to be in a community. You want a family. Even right now, while you, you're in your prime, oh, yeah, I'm living my best life, and blah, 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 and I'm a boss, and da, da, da. Guess what? It's not going to last that long. It ain't. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get to a point where, yeah, you're going to want a family, and you're going to want a man, but guess what? Your eggs, you got, you've got a finite a number of eggs. Your eggs will dry up, and, one, and there'll be a time where you can't have kids. Because it's all right to have the, the, the mindset of, oh, I don't want kids, when you have the option. When the option's gone, it's different. So can't you be a boss and be dependent? No. How are you going to be a boss and be dependent? No. 
No how? man wants a boss. No mm. man wants to come home to a woman who says she's a boss. See, boss this in is, her sector, the boss but, in her field, boss at her work. Listen, I feel like you and I got into some static, but okay. I feel like it's not even you and I. Okay. I feel like society has programmed us differently to be animus. And okay. society, I feel like, has told you be a boss, be do all of this. But what do you and think all I mean when that? I say boss? Just for context. What when do you I think say I mean? boss, when I listen, I've ran a, an actual corporation. I mm. know women who are CEOs of big tech companies. Yeah. They don't run around talking about I'm a boss B. Okay. When you are really a boss, is exhausting. You're tired. Yeah. You don't I don't even tell people. None of y'all know what I what I've done or how much money I've made. I don't want you to know. Mm. I'm not a boss. I'm just an average chick because when you're every day making decisions, you got human <clears throat> resources, you've got to manage people, you got to figure out the schedule. You're sleeping 4 to 6 hours a day. 6 is a blessing. Mm. 4 hours a day? Yeah. You're not I, every person woman who I know who's really running money. They're not talking about they're a boss chick because they just is is it's there's so many variables and you always feel like you're juggling. Okay. Something I always say, and Kevin Samuels, who was my friend, used to say, sh- pressure was made for shoulders, not hips. And so a lot of women are taken on because they have to take a masculine road. I'm a boss. And especially black women. We have been sold a lie by society that makes us strong and independent. When you hear a white woman, they describe a white woman as strong and independent. It's always black women are holding it down and strong and we're all of that. You know what they use to them? Like, you know, to say white tears and they cry and she's, she can be soft. She can be taken care of. Mm. But society has fooled us mm-hmm. into thinking we got to be the strong masculine beasts but to see, like conquer the world because our mamas taught us that way. And some of our fathers said, girl, go get your education. Do you, you, you can do bad all by yourself. You don't need no man. And that is the brainwash that, and I won't get into those levels of it, but when I fight against it, it's not you as a person. Cause mm. I don't know you, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm fighting. I get feisty because I'm fighting You're against what it. I feel like Women of color, black women especially, we have been brainwashed to be strong. When we were meant to be soft, Mm -hmm. we were meant to be taken Mm -hmm. care of. We were meant to be pampered because you... It's like we cook, we clean, you know, black women, we, we got that, that, that body, body, like we, we are meant to be for a man who really loves and values us, but society has told you who to be and they put on us what they want us to be. But it, I'm si- I don't want to be strong and independent. I want a man to take care of me. I want to be weak. I want to cry. So why I don't want you- to hold it down. So why can't you be a boss and be dependent? That's, because that's being question. a boss, because real bosses don't say that. Where's the last time you heard? I know CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. They don't want you to know. If I go, we go to dinner. They say, "Don't tell them what I do. Mm. I'm not a boss. I'm not none of that." Women who are really running companies and doing it, they're not. They don't need bravado language mm. to, to describe them. Their accomplishments. In fact, they keep it quiet, and they just let it speak for itself. If someone finds, I had a successful channel on YouTube, the top of the food chain of YouTube. 100, 100 million views a month plus. Never told a soul. Anyone found out in my family, my parents told them. I said, please don't. I'm sleeping four hours a night. I'm, I'm like, I'm scared it's going to drop. These employees, I, I don't know, understand contracts. I got to get a lawyer's. I'm struggling. I, I got to find editors, people I trust. I was so, like, I didn't have, t- a real boss has no time to even use that language. And I know women who are really doing it, like running stuff. I feel like women who use that language is bravado. It's ego. It's like, to. it's almost like language to feel good. It's like flowery mm-hmm. language. If you were really running a company, girl, you'd be so tired at night. You'd be like, I don't give it. Who cares if I'm a boss? I'm but trying to make sure my payroll asked, meets. But that's why I asked you what was your understanding of a boss. Because when I'm saying boss, I'm not talking about running a company. I'm but not... that's what a boss is. No, but... means you manage people and that you are running a company that is that is in the green, that is making revenue, that is significant. That's your understanding of no, a boss. No, that is what the world says. Okay, that's fine. But my we can't make We can't hold make on, individual on, let, definitions on, let's see what she's of saying. words. Let's say, yeah. we, we know what, but let, let go on. My definition of a boss is based on the fact that obviously I'm an artist like mm-hmm. I self-managed myself for about three years mm-hmm. 
I've worked with some of the biggest artists, Heady One. I've done a lot of different things. I've sang at the Mobos. Like, mm-hmm. I've traveled the world singing. I've done a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. I, I bring him here, I then. Need, I didn't need to bring him here, then. I didn't need to bring him here, bro. <laughs> like you said, Go it's on. not even about saying all these things, but I'm just giving you context because I managed all of that. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. I had to build those networks. I had to connect those dots by myself. Do you understand? I've only just recently just got management because mm-hmm. the workload is getting too much for myself. But what I'm trying to say when I'm saying I'm, I'm a boss, I mean a boss of my own life. Can I'm I tell you though? About, just let me just Can land, I tell you a I better word? Land, babe, I let you land, please. Then boss? Can I just land, please? Okay, you can. I let, I let you land. Go yeah? ahead, sweetheart. So for me, I'm it's sorry. like, it's from the perspective of knowing my experiences and knowing what I had to do to get to where I am and build my brand. Like, yeah, I, I don't make 100 million views a month, but I'm going to probably have more than that in the years to come. Do you understand? And that's because of the work rate and because I've been the boss of my own life. Obviously, because God is by my side and he gives me the strength to be able to do that. But that is what I mean. I don't mean I don't, I don't run a company like I'm. I'm How is that going to benefit you in a relationship? I think the reality is. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of men in the society that we have today don't want to go towards this kind of women, if I'm going to be honest, okay. because okay. most of them are not even like at that position in their own lives. They're not even the boss of their own lives yet. They're just maybe the boss of a company or they're a manager in one place. How is that going to benefit you in a relationship? I think only God has the answer to that, if I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. Can I, I tell you, you though? Don't know. Can I, I tell you though? Biblically, but when you keep bringing up God, when you keep bringing up God, but biblically, women should not even be talking to saying they're a boss. You know what I feel like, and well, I could be wrong. Mm, you can correct me. I will if I need. I to. feel as though you've had to get it out the mud without yeah. protection and provision okay. from a man. Okay. Your father. Okay. Was your father providing, and protecting, and guided you and got you on your feet? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah. So what we have to understand about a lot of young women—that's the compassion mm. that you've had to be this boss. Yeah. You've had to do this mm. because you've had to take on masculine traits Mm -hmm. and even to survive to eat sometimes and it's commendable that you didn't go to the streets selling your body didn't need to do that okay but a lot of young women don't judge them no they do because of the situation they're in and even some mothers influence that's true because their mothers are demons that's very true so what i say is because i was raised with a father Mm. where i didn't have to do all of that because if i if i needed money my parents paid for my tuition Mm. for Y'all call it university, college, college, okay. In America, yeah. And I quit. I dropped out. Okay. Then I was able to, in my mind, do other things. Okay. If I I want an apartment, my father pays for it. That's my good. I have a car. I can not only take my parents' cars, but they will buy me a car. Yeah. I went to private school tuition. That's a privilege. Mm. And what I realized a lot of times you have to take that on. Yeah. What you have to say now is what I want in life, what I want from a man. Men, the, the man that you want, yeah, right? Yeah. Because you're a woman who's a go-getter and all of that. He wants a soft woman. You never use that language of being a boss around a man. It doesn't impress them. It turns them off so bad that you would not believe. It's repulsive. You say, you know what? <laughs> I had to, Why is it repulsive? I, because, because they don't want to... I don't want to know, but I don't want to know. him, man. he's a man. You're a man. So, why is it repulsive to masculine I, I, energy? He's, uh, yes, she's asking me. Masculine. She's asking. Why is it repulsive? Because at the end of the day, I'm the leader. I'm the authority. So... How can two bosses is like at the end of the day? But, iron though. No, no, no you don't not sharpen what it means. nothing because guess what? It's if me and you, no, nah, listen, because if one, if me, because guess what? If we're in a relationship and we're walking down the street at three a.m. and someone approaches us to attack us, it's who's you. gonna who, <laughs> exactly? <laughs> this is the thing that women just. I don't know who why. you want dominating the bear. Right? Who you on, want like girl? Melanie? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. Like I do this every single day with different women, not just black women. All but that's women. what I'm asking because I genuinely want but to know the your thing is, Yeah, but the thing is, you knew the answer anyway. But you knew the answer. still have the conversation. No, but this is no, but you know the answer, but you still want to be a boss. How can you be the boss? Who are you the boss over? Myself, not the guy. I don't. No, I don't want to be. It's no, like, I've been, don't a, I've like been in relationships with guys yet, and I've let them. Be and where the are they? They're not. I've here. left them. You left them for a reason. Yeah. So one of them. One of the reasons they were. They, they, they weren't adequate for you to be with. Because at the end of the <laughs> day, the type man. of guy that you want to be with yeah. is not gonna want to be. Oh, I've got this woman. She's a boss. No. Some men are like that though. No. Right. Not, not, not listening. Not men. You've gone back to not listening, You've gone. You've gone back to not listening. Like. Sorry, continue your point. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of the day, listen, men want women that are attractive, submissive, not annoying, empty the balls, fill the belly up. That's it. I and don't they're care not about, bosses. I don't, I, don't care, I don't care about uh, a woman being a boss. I don't even need a woman to be rich. 
I mean, woman, the, bruh, like, I don't know why. Actually, Melanie already said why. Like, it's the whole, you know, protection provision uh, from a father in your life. You know, you would have turned out different. But obviously, because you've had to kind of do everything yourself, it's kind of molded you, socially engineered you to think that I need to be a Society. boss. But and I am a boss. But I don't end completely of the day, agree with that, though. But, I hear no, but you. For, for me, my mm. dad has, I've had my dad in my life, mm. my whole life. Mm. My parents are still married. Mm. And he's taught me to never rely on a man. Like, he was he's wrong. Taught, he's taught he me. was wrong. No, yeah, but I don't, he think, he, I don't think hold he was, on, though, because, he was because wrong. yes, I agree, I agree no. with some of the points that you that you have. But I do think that it's important to have your own, like not be this whole thing, I'm a boss, no. I'm a boss. But I want to work for myself. I want to earn my own money. I want to, like, do you know what I mean? I feel like it's not... And the thing is, the re- one, of the reasons, one, of the reason, one of the reasons, one of the reasons, one of the reasons why your, your dad, p- your dad probably instilled that in you because he's thinking, he right, one day I'm not gonna be in this world, and yeah, I'm scared yeah, that you're gonna, gonna protect you. And, and he also doesn't want me to just like rely on some rubbish man. Do you know what I mean? Who's just not actually even serious. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, what would be more like a better strategy is if he he, he actually taught you how to vet a man. Oh yeah, but I, 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 yeah, he, he definitely did that though for sure, which is why I'm with the person that I'm with now. Then, then that's all good, isn't it? But at the end of the day, okay, you had your dad in your life, but there's many women that don't have their dad in their life, yeah. and they have this mentality to uh, an exaggerated degree, and then they walk in. I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't need a man. Yeah. I'm a boss. I'm a this. I'm a that. And at the end of the day, they end up single. They might have a kid here, a kid there. They end up single. Box wine. Uh, ice cream box wine. And, and a pet. Box. <laughs> box wine. Have you guys box ever seen wine. Black? Yeah, have you guys wine, ever yeah. seen Fox Black Soul in the no. U.S.? No. So you guys know who Lisa Ray is. Yeah, she was in Players Club, the light skinned chick that was like that. She was like a sex symbol. No. Vivica Fox. Mm. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, okay, yeah. a lot of these um, Claudia Jordan. No, these are black women in the U.S. who are bad. Like black women who are gorgeous, Wuh. they're all now on Wuh. a channel called Wuh. Fox Soul. Past tense. Soul tells you everything is Auntie season, is Grandma season. When you hear Soul, don't play, girl. Okay, they're sitting up all single. One girl, Claudia Jordan, who was like a model, like supermodel. <coughs> her man, like they haven't had sex in like a year. God forbid. Like, it's weird. It's like a sexless relationship, but they're accepting. Another one's, like, dating a guy and, like, that runs a cult. God forbid. What I'm saying to you is this. It's not a knock on you as, as a woman. I feel as though my, my, what I say, I ride for black women specifically. And I, I, I feel like this has been a lot of brainwash who we've been they all do you never hear about a strong and independent white woman Mm -mm. it's always us i'm not mixed i know in the uk it's different because my skin is lighter and all that i am black that's what i claim my whole family is black i don't give a damn okay have nothing against any other race but they always try to make us strong have you heard those words for other races of women Mm -hmm. Why do we need to be strong and hold it down? I'm an independent, strong Mexican woman. And I'm independent. Woman. <laughs> Wait, have you heard that? It doesn't only, exist. I'm a strong, independent white woman. A Puerto Rican woman. Never. It's always, and not only that, we say it. We adopt what they tell us about us. They want us. It's systematic. We don't have time to get into it. But ladies, I'm That's telling another show. you. That's another show. We used to call ourselves more like sisterhood. It used to be more right. about sisterhood instead now we're of queens. Independent. Yeah, just queens. because we have a vagina. Queens of of what? A black vagina <laughs> or a brown vagina? Because the thing is, if you're a queen, who's the peasants? Then? They have tried to make you into something that would destroy your life, and you're not there yet. But I'm telling you now, everything you're doing, you're doing your music, you're doing all of that. That's what you have to do. And you can do your music, but when you get to the space where you want your husband and you want a man to respect you and love you, not the wig, not the respect your business, not all of that. He said, that's my wife. I don't care. Do you fix a man a plate? Yeah. Okay. That's Nigerian like culture. No, like, okay. See, see y'all are fortunate because most of y'all yeah. are like Nigerian, like first generation. Not all Nigerian girls do it, but I love love in the US. 
as a no, like, US, we buck it's a must. I, 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 y'all are I, I, better I had that experience so us <laughs> the us women, is bro. trash so uh, y'all should be happy because yeah. they are trash they actually yeah. make tick, like, tiktoks and videos like Serve a man a plate. What are you no, a that's slave? In my, that's that's in my culture. Like, like so young, you're at an advantage. Dad, yeah. You yeah. can go to the U.S. and clean up. Yo, hey, I'm going to have to move on. <laughs> hey, I feel like this is like some intervention or something, bro. Like, listen, I had a day, some therapy session. Listen, we're going to move on. Therapy. I'm going to make this spicier, man. Therapy do. And listen, I'm going to have to run through the super chats. Uh, big up to everyone that's super chatting. Yeah, if people say horrible stuff, don't get upset. I'm just going to run through the super chats and cheats now. All right, big up to Maggie. Big, big up Maggie, the substitute teacher for the super chat. Just coming through to support. I had fun. Appreciate you. Big up Maggie. Uh, big up to Tommy Guns um, King, your girl is bad Good on you, appreciate that bro <laughs> Big up <laughs> Bro, they trying to get me in okay. Big up to Carlos X Yeah He says, I went clown I want clown music on the soundboard yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, big up to everyone. Listen, we're gonna get the sound. We're gonna get the clown, clown board, sound board. We're gonna get a <laughs> megaphone as well. Cause these all was. Hey, Melanie was talking over me, bruv. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'm gonna have to put her in check, bruv. Like, get me. But anyway, um, big up to DEC081 for the super chat. In nature, poisonous creatures will develop. Bright colors will develop to warn others their toxicity. Looking at you, blue hair. Big up to Joey, Joey Cornegay for the Super Chat. It says, much love from Charleston, South Carolina. Love your work, man. It's great. Paying off and helping us men around the world become better versions of ourselves. Appreciate you, dog. Big up to DEC again. He says, no hymen, no diamond. Men don't deserve less. Big up the UK economist. He says, please ask your guests, if you had a daughter, how would you advise her to portray herself online to attract respectable man for marriage? I think that they'd pretty much want her to not. Dressed like a 304, probably. Big up Daniel, he says, male friends just want to smash. Big up Multiverse, Bam, he says, why is Instagram so important? Women are in relationships with that app. They want a man who's a leader but won't let him lead. Hilarious. Big up Frankie Baltimore, he says, can we stop lowering the rim for these women? I stopped being called buck teeth till I had no choice but to fix it. Nigerian, we don't claim her. Big up Maggie, the substitute teacher. You never get a second <laughs> chance to make a first impression. Big up to Journey, Charles and Dre. The blue hair lady is like any other hood chick. What makes her so special? Big up, big up to Chris. <laughs> what Jeez. Big up Chris. What big up break? Chris aligns him. Um, I'm Nigerian and I can tell you Nigerian women are gearing up to rinse the F out of feminism. Y'all about to see the most stubborn, hard-headed human beings known to mankind. Lord help us all. Big up to Smoking Patriot. Pastor Melanie in the house. Keep it, keep it, keep it, bruv. Uh, big up to N-I-I-J-I. Uh, Melanie, don't forget who you are and who you represent. Speaking to you from Oakland, California. Big up Blessing Producer. Sensational. Future voice. <laughs> Sensational. Big up to Doug MPA for the super chat. Mel back to snatch that wig off. F around. Find out. Big up to Frank Lucas. Love the convo. Love me some Melanie. Need a woman like her. Where simp, simp, simping. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Love the convo. Love me some Melanie. Need a woman like her. Nothing about that blue wig. Those nails says Christ. Modern woman would have it much easier if they would submit your mm. arms too short. All right. All right. All right. Cool. All right, listen, let me move on to something else, man. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Let me ask you like this. What do women find most attractive in men? Starting with you. Me. Yeah. Uh, masculinity. Taking control of the situation. Taking care about me. Um, I, I find masculinity. Like mm. a man in his masculine form. Mm-hmm. What about physically? Oh, a nice beard, mm. nice teeth, mm. well brushed <laughs> teeth. Mm. Um, um, what else? Because you're not you, you, you like you keep saying teeth, but <laughs> but <laughs> it's an important day, thing for me, anyways. I, like, I, 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 hear I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. But um, what about the body, though? What about his looks? What what kind of guy? Someone healthy, you know, that can. You know, that goes to the gym and mm. I can drag me to the gym because I'm not in shape. <laughs> so I would like someone that does exercise and is healthy, no smoking, 
and obviously not drinking. How tall would the guy need to be? Taller than me. How tall are you? One six five. Do you know how much that is in feet? No. Mm. All right. Uh, but I'm not too tall, so it's good. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. Next one. What do you think? Um, I would say his posture, intelligence, um, the way that he commands a room, it's really important. Um, that knows how to speak, definitely a leader. Um, in terms of like appearance, um, definitely taller than me, but I'm not fussed. I already dated men that are shorter than me. Um, but somebody with confidence, you know, has to have confidence because I'm confident with myself. And when we're in public, you know, I, I want him to be that alpha male, definitely. Okay, what about looks wise? Uh, as I mentioned, I don't really care about looks because it's all about the intelligence. I'm very attracted by intelligent men. That, don't that, you, don't that, you think? Don't you ever think? Right, I don't want my kids to look look ugly. I do think, but I I have I look good. So I yeah, but I your might... kid is going to be half for you and half for whatever he is. <laughs> no, don't you understand that? I do understand. <laughs> I do understand, but like looks is not everything because, as you said, it vanishes. You know, it goes over time. But anyway, definitely a, a man that looks good, nice teeth as well, uh, smells good. It's really quite important. But I'm not fussed about the look. It's about. Because an ugly guy, he can have the best posture and and smell nice and talk nice and and own a room and then a nice looking guy is just just a bum. He's just there. Mm, interesting. Next one. So am I basing this on my husband or? <laughs> how do you want to say? Yeah, you, yeah. Just yeah. live your movie. Live it. Live it. Okay. So I would say um, definitely his char- the person's character um, in terms of. I like a man who can articulate himself. So like yourself, mm. you can you can have a conversation, mm. you know, and go deep into different topics. I, I find that very attractive. You know, obviously taking the lead um, in terms of, um, you know, being able to say, because I'm kind of a very vocal person. I've had to tame over the years. So I need someone to, to actually say, actually, Andrea, stop, calm yourself down. That, so just taking that kind of role. You know, um, because sometimes I can be a bit wild. I have been a bit wild in terms of I'm quite vocal. I'm the only girl out of four, three brothers. And so when you brought up with all men, you can, as a woman, sometimes (coughs) you can be a bit. (sighs) But yeah, my husband's had to tame me slightly. Um, What about looks? In terms of looks, well, yeah, initially that is the first thing you see, isn't it? Um, Mm. Like I said, it's not important. But as time has gone on, you realise it's not important. But when, when I was younger... There were certain looks which I went for, but with so what maturity, kind of looks did you go for? Well, like like this young lady said, she said that um, it said looks is in the in the eyes of the beholder. So mm-hmm. what what she what she thinks is attractive for, your, for yourself? Would, we we have what did you find? What it? did you find attractive? <laughs> well, he, height, t- height, build, height, build. Look. Yeah, exactly. Height, build, um, yeah, just the way how you walk into. Yeah, the room. which height, which build? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> taller than me. I'm five foot two, so as long as they're like uh, taller than me. So if he was five, five foot three, foot it's six. okay. It's okay if he's five foot three. Yeah, I would, I'm not biased, mate. I'm Why are you biased. laughing? I'm not biased. However, I didn't really want short children like myself, so I'd say about. So five. you do you do consider <laughs> your children when you look at a man's looks. <laughs> What, you just you said you don't, do, and now you go. Mm, do you know this what, one? Uh, do you know what? No, 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 no. It's not always you, the case, you, you, though. Nah, you know? nah, nah. She said. She, I said. Uh, what's it? So you do consider looks when you're thinking of your children, and you, who think, said you don't care, I was and now you go. About the height. Mm. I was thinking about the height. Height. I mean, if this is ugly, at least has to be tall. Come on, come. Be, oh, gotta pick a struggle, you know. Okay. Pick a, so pick, so if the guy's ugly. He has to be tall. <laughs> Right? Damn. Yeah, definitely. Damn. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Next one. <laughs> Go okay, on. so um, you said what we want in a man. What do women find attractive in men? I think society in a societal way, like height, beard, um, like the lady said, good teeth. Mm. Um. I think for me personally, like um, dress sense, like the way they dress, like I like it when a guy like knows how to dress really well, mm. um, and I think that attracts other women as well when they when he when they can see that the man knows how to look after himself. 
hygiene is really important for me. Yeah, because sure. mm-hmm. a lot of guys smell like BO, mm-hmm. like which is not great. But mm-hmm. each to their own. No, I'm not judging them. But um, what else? What I find really attractive in a guy personally is when like he's like really open about his like love for Christ. Like, that really attracts me to a man because it's like mm. a lot of people are scared to actually speak about their beliefs. Mm-hmm. And when a man is like really open and like, proud to like be like a kingdom citizen or a Christian, like I find that very very attractive. All so, right, that's me. All right, and what about you? Um, I would say some a man that like has respect for his family, has respect for his mom their core values and what they stand for as a person. As some of the ladies have said, like, for, like you know, they, they have presence, they are strong. You know, I, as, and, as Andrea, Andrea, yeah, as Andrea said, I, I'm quite a loud person, <laughs> a quite opinionated person. So I would like my man to kind of be able to check me and be like, listen, like relax, you know, kind of thing. And not just let me kind of walk all over him. Like I like a strong, a strong man. Hi, I'm not, I, like the others have said, taller than me, I'm five foot three. So, you know. Five four is all right, yeah? Yeah, I don't see why not. Have you ever dated someone like around that height? Mm, maybe a little bit taller, but not not not. Oh, like five ten? No, 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 like five five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's very reasonable of you. Yeah, very reasonable. Yes. Yeah, and good teeth. I feel like your mat, like the, the mouth area, is yeah. very important. Like, <laughs> if your teeth are all, uh, yeah, like just nice long. teeth. Just... And like good mine. and good and good breath. <laughs> like like mine. your breath is good. Like your it's tongue is not furry. Thing, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Furry tongue. Yeah, God yeah. forbid a furry tongue. What's a furry tongue? Like when your tongue's like white. White. Oh. 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 Furry tongue, bro. Mad teeth. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Some people yeah. have that. All right, then cool. Well, okay, now it's time for you lot to rate yourselves out of ten. So, what do you rate yourself? I would say like a solid eight. An eight. That's reasonable. Or yeah, like seven. I feel like that's uh, if we take seven out of it, what you would you say you're at eight? If we take seven out of it, mm-hmm. is this just on looks, yeah? Because mm-hmm. that's what guys care about, really. I have a nice everything smile. else is secondary. I would say I have a nice smile. I have good teeth. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the smile. My smile is quite a big feature on my face, so I feel, yeah, I, feel, I would say like the smile. So that makes you at eight. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What would you What would you say though? I'll, go, I'll give the ratings at, at the end. Would you Would you? Oh yeah, you think you're ten in it? Ten out of ten. Hundred <laughs> percent. That side lip. I'm not liking that side lip. You know, I'm not what? liking it. But it's okay. Each to the end. Alright, cool. What about you? Would you rate yourself out of ten? As I'm fifteen to two weeks time, I would rate myself as at eight. An eight. For my age. For my age. Eight. I'd give you higher for your age. Okay. What about you? Well, I um, I would rate myself probably I'm between eight or nine, just because I have a beautiful smile. I'm tall. You cannot see. How tall are you? I'm five foot ten. Okay. So I have a bum, but you can't see, like. You can't. My bum is incredible. Um, what did you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? It, you can't see like that. Like with clothes, but I, my, I have, I have a good body. Like, let's just say, like when I go in a place, people notice me. So you go in the place and they can like, see. Yeah, it's, it's if I go like in a restaurant or somewhere, I'm I'm really I can light up a room. I I know I'm I'm conscious about that, um, but I won't give myself um, maybe not a nine or a ten because you know there's a th- there are things that I don't like about myself and I need to improve. So maybe that's why I wouldn't rate myself that. Interesting. What do you rate yourself? Boy, I come from Venezuela. So I would rate myself. <laughs> no, I'm saying like no. For those who understand, so? is the land of where we're known for the most beautiful women in the world. However, if I compare to that, I would rate myself a one. Oh, no. But oh, if so I nice. would rate myself oh. as a European, like here, I would say six. A six. Okay. Why do you say six? Because let's be honest. There is uh, like. Way more beautiful women out there. Mm. So I'm just being realistic. Okay, so 
if we use what the scale that you're using, that you you accept that there's way more beautiful women out there. Do you do you not have that same mindset when you rate yourselves? No, yeah, I, I don't. That, think I, think I, do. I think there's. But you just said ten out of ten. So then, how can there be women be- better looking than you if you're ten out of ten? Okay, it's only not, out of ten. The limit not, is ten. Maybe not better looking, but there's a lot of other be- very beautiful women. Maybe let me know. You said that there then. may be not women better looking. Is that what you're saying? Okay, there is women better looking than me. <laughs> Look, okay, let me make my Bruh, point clear. There are women that are probably better oh looking than me, but God, reality. I think is what I should have said. Up. I think what I should have said is what she said. Like I should. That's not really what I'm looking at. Like I don't really care about that. I still think I'm a ten out of ten. So yeah. You don't care about what exactly? I don't care what about don't if there's about? women that they societal maybe society thinks they're prettier than me, or society doesn't think they're prettier than me, or they're uglier than me. I don't care. I'm still a ten out of ten. So I'm done with my point. So you can move on to someone else. Bruh, you was gonna say something? No, I would say I would actually say that I wouldn't. If if we're talking on the scale of all the women in the world, I wouldn't. I don't think I would stick with eight. If I'm being honest with myself. Yeah, but that's. I mean, the world is where we live. So obviously, I'm gonna say, what do you rate yourself out of ten? I.e., out of all the women out there, like that you know of or think of, like what? Where do you think you rate in that scale? Yeah, I feel like I still. I feel like six, seven. Then. No, you said eight before. Yeah, I know. Now but... you've dropped it down. And yeah, seven, don't, seven ain't there any, anymore. Seven's That's not, not an option. Why? Because seven is a go-to for everybody. Everybody say they're seven. Okay, six it sounds, then. It sounds easy. Six huh? then. A six. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. If I'm being honest with myself, I'm not trying to, you know. Interesting. Melanie, what would you rate yourself out of ten? Um, I think I'm a six. A six. Why would you say that? I just think I'm a six. Why? I usually work for Vogue. Yeah. I know the Fibonacci scale, mm-hmm. the ratio of the face, and that's just where I land. Oh, okay. So, have you heard the the ratings of the other panel, the other members? I heard panel? somewhat. I didn't know precisely who. who All said right, let's what. do it. Let's run it back. So, but you're I, saying that was my six, job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying you're what? Six. Six. You're saying ten. Yep. Eight. I said eight for my age. Eight for your age. What did you say? What number? Eight. An eight and a... Say so one in the Latina scale and in the Europe, I would say six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just say six, yeah, because the one is, that's that's miffy. Do you think that kind of makes sense or do you think there may be some delusion on here? Because I'll be honest, I think there's some delusion. I would have adjustments just because I work for Vogue. So yeah. and I and I work I for men. Scale of facial ratio. <laughs> I work for mankind. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> a lot of women aren't saying you have to include body. What is that? Into this, and if your abs are not tight, you don't have a eleven line or four pack. Uh, the ass is not fat. The boobs are sagging. Like, like it is what it is. It doesn't mean you're less beautiful than the man who loves you. This the is- man who's for you. But the reality of the world, especially in the global scale, we like if I were you come in as a model, I have to judge your facial ratio. Like At the end this of the girl day, yeah. is prettier than the other, and it is what it is. Like it doesn't mean but this is the thing, women put too much emphasis on being pretty. Like men will go down in that. For character, but most women don't yeah. have character. I agree. That man. men are looking for personality. Can they have? They looks. they have personality for their girlfriends. No, in my life, for their friends and for business. <laughs> but no, in my life, bruh. Nah. Well, so she can have. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to duck with some great personality. The nah, streets, that's not good for my brand. The streets, the, hey, listen, the Tyrone the therapy. Ladies. Yeah, Tyrone therapy. We don't yeah, do no, things don't by ass over here. So what? You'd have. Listen, you'd have... stop interrupting, bruv. Oh. Tyrone therapy. Yeah, Whoa. I don't do no ducks, bruv. Yeah. Selective breathing. Selective breathing. Let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> My kids can't look like ducks. Let's go. But I, it's not happening, <laughs> bro. No, I've worked too hard. No, bro. No, 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 bro. I've been through too much pain, bro. Too much trying, working oh. hard and all that to go. And I'll be walking around some duck with some great personality. No, bro. <laughs> no. But then what would you no. rate yourself then? Hi. <laughs> Hi, bro. It's Hi. different. Why? It's different. Why? It's Why? different. Why? It's different. Why? Because guess what? Because guess what? Him. Guess what? Yeah. Boom. You can. Like facially, you, he's wherever attractive. you, wherever you look. Do you know why I can rate myself and high? Because I can go off my CV Period. of girls that I've I've Period. messed with in my life. No, but I don't. 
Mm. No, he's not yes, only attractive. Do you want to know why? Because it's, he he's, he's, he's harder. It's harder. Hold on, hold on, It's harder like, for me. It's him. hard. It's harder for Stop. me to get the women I want than it Stop. is for you to sleep with the men that you want to. Y'all can hold him. You can. He's be, attractive. You can make that face. He has a good want. body. <laughs> he, no, no, I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> no, you're, gash me up. He's no, calm. no, no. You're attractive. <laughs> you have a good body. I think you have an amazing personality. I don't know in the UK how you consider him in the US. Women would think he was like. The like the the like we will not use the word nice. Ain't no nice we would guys think over here, man. Trust me. His personality was great. He was fun. He was lovable. That's what your personality be with lovable to the women in the US. I don't know who y'all are, but I'm just saying over there, you would clean these streets. And no, women would see you and you're you play football <laughs> over there in American North football Carolina. College. Right. He yes. played American football I too. Done that. Like that's already a that's already a, like like he's he's good looking Dimple. and he's high achieving and I've talked to him he's not an <laughs> asshole he's actually a like a a a man that's like about his business and he's like he's not an ass like he's like like I'm just saying like a woman would be lucky if especially catch him how old are you <sighs> Not old yet. Just tell your age. It's no, important. man. It's I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Put out no. Stuff. It's a. It's a good thing. You Can know I, the age, man. I know, but like, I just, I don't want to put no, it out there it, without you saying. Say Is it twenty eight? Right. Twenty nine. No. Twenty nine. Okay. So at twenty nine, I felt like he's high achieving. He's gonna be. He's gonna be something like, and he's There's already no one above is. Us. He already is. There's no one above so us. So I'm already. saying right now, he's good looking, have a good body, like, like, like. Let's stop playing games, ladies. Like, like, let's not. And he has, and he's tall. Like, like, let's not play the games right here. So the scale that men are rated at, especially if he was just like a homosexual. <laughs> right <laughs> he just needs you for your money like you know what i'm saying he's like talking that game he can give you that good d but he doesn't have anything to offer he has no ambition and drive he's not doing anything he's just talking it is what it is like give men their flowers we don't want to give men their flowers we're queens but he can't be a king why why can't he be a because y'all don't call them kings y'all say y'all are queens who i call guys kings publicly yeah, on instagram friends. who on my instagram friends, guys show dating. me your instagram post where you called a man a king Right now. But my, my Instagram's not about me. No, no. Oh, there there, there we go. Of course it's not. It's about there we myself. Go. It's not. But will you call yourself a queen on Instagram? Because it's my Instagram, yes. Right. But you're talking about yourself. It's narcissistic. Okay. Too. Everything's about you. You're not page. speaking to the man you're trying to, the king you're trying to build up. And I'm not saying that about you as a negative, but I'm saying it's a, it's a point of reference. I hear you. We only see ourselves how we see ourselves. But if we take what people see us, and I'm telling you, the man's a prize. Y'all are tripping. Right now, if, if it was me, and I'm a young woman, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to lock a man like this down because I see where he's going at his age. Y'all are tripping for real. So when I say a skill of a man is different, you can take a man who's fine. Most of them are soft. They zesty. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's it's a 10. A no, His no. lips are glossy. He got baby oil on and he's hitting no. angles. Ma'am, I do not, sir. Ma'am, I don't know do what to call agree. you, but ma'am, stop hitting the angles. <laughs> I need the baby oil off. Oh, just no. just ride it out and let me just see your see you build. Can I just say something quickly? I'm the, sorry. The, the, he is a prize. Y'all are tripping. Is, yeah. Y'all are tripping popping off on him. I just y'all think, are tripping. I just think this uh, all of us. No, I'm just mean hold like on, the world. Hold on, hold on. Not y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, yeah. This is the thing, yeah. I just think with this whole rating thing, yeah, a lot of women overrate themselves because this is the thing. Majority of women don't find the majority of men attractive, yeah. And, you know, women are kind of encouraged to, oh, yeah, you're a queen. You're beautiful just the way you are. Don't let no man tell you anything. If you're overweight, no, you're you're just big and beautiful and all this kind of nonsense. Bro. Whereas men, we we have that burden of, of performance. We, if we don't measure up in certain ways and we don't get any results or we don't get the results we want, we have to man up and just settle and that's just your lot in life and that's it. And no one doesn't care about you. But if you're a woman and you're failing in life, everybody has to come and hug you. Well, I don't, bruv. You're that's a scrub. Why I ask, that's you're why, a scrub. That's why I ask you lot to rate yourselves. And, I, and and if you ask me the rating, I'll tell you what your real rating is. To you. 
to me and pr pretty much most other guys because whenever I talk to guys, we pretty much rate girls the same way. I'm just mm. being honest with you. Yeah, Same cool. way that you girls do it, guys do it. It's, we're not so, that. It's not like some alien species that doesn't have eyes. We got eyes as well, and we can we can see a woman. We can see two women and and quickly judge if this one's better looking than another one. Now it's got nothing to do with personality. The one that's ugly, I may may be more loyal, but sorry. Uh, the first thing people see is how you look. If you don't, if you look out of shape, you look out of shape. If your face is not all that, it's not all that. If you're average, you're average. And a lot of times. Women find average to be like an insult. Average is the majority of people. It's the majority. That's why it's called average. So I don't understand why women, the first thing when I ask them, what do you rate yourself out of 10? I'm a 10. How? <laughs> How can you be a 10? <laughs> How? A guy can be a 10 as well, though. A guy can be a 10. That means nothing. What you just said means nothing, bruv. Anybody, there can be an example of anything anywhere in the world. That doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean that you specifically are 10 because there, a guy can be a 10 out there. That means nothing. That's true. Like that, that, and, and, and the thing is, if, if I believe if a lot of modern women, because this is more of a modern woman mindset, because traditional women were more like humble. They don't care about like, looks. If, 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 if a lot of modern women were more like realistic and humble about themselves, they, they would find that they would have a lot more success in life. You let Diddy pee on you. You a city girl <laughs> and you get flued out. You bought the bag. You don't care about men. But girl, you confessing getting peed on. And now you trying to he had babies on you. Never wiped you, and you out here trying to now you got an extra BBL like the BBL is BBLing, okay? And we all know, and it looks a hot ass mess, and even men, <laughs> it's going out of style. Like you doing the most, but you a bad B, and all not use these women as examples. All these women to talk about city girl getting flued out, bad bees. Where are their husbands? Why are they not happy? Why are they still having to wear thongs and be in the street and be the most? If it's that like, if it's like that, they're getting peed on in the mouth, mm -mm. in the puss. Mm -mm. Damn, Melanie, you're gonna make us like be. They don't know what the, the algorithm. I promise you, the algorithm don't know what that is. Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I've, been, I've been around here for a while, <laughs> but I say that because they're fooling you. They all want relationship. They're talking about we don't need no man. But all of them want a man. They all or either have a man. They're getting peed on to keep a man. Look at all the city girls, Meg the Stallion, Cardi B. It's not look, I'm not holding these women. I don't know them, but they talk about being single and and they don't give a about men. All of them are, wa are trying to be wives and they're all bunned up with a man. It's called even But they want you in the yep. they want you in the street. <laughs> yeah, but the, yeah, but the thing Cardi is, no, but you know that actually makes it worse that Cardi B has she's got a man married. because think kids. about it. She she put out WAP. She told you lot, like, oh yeah, um, you know, broke, broke guys don't deserve pussy. Uh, what is it? Um, I, don't I don't cook. I don't clean. She was she putting out a lot of kids. rhetoric. And she shows videos of her cooking, cooking for my man. Clean. Yeah, Listen. no, yeah. And, like, and, and, man. and another thing. And yeah. another thing, WAP. The song she made that was that blew up. She wouldn't let her own children listen to the song, but your children can listen yeah, to it's it. Yeah, right. It's true. They don't love. So us. that that's actually worse. Mm. They don't yeah. love black women. You know what I'm saying? They don't Whatever love women, especially black women. Whatever and we will hold and ride for these women. They're bad bees. We will t adopt the emulate, language emulate. of the industry. Yeah. But you're not like seeing these women What's are doing happening? the opposite mm -hmm. of what we're doing. They don't care if you win. They're being used to push an agenda. That's really right, what and is. they don't care about they don't care, us. I mean, they're making I mean, money. Hey, listen, what's it? Queen B made Survivor, Independent. I need a soldier. All this, da da da. Right, da. Beyonce. And guess what? And Jay Z cheated on that. And she didn't go ladies, nowhere. She's still this, with him. <laughs> she was singing. You know, she made. They made single ladies while she was married to Jay Z. Yeah, it's an agenda. It's <laughs> right. an agenda. But that's what. When it seems like we're being harsh, somebody has to come harsh like they're coming because we want you to win because we see. The reality, mm -hmm. yeah, like a lot of young women are influenced by the celebrity and what they're doing, but what they're doing is not relevant to your life. It isn't. You can strive to be a celebrity in whatever it is you're trying to do, but understand they don't love you. They don't live this life. And I think it's also important if you're striving to be that, to have a message, because most of these people don't have a message. And people are tired of yeah. the city girl, BBL, so tired. flewed out, and I'm a bad B. We are tired. We tired, sis. 
We tired. <laughs> and the thing you is, getting peed the on, day. and you telling me be a city girl, you getting peed on, sis. It's over. And the thing is, and <laughs> the thing over. is about, and the thing is about that, yeah, is that like, okay, if you look at all these Instagram models, yeah, like that showing yeah, off, man. and they're meant to be bad bees and that. Most of them are just baby mamas. Most of them For are just real, baby that's mamas. how she real mm-hmm. out. Like, it's sad. So, mm-hmm. what does that tell you? And and a lot of them are actually gorgeous, so beautiful. and they're still baby mamas. That should tell you look something. Look at Nick Cannon. All Let's his women are like fine, fine. And I'm not, look, Nick Cannon, I don't hold Nick Cannon. Like he don't, he do. He gave these women the real. He didn't lie to them. Mm. So you can't blame him. He's a grown man. They chose him. Yeah. But they're so desperate. Look at the women who his baby mamas are. These women are Mariah like top Carey. notch models. Mariah Carey. No, no, no. <laughs> she came before the. But the she's fuck still she, part of it though. Excuse my language. She came. No, no, no. She's not. She came before it. Okay, bro. He started that after her. Huh? But look at the women. His They look better than Mariah Carey, his baby mamas. All of them. Bad bees only. They are baddies. <laughs> and you bad would think bees only. they have the pick of men, these bad women. Their mindset is so gone. It's very superficial, so isn't gone. it? So gone. Oh, then that's sweet. Gone. It's quite superficial because now it's more based on the image and how they look, not really on what's in, inside. The head. Yeah. In their head, mindset wise, not wifey mm. material anymore. Just like, because the, it's quite what you said, it's like an agenda in the music. They portrayed it that, but yeah. they don't leave that lifestyle, you know? And mm. unfortunately, because the youngsters that come in and listening to that, they don't know that. They just, they, they admire them because they think that's what they, 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 they live yeah. for. Let me just get through the super chats. Big up Eternal Outlaw. He says, imagine needing to control and take care of another grown person. You lot are just big kids, to be honest. Big up to Mr. B93. He says, Ephesians 5, to verse 24. Wives, submit to your own husbands, for the husband is the head of, the, of your wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Big up to F.S. Clare uh, for super chat. Mel is right, but the risk of dealing with a modern woman is too high. You could be accused of anything at any time. Modern women can emit till us and other over and our lives will be destroyed because before we are even proven innocent. No way. We got Mr. B93, uh, PR, first PR37. Likewise, husbands live with your with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel. Big up Tim again, he says, oh, this these guys are the scriptures, bro. First Timothy 2, 11 to 12. Let a woman learn quite quietly with all submissiveness let me repeat that again let a woman learn (laughs) quietly with submissiveness i do not permit a woman to teach or do or to exercise authority over a man rather she is to remain quiet says the bible lady in purple see this is the thing as well and this is why a lot of guys don't go church because a lot of times it's tailored to the majority of the congregation who usually is women and a, a lot of times it, the the rhetoric kind of leaves out a lot of passages like that First Timothy passage, you know. So leave that there. Big up Tricker. He says, "You see, women is changing. Women is changing the game. They made it easy for the top G to bust b- bees." So the hunting game has changed and the men accommodate to the change. Big up Frankie Baltimore. Mummy cray cray. The cap is outrageous. Big up Bees the Beast. Women aren't bosses according to God. Big up Daniel. He says, uh, women preaching I'm a boss come as masculine. Men don't want that kind of energy around them. Big up M, Mr. B93. To the lady in purple, you can be a boss at your job, but at home, the Bible says you must be submissive. The men yeah. you want don't really care about your job. What do you say? That's a fair. That's fair. Big up to Frank Lucas. The confusing, they confusing being a boss with being an adult. I'm taking Melanie mm. on a nice date to botan- Botanical Gardens if she ever in ATL. Right, boy. Big up to Caleb. Uh, <laughs> He's lived there seven years, so. Okay. Big up to Caleb, yeah. I'm an independent boss babe means that you're disagreeable, you're not very useful in a relationship, and you ain't natural, comparative, and submissive. None of that is attractive. Big up to UK economist. The the boss mindset (laughs) 
Uh, you can come back anytime to the show, <laughs> blood. I'm loving it. Big up the the uh, UK economist is the boss mindset is a reason why black women keep trying to raise a family on their own and keep their sons out of control. Oh, Stable no. homes will build prosperity. Big, mm. big up to my boy MTR mediocre tutorials and reviews. Yeah, he says, "Ayo King, where were these disagreeable chicks when I was there?" Shout out, bro. <laughs> Lol, bro. I, I don't do the recruiting, bro. It's not on me. He bro. kept them under discipline. <laughs> yeah, nah. His, your present MTR. <laughs> they 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 didn't they, they weren't bucking on you. They try and try your boy, but you know he do this every day. I do this every. He got to wrangle. He got to do it every day. Every day. We just occasional. I got. I got. Don't get, hold on. I got. I got to do this, man. Hey, <laughs> make, hey, make sure you react to these crazy moments, though, bro. You know. You know. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> we got to I. Man, man's name is I. <laughs> Smashed it, bruv. <laughs> the letter I, you know. <laughs> uh, Mel out here giving therapy, but King Riches wasn't having it. Fighting um, improvement. Also, bring Candice Owens and HRH collection on the show. Okay. Big up to Chief Keith. Empty the balls, fill the belly, and shush. Oh, no. Terrible. What's, what's all known with that? Just, oh, no. That's my comment on oh, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh oh yes Alright cool I want to move on quickly um, How do you think Will Smith handled The entanglement situation hey. Don't play with me What a topic Do not play with me Yes what a topic. Do not yes. play with me You You're gonna start Heavy topic I don't really know To be honest It's a techie one Pull the mic down so a bit It's a bit covering you. Yeah gone mm. I just I don't really know Go to someone else, let me think about it. All right, cool. How do you feel Will Smith handled the entanglement? I've situation? got to be honest, I didn't follow the story. All right, let me let me recap the story. So, you know, Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, mm, yeah, playground most of his days and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, boom, like, so he married Jay the Pinkett, right? Mm. He then later became Jay the Pinkett Smith, right? And they had two beautiful children. Yeah, Willow and what's the other one's name? Jaden. Yeah, mm. cool. And then, boom, what happened was is Jaden had a friend called August Alcina, a singer. And then, boom, like, for some reason, Jada, Jada, uh, what is it? Ba- basically, Jada and August Alcina had an entanglement. They're sleeping together. Mm. Right. And then I guess it came out. There was speculation about it. And then boom, like um, Jada had a little show called the Red Table Talk. And basically uh, Will and Jada spoke about the situation. And um, Jada actually called it an entanglement. So like that's what the situation is. And um, basically Will Smith was looking very teary eyed and upset about it. And he got a lot of flack for it and stuff like that. And um, yeah, they're still married. Yeah, so, from what I understand, he and then he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars because mm-hmm. Chris Rock made a joke about um, Jada, which was not related to the entanglement, mm-hmm. just an unrelated mm-hmm. joke. It was related. No. The GI well, first Jane. of all, like August Alcina, Alcina, she met him through her son. Yeah, that was her son's friend, and she had an entanglement, an affair with him. Mm-hmm. And from what I understand, she brought Will Smith on Red Table Talk to discuss it. So she was a G. She was the man. And he started crying about it as they discussed me getting piped down by our son's friend. Mm -hmm. And it made him soft. And a lot of women, some women thought this was great and open and emotional. But men, like... He lost all respect. I loved Will Smith. So did I, man. That like, was hurt. That hurt me to the core. He's Will Smith. He did Men in Black, bro. What? Men in Black. What? That hurt. What? But what if he's just it hurt? It was crazy. Though. What? I don't care if he's, what hurt. If he's hurt. Why is your like wife? Like he's been married. Well, now, to... listen. I'm, you getting piped down. You being a whore. <clears throat> Why are you bringing your, your husband to interview him about what do you think about me Taking straight dick from our son's friend. Son's That's friend, so you know. Disrespectful. Though. Son's friend. Son's mm-hmm. friend. That's disrespectful. And he went on there and allowed himself to be asked about this. Humiliated. And then he cried. Huh. He's a good man, though. But no, he's not that, a good man. He's right? weak. But it's the narrative that men shouldn't cry. I don't really get it. I'm beta, so weak ass, emotional, beta. Nope. He, he pimped himself. No man wants. 
What? He's a he's a good man. That's not a good man. I don't. Your wife gets piped down by your son's friend. She's for the streets. <laughs> Just be clear. Jada Pinkett is a D, a Z list actress. Let's be clear. Without Will Smith, that hoe would be for the streets. Oh, I just don't really feel like... I don't give a good Ooh, goddamn what so you feel. Okay. These are the facts of Hollywood <laughs> so because okay. I studied it and I worked in the industry. <laughs> she is a bottom of the barrel, has no roles. Will Smith is an A-top actor. Exactly. She had. She was so thirsty in her narcissistic rage. I must humiliate my husband. Publicly. Wish he did. Yeah. Has Will Smith done that about women he's been with? No. 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 She's a straight up whore. Oh. I just feel like this. And she can, and she can, oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is public. Ew. Everybody just, agrees just, with just, me. Just, oh, no, I put this out, so y'all ain't gonna say nothing. True, though. I don't give a good goddamn what you feel. I'm telling you, she's a whore. <laughs> Sorry. And she has no respect. She deserves no respect, and she's for the streets. Not only that. Oh. How many examples do we have a black man and a black woman as a married couple mm. that we can look up to? But would you say the same, same thing about Will if he cheated on her? No, no, no. We're not doing hypothetical. No, but We're you, doing... But no, 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 no. We're dealing with we're reality. Yeah, but, but I don't do hypothetical. Is, though, She's a fucking whore. Okay. Can I say something? But don't but play I, with I, me. And, and, and even if we do <laughs> play... The entire and, and listen, world hold agrees. On, hold on, Melanie. Even if we did play your game... Think about Sick that. If Will done what? Disrespect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you wouldn't be hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Will done what Jada done, imagine that Will slept Y'all with crucify Willow's him. friend. He would be oh my canceled. God. Yeah. Okay, that was right. Right. There would be right. no. Right. There would be no red table that talk. Be, there would be no talk. Yeah. There yeah. wouldn't be, like, be a meme. It wouldn't understand. be a joke. He might even go jail. He wouldn't find a way to get put him in prison. What about this? But you know what the reality is? I actually agree with you because I felt like what she did was really out of line. Yeah, it was. And the fact that August but was like her, so her we, didn't know, we didn't wild. need to know. Is that what she called her? Yeah. She called, you called her a what? She's a whore. Yeah. That's your perspective. That's fine. That's no, she is a whore. That's very when, you wild. Are, have, when you are a married woman. But they were also in an open thing, relationship. Let's I also don't give a that. good goddamn. You didn't know ne- the public didn't. <laughs> We were informed though that they were in, they were in an open because she's a whore and she decided she needed clout. Her her acting skills are below <laughs> subpar. But let's focus on the and let's no focus no no. The thing. Why does she need red table talk to embarrass her husband? Totally you can interview her. people. You can do whatever you do. You have your husband crying about you taking straight dick from your son's friend. He was losing like, his mind. He was eating her pussy. He was coming in her and her throat. Jeez. And she's uh, advertising this for the. See, we talk about we slept together. It was an entanglement. No, let's talk about he came in your throat, throat baby. <laughs> you were swallowing cum <laughs> by Yo. your son's friend. No, because we Yo. leave. No, it was no, wild. no, no, no. Because we wild. use this clean up language. It was wild. But let's talk about how she knew she had a whole husband. This young man. She was letting him hit the back of her throat. Can I ask you a question, though? And she was taking that D from behind. She was letting him violate her innards. But why are you so enraged? Yeah. Because, like, why are you so pressed? Because when you are a black couple mm. that's been married a long time, we don't have many of y'all. Oh but we can't be like... And we respected Will Smith. Bitch, we didn't care about that's you. True. That's Any true. woman yeah, Will Smith true. was with, that's we true. loved. That's yeah. true. It was she about Will Smith, him. but she needed clout. She needed and to him. talk about the, your, yo, whatever your arrangement is. Keep it between yourselves. Yeah, it's true. And then there was no he's need. so emotional. He slapped. No, but he was going to return. Oh, oh, and that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. Remember, she done the other Red Table talk where she was with Gwyneth Paltrow and the daughter and the grandmother talking about we wasn't pleasing her in the bed. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, oh just God. so you know. about that. She I did a reaction it. video to that like, but before. I done a reaction video to that before. That was before. crazy. Oh, my God. Guys, just yeah, so you bro. know, yeah, after all this has happened, guess what Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith is doing? What? She's writing a tell-all memoir. Oh, my wow. About, no, 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 no. <laughs> about her marriage to Will Smith. And her relationship with Tupac. Of course, he's got Tupac. Who she's in love with. She's gonna, of yeah, course. Yeah. She's been in love with. She's your friend. 
She's my enemy. She's you, my you're friend. my enemy. She's not my friend. No, this if you ride for her, oh. this is what I'm saying. fuck off. No, she this messed up. Saying. She did. A, she did what what she did was wrong. Wrong like, on so many levels. No, she's a Jezebel of the highest order, and she need. If a man did this with his sons. With his daughter's his friend, friend none of y'all would be like, "Oh well, well, what, how how was he feeling, and how how was it, and what happened?" We wouldn't give him any passes, ladies. Let's reverse it. If this was Willow's friend, that Will Smith decided to interview Jada Pinkett on his show, he had, and he's the bottom actor, and she's like a superstar, right? She wouldn't have done this. No, no, no. No, it doesn't matter. We're giving the exact same example, okay. regardless of what you think. I hear you. Let's take it as raw, like mm. equal. Let's give it equal, yeah. right? You interview, She he interviews his wife about how did you feel about my entanglement <laughs> with our daughter Willow's friend, friend. best friend. Jeez. And I'm giving details how I piped her down Jeez. and how I, all of this. Every woman... And then I'm gonna write a tell all about you and Melanie, Aaliyah, who out. I was in love with back in the day. Melanie, pull your mic oh, out. sorry. And Aaliyah, who I was in love with back in the day, because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm comparing yeah. with Tupac. So Aaliyah, yeah. right? In the US, I don't know in the UK if she was as big as she yeah, was in the Okay. Yeah, she's so yeah. Aaliyah, because she died like Tupac. Mm -hmm. All right, so now he's gonna write a memoir and tell speak his truth, live his truth. And he was piping down a your daughter's, the daughter's friend, how would y'all feel? He'd be cancelled immediately. Like, he wouldn't even get a say. Like, he wouldn't even be able to write the tell-all. He wouldn't even get to that point. That's the Wait, didn't we give him a book deal? Oh, there was no... Could he even have a show? I don't even get why Jada's getting a book. I really don't get why she's... If I'm going to be honest, I don't get why she's getting a book. In the West, it, it in the U.S., we're for the streets. It was a slap in the face. Because women are allowed to do whatever they want. Wow. And I feel like That's the society we live in in the West, man. That's what it boils down to. There's no culture That's there. That's why, let me tell you one thing. The reason that I can even have these conversations and talk about this stuff is because I've got women guests. That's why I, I, I told them, don't bring guys on my show. Because I can't have these conversations. If we was all a group of men oh, here talking down. and having it, the this flames. show would get cancelled straight away. So quickly. Mm. And this is the society we live in. And this is why, well, I, well, and then well. this is why I talk to you lot the way I talk to you lot. When you ask me a question, I'll tell you the, the straight up answer, whether you like it or not. Because this is the only space that men can really talk this way. Because women tend to lie to other women. The way Melanie talking to you now is refreshing. It's like, wow, I can't believe she's saying it. Because women usually lie to each other. You lot lie to each other all the time. Oh, you're fabulous. You look great in that dress. No, you don't. Because the media, the media the has yeah, lied to us and want us to lie to each other. Yeah. Especially black women. Yeah, yeah that's Facebook true. gave Jada Pinkett a platform as a black woman and it felt empowering, right? It did until right? it went left. Until she decided to destroy <laughs> the black man. Mm -hmm. They used her as a weapon they did. to destroy. We love Will Smith. I still love Will, man. Oh, I, I still love Will. I, we just want him to get out. I want him to heal. Literally. It's but get out. Free Will. Get, free Will. And then, and then, free the, will, and then the worst and then the worst part of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. broke my heart. Hey. <laughs> Listen, and the worst part of it is then Will when a slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. Oh, oh. And attack another black that man. Was the, that, that that's was when I was like, that was nah, so nah. I was like, nah. So Are you How seeing are you gonna the defend agenda her that like, for that? Like, like, what did I say before? Nah, it's all another black, agenda. All of the, black all black, the Oscars. Black or black and listen, any white, Everyone any hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Listen, listen. If you're white and you're listening, y'all are brothers and sisters. We don't have nothing. But y'all know we gotta have this family talk. And it's not a, this show is not about that. But he had him on all the history of the Oscars. I, I got a little something going. Yeah, I got a little something. Yeah. Sorry, I got a little passionate. A little she, just said, she got a snot coming out. I got the snot coming out. I'm like, it's pitbull. 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 It's pit
at the Oscars. Mm. I felt for and you know, really funny. Will I felt for Will Smith. When I saw that. I felt a him. black he man. Lost, we are so it. ghetto. No, he lost like, it. Look you how know? ghetto it made us mm. look. It ruined all of us. Yeah, and that is why even Netflix paid Chris Rock what for his live like fifty million dollars. Uh, the, the thing is, I'll take it. Slap me. You want to come slap me? I will take slap the money. Me. I'm good. <laughs> run, like, run. like, all y'all beat me in the alley. Like, we good. It's, girl, if you got no black on black crime here. Like, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. One sec, one sec, one second. Big up to my brethren, Sean. Sean, you know who you are. You just text me, bruv. Big up to you, bruv. Yeah? <laughs> anyway, carry on. And if you pay attention, yeah, like, uh, Will Smith even found, found it funny. When Chris Rock made the joke, it's only because she said something to him that he reacted. So, yes. that's, so she's wearing a pant. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's facts. Yeah. Yes, you know she's running. A... Yeah. What you man? Could see it. I don't you could know see a that man. She's in control. A man yeah. could be a garbage it. man. I don't want to be controlling my mom. Broke down. He's not going to let his woman on a lie. So wait, is Will Talk Smith about a how then? I was swallowing. Absolutely. <laughs> hold on, hold on. But let's get back to the, the, the uh, topic of the video. Uh, seed. <laughs> uh, Melanie, Melanie, let's get to the top of it. So the reason why we even bring up Will Smith, because think about it, yeah. His missus slept with the son's friend, made a oh. video about it for everyone to see, to get more attention, because that's pretty much narcissistic. Then made a video talking to, with the daughter and the grandmother hey. and some random white woman actress to talk about how he's not, they're not having good sex or whatever Jesus. and then he went on at the Oscars now remember Will Smith is not, not just any guy bro really is that's man. Will Smith Will bro Smith. the guy that made the, the good raps that he wasn't talking about all gang 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 and all that he was actually mm. trying to steer black boys away from that mm. and like wholesome whatever family man two kids wife all of that boom messed it all up why because of his m woman who was getting heckled because she did some dirt and then uh, Chris Rock made a joke. He's a comedian. That's what he's there for. You walked up on stage in front of everybody. Everybody was watching that. And he slapped the guy. He, bruh, he, he completely Lost messed it. up so much that so many people have built. It's not even just about him. Exactly. Because he set back he set back the, the black male image to you of lot course. are just fucks. Of course. Because of course. even Will he Smith, resigned, even it? Will Smith, who's got all this money, who's got all this fame, who portrayed himself to be squeaky clean. He done he done men in black. He done hitch. He done Hancock. He done all these mo wholesome movies. Didn't do no gang gang movies. No gang gang rap. He still did some fuck shit wait, on, wait, on wait. in did TV in front of everybody. Did you say hitch? Yeah. That's a little known fact. That's like one of my favorite movies ever. Ah, I'm glad forget that man. one. You said it's okay. I was just trying to think quickly. No, no, no. I like I just, it. I like it. Like, forget that. But no, no but no. Like, it's like a disrespect you. to us. So yeah, he's simping. It's black women. Like, and black women were cheering about this. Like, he was protecting his woman. woman. Oh, in no, the no, U.S.? No, no, no. They, they was. They, they was, say they was, he they is was. protecting Black women by going up and slapping another black mm. man in front of the world. Do you know what scares me the most about I'm the situation? I'm yeah. so ashamed. I was, the I was second hand cringe yeah, is so what strong. What, I just hate it. What scares me the most about the situation is, is Jada's okay with bringing Will down and all of this. Because yes, because she's is a narcissist. Will in my Smith's opinion. career, image, she don't everything care. Down. Not that. She loves, she's scary. in love with Tupac and she's still in love with Tupac. She's still in love with Tupac. She was engaged to another Kadada Jones, Quincy Jones daughter he said ho oh, i don't want you we grew up together but you was always in the friend to zone yes oh. he was engaged to another woman she had her daughter by will smith writing letters to tupac that was dead. dead that was dead He's yeah been dead for like 20 about years. how i miss <laughs> you i love Why you was doing this? you could have been my father oh mm. no that's mad listen no, no, no. Our, but there are black this. women who will still say, why don't black men protect us? Why don't black men do this? Are you And you support Jada Pinkett? I don't support And let your lie. daughter write letters to I a dead man this, so who never honest. loved you? I never knew this, but this That's is crazy. No, no, do the research. Oh, is, and I feel like people... There. Yeah, this, this is, is common there. knowledge. This knew. is out there. I never knew about No, this. she's for... She's she's not even for the streets. She's for the cemetery. She's oh, no. <laughs> oh. 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 she's You're for the cemetery. Mad. Yeah, you say some You're, wild I things. I don't give a good goddamn. She could come right here. Oh. She I'll come into right. London. Though. Okay, Jada I, Pinkett, I, I, you are for the cemetery. The street is too yeah. high for you. Uh -oh. I, 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 Jada Pinkett, if you want, you're come. for the casket. 
Because, oh, I, because I, I, you're chasing a dead man that never even wanted you. Did he never wiped you? He engaged. He was engaged to another woman, and you got your daughter from another man who was a great black man. And our eyes, and you destroyed. <laughs> so Will Smith was <laughs> was a king, the Fresh <laughs> Prince. He was a Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He was. He was a Prince of Zamunda. He, he was. Nah, but okay. you know what? Do you know what's mad about that? You know what's you for the cast? Do you know what's mad about the that? open cast? Do you know what's mad about that? Why it's so so um so crazy as well? Because <laughs> Will Smith, yeah, even even guys that were, like, even boys that were fucked out, you know, street life, blah, 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 guys, you still looked up to Will Smith. As a black Always. boy, you still, every black boy, every black yeah. guy had an affinity, had that soft spot for Will Smith. And when all this happened, it was just like, oh, my God, I looked up to look at this guy. He's, He's a, a simp. simp. He just, he just flopped, yeah. like, and then you Literally. slapped Chris Rock, another guy that people, black guys, black look up man, to him, and, and you slapped him, off, you slapped him in front of all these, let's just say, Caucasian. non-black people. People, Caucasian you slapped in front of the, like at the biggest award ceremony but on the planet. But just a man doing like, that to like, another man, bruh, white, black, like, or whatever. You don't see white men doing this. But let's take race out of it. The, yeah, the, it's not even just a race how thing. How feminine but, yeah. you gotta be and out of control emotionally. Think about the psychological damage no, he's that she's done to him by doing him. all of that to him but I don't when blame he felt like he had to. She fault. looked the Wicked Witch of the West with her bald head and that uh, green uh, dress. She looked evil. <laughs> she <laughs> looked like a demon. Look up the pictures. She looks like a demon. That was an yeah. episode from, from that Oscars. Looks, Let's not come from no, it's not about that. But the fact is, she. it was even the dress like the look. But let's not focus on the looks though. Let's not there wasn't an episode. Just, I'm sorry. I get a. It's a spirit reading. I hear you. The spirit. I felt like it was spirit a spirit reading. upon what her. You mean? Not a spirit reading, but like you know how energy. You just energy. Read energy. Energy. energy out, let's go. Yeah. We talk go. about energy. Let's go. Her, energy, look at her at go. the Oscars that year. The dress, <laughs> even the color, it was this it's high dumb. collar, <laughs> like almost Wicked Witch of the dumb. West dress. I, I know what, I know it was as feminine and soft and cute. Like you got I no hair, you. you can work it. My friends are actresses for, who ain't got they ball headed. There was and a, they look like a bomb feminine woman. She came sense? in with this look at the dress, it's hideous. Oh, it looks like it. something grandmother of the bride, who is a demon, decided to wear. <laughs> who is a demon? Yes. There was a there was a <laughs> grandmother of the bride. <laughs> there was an episode on Red uh, Grandmother. It's giving grandmother of the bride. No, it's too funny, man. Demonic. <laughs> There was an episode on Red Table. Is it Red Table, right? Red Table. Yeah. Um, that Will Smith was um, talking with her and mentioned, like, he, he said, oh, there was this one time I, I made you, like, a surprise birthday party. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mary J. Blige came to sing at the party. He made this whole thing, and he and she said, like, and he said, oh, you call me a narcissist or something, like, he she, that he was she doing She hated the party. We planned it for, like, a year. I don't think she's ever loved him. And she said she hated the party because it wasn't what she wanted, and she, and Will Smith he made it thought all about it, him or something. No, no, no. She wanted a two she, pack hologram. No, <laughs> that's what she he wanted. He was mad at her. <laughs> she was mad at him for even doing it, and he was trying to show his love yeah. and devotion after she had entanglements with their son's friend. That was after. Yes. Jeez. She could, she could. Do you know? Girl, what? I wish Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Look in that camera. Look at this all one. the women here. Every this camera. On, every one. Okay, every woman on earth. Every <laughs> every goddamn woman on earth. I'm. I don't know what she got on you, boo. But it's all right. We're gonna handle it. We're gonna get her together. We're gonna do what we got. But it like we already like every woman like. We will come and murk this hoe. Like, okay. like we're ready. Like <laughs> she gonna be to sleep when we done. Like uh, 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 every uh, uh, woman's ready to come and not the, This like, is not listen, the uh, listen. ideas or representation of King Richard. We're not here yes, to murk it anybody. Is, it hey, be. hey, we're not here to murk people. We're no. just here not to murk. educate. No, when I say murk, I mean yeah. take her out of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, you gotta make you know sure you say it properly. You know how many women want a man? Who makes nearly a hundred million dollars a year? Oh, hey, God. Jesus. And he's anyway. Will Smith. God. <laughs> and he's tall. And he's tall. Now he likes I think he just wanted. An, but. <laughs> She wanted but the I'll fuck. Work with it. She I wanted work, thug life. I will work with it. She wanted thug life. I hey, listen, 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 listen. Next one we're gonna talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next one we're gonna talk about. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm wild. I'm done. So uh, you lot know who Tyrese is, innit? Oh God. yeah. Oh, you about to calm get down. Him, you about to get <laughs> him, friends, I him, man. Hey, chill, chill, chill. So you lot know who Tyrese? is. You just on your phone, like you, sorry. you here? You good? Yeah. Alright, cool. So Tyrese, 
Would you not say that he's an overly emotional guy? Like he he's too in his feelings and too emotional. Like given like the kind of videos he keeps posting and stuff like that. He definitely is connected to his emotions. Yeah. Yeah, he's very quite emotional person. I believe from what I see, I don't know him. Do you think that that's good for a guy to be like that? To to, to his degree. It depends. It really depends. Like it goes to the you know sometimes we can go a little bit extra. Um, and Tyree, sometimes he gets a little bit out of control. How but... did you feel when you when you saw that video where he was like, when he was crying and that talking about his his wife or his baby mama? Well, or whatever. See, that was a bit. I mean, some things are not for social media. You just can't keep it to yourself, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, you you holding it good, girl. What do you what, what, what you let, 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 let the rest of them speak. What, what did you think about Tyrese? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shoot. Oh girl. shit. Oh Sorry. shoot. We did what did you think? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what did you think about the Tyrese? Mm-hmm. I think similar to um your point that like some things are not for social media. I think if you're emotional, be emotional. But we don't all need to know. Mm. Mm. That simple. Are y'all attracted to a man who cries and emotional? You can cry. It depends on the sin, the sin, No, publicly and, de- okay, and no, decides no. to like. <laughs> no. like what you no public crying allowed. No, but but like, with you, you want him like, yeah, if like he's if having he, a moment he's, with you. Yeah, if, if but you don't want him stuff. in the street crying on social media trying to get validation. If no, hundred percent no, trying to get validation. Hundred percent no. Why? Why are we doing that? I'm not doing that. So why are you doing that? And I'm a woman. So why? If I'm not doing that, why are you doing that? As a man Girl, of my I don't household, know. you gotta ask him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, no, I don't I'm just saying, like, if I'm not doing that as a either. woman, and I'm very emotional as a woman myself, so if I'm not doing that. Every woman's emotional. Yeah, it's not just like, you. Yeah, but like, as a woman, if I'm not doing it, my man definitely shouldn't be. If it's not his job, anyways. If he's an actor and he's acting and he's crying. Oh, you weren't acting. He's not, if he's not acting, then yeah. No, no, no. Baby boy, he stop did a. Di- okay, so he we did a reaction before you guys, before this. Okay. And he was on a popular American, like, radio station and hip hop station. And he just talked about his new song. Okay. What's he decided called? to give like a two hour oh. talk about where it came from. <laughs> when I tell you this is some special snowflake. Mm-mm. Oh. Tenderoni. Weak ass soft. Oh, complaining got, about his ex wife. <laughs> his ex wife don't even talk about him like that. Mm-mm. He w- I, it was so uh, there was no words. We had to stop the video so many times. It was so deranged. Oh no. And how weak and soft he looked. He needs to pray for him, in it? No, prayer will not do it alone. This oh. man's been prayed for. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because now, th- obviously... Honestly, he kept talking about people who died or off themselves, but then he would talk about... It was like such a narcissistic, like, injury, trying to make you feel sorry for him. him. But you could tell he wanted sympathy. It was to... Der- he brought in Kobe Bryant. He snitched on pastors. Huh? Mm. They tried to help him and his wife. He started talking about La- Laffy on- Taffy. He talk, oh, started like talking him? about <laughs> Creflo Dollar Wife, oh. these other pastors in the U.S. He talked about, who else was it? Then he talked about Kobe Bryant. We were like, Brandy? Yeah. Who was the last guy? Do? Oh, even Lenny Kravitz he brought into oh, the yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lenny Kravitz is like, <laughs> Lenny Kravitz mind his business. He drink water and he's off. <laughs> like, who are we talking about with Lenny Kravitz? He's a king and like rock and we leave him alone. Mm-hmm. He was a he was snitching. He was talking about he was hiding behind curtains with his with his hoodie on when she brought the child their child over to visit him, but yet she wouldn't let him see his child. And how could you bring the, our child to the house we used to love each other and all this other stuff to visit me? But you would complain about you didn't you can't That's see your child. Sure. It was so deranged. He thought he ate and left no crumbs. Mm-mm. Sir, Mm-mm. sir, the buffet is still open 24 hours a day. Jesus. You did not pay your bill. How would you feel if your man... Someone he ate. How would you feel if your man cried, like, like he was very in touch, in touch with his emotions and it he cried bad. a lot in front of you? How would you perceive bad. that? I mean, I think everyone should be in touch with their emotions and I actually would appreciate it. I don't, yeah. I don't like people who can't show their emotions and act all tough and all hard. First of all, I don't think that's healthy. And second of all, I just feel like that's that's not real. So I okay, so you would you would let Ty- have you seen Tyrese go I have off? Absolutely no idea. What, okay, like, I don't even know. So who he is. I get what you're saying about being healthy. I'm being so real. First thing being honest, do you know who Will Smith but is? But I promise, well, of course. no, no, no. But I just okay. don't think it's I that. Promise I promise you, if you saw Tyrese, 
your face. But it's one thing crying your... on the internet and another thing crying to me in, no, no, in our bed. No, no, we're our, not talking about space. crying to you. We're talking about, they just talk about his new song. Nobody's talking about anything else. They ask him, like, like how did you create your new song? He went on a two-hour a sermon about his ex-wife. Details about other people snitching. So fast stuff. Like, it was insane. Nobody does this. You have to watch it and tell me if you thought he was being emotional mm. and it was attractive. Or do you think I actually would be terrified to be in an intimate relationship with this man? I think he would destroy it. He would delete everyone in the home. Yeah. That's how emotional he was as a man. You know how you, you can sense a man is like, so, like, 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 you know, like, oof, you'd be scared. Mm. I was telling him, like, I think, and I'm not lying, and I take it as not even, like, a joke right now. He kept talking about people who deleted themselves. He talked about, like, people who died. And the way he was, in my opinion, I would be scared he would delete me and my children. That's how bad it was. And I've heard a lot from it. I've had men on my show admit domestic violence. Mm. What things he said scared me as a woman. I've never seen a man that emotional in my life to the point where not crying, but it was like, you tell them, Rick, like, like tell them it was so... I was scared. I could not lay my head at Listen. night with Tyrese and not think he would not delete me and my children just for payback. That's how bad it was. Listen, the On a radio station recently, even other people are calling him out. Mm. Listen, the thing is, with, That's dangerous. with Tyrese, I'm scared. Yeah. I would never lay down he, with this man. He, he was just, he was just like, like very, very emotional. Like he was ranting, rambling. He was going off topic. He was name dropping, snitching, na snitching name dropping, like all these other celebrities. He it was made an album about his ex wife. Can I say something? Double though? album, double, double album about his ex wife. Tracks, but 20. he's happy with his new girl. Maybe he's having a Kanye moment. No, he's been. He lives in a Kanye moment. <laughs> his entire existence is Kanye moment. But can we not like give him grace though? No. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, if this was a man, I just don't really get it. Can we give no. him grace? The reason why I'm saying can we give him grace no. is because. No. Yeah, okay, let's say if it was a woman, yeah. Like, okay, let me use a, a really big, like, dramatic example. Like, Britney, when she shaved her head and she was having a moment, like, she's still kind of having that moment because she had a whole mm. situation. But she wasn't let me snitching. Land, let me land. I hear it. But she she snitched at a point. She started I snitching certain people at a point. But uh, it's not about Britney. This is about Tyrese. I'm using her as an example because people gave her grace. They're like, raw, like what her family did to her, blah, blah, blah. It's very different, of course. But we, d we didn't live with Tyrese when he was with this woman. What their relationship was could have really affected him to the point where he's now damaged to the point that he's expressing himself in this way because he is still healing. Like, he's almost like broken. So like the reason why I say let's give him grace is because... Like you said, if it was a woman, like people wouldn't be moving as as mad. That's the that's the reality. If it was a woman, people were like, oh, she's just emotional. Like you even said yourself, all women are emotional. And I guess because it's not in society normal for a man to be like extra emotional, him having this moment is such a big thing. Can but I tell you that? But the reality he wasn't is, emotional though. Delusional, narcissistic. He's healing. He's clearly broken. No, he wasn't. He was blaming, and nobody held account. Healing is accountability. The only person he blamed, he got his new woman, he's proud. You have to, you know what it is? Y'all haven't heard it. Yeah, so I maybe, think it's unfair yeah. to ask you yeah. what you think. I've seen when I tell you the recent radio interview he did. You sway. It sway. scared me to the point where when he said he put his hoodie on when he knew his kid was coming. And. Yeah, that was weird. It, mm, that he was would weird. look through the window. And she, he said he couldn't see his kid, but yeah, she's dropping she the kid. Him grace though, because he's going through it. Can I tell you though, like girl, he's clearly going through no, it. No, no, girl, girl, he's been going through it for. A l Listen to this, and you tell, come back and tell me, you wouldn't be scared for your child's life. Probably would. And when I tell you, I gave him grace. I was like this and the other. He's so delusional. He's not willing to take accountability. It's one thing if you know, you know, you got problems, I need to heal. He was telling us, he said, you mother effers are lucky that I even finished this album because it takes me eight days to recover every time I sing a song. 
Jeez. He's clearly no, no. He told about. us. No, he told <laughs> us. Clearly, and nobody asked. Um, we're like, we didn't ask you for this album. No, we we're not lucky. In fact, <laughs> yeah, really nobody. In fact, sorry, other sir, DJs but... are like, we don't care. <laughs> like, we didn't ask for this, sir. But like, we're not lucky. Is that not clear that he's going through something? No, though? he's it been is. going. So no, clear, really? this isn't a psychotic break. He has been this way for. On social media for years. But does a crazy person know that they're crazy? No, until they figure it out. No. What happened? What did his manager try to do? He was like this. <laughs> Don't talk. Yeah. People were trying to get him to stop. He's clearly going through it, guys. No, I, it's not going through it. My hashtag is pray for Tyrese. No, it's pray not. Tyrese, prayer guys. is not going to do it. <laughs> he needs him. an intervention. And I'm I just going to say like that this. it was really oh. off. I was scared. I was, I was physically threatened. <laughs> by what he was doing. No, so I'm funny. serious because I know what it looks like a man who was, he kept talking about deleting himself. So what do you think? And people who deleted each then? other. What do you think it is then with him then? If you don't feel He's like a narcissist with a narcissistic injury. So what do you narcissistic think is going to help him? Injury. What do you think is going to help him? Um, nothing. Okay. Most narcissists can't receive help. Oh, okay. So they, they, they won't receive it. Therapy? Why are you I'm a narcissist. Are you MPD diagnosed? I don't know, but I know I'm a no. No, I don't Why think you are. You are. I don't think you are. <laughs> I've talked to you. Yes. You have a lot of yes, pride, on. ego, yes. which, but it's more like, like, like it, it, you're gonna it's, say playful. It's, it's positive. Oh, what he's talking about? Yeah. I was concerned. But I like Tyree Stoll. Do you yeah, want to know why? Like, y'all can like him. Came, I'm still Do you know scared? why? Because he made a song called Criminal Mind, oh, bruv. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. I'm, I'm not singing I'm it. Gone. But listen, um, <laughs> anyway, at the end of the day, I just did that to, to cut you because you do talk a lot. So basically, yeah. That's right. Um, this is King Richard's show. Make sure you hit the like button. I think Tyrese, yeah. I think one of the issues is he probably picked a woman that didn't really like him in the first mm. place. And I think that's what happens to a lot of these celebrity guys. They, they because maybe when they were younger, they weren't select. They maybe get, they yeah. couldn't get that level. They, maybe they could get girls, but not that level of mm. that girl. So once they become Tyrese the superstar, whatever, and now they can get all the girls. And it's, there's a lot of people, a lot Tyrese of rappers. Tyrese was fine. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying just that it happens. So yeah. he, he may have picked a woman... Yeah, he could listen. You can still be a good looking guy and still pick a woman that don't love you. Very true. The hell? That's very true. Bro, because think about it. You're rich and famous. Yeah, you may be good looking, but you're rich and famous. That's going to make certain women gravitate to you that don't give a damn about you. Bitch on the coin. They, all they want to do is make sure you bust a nut in them and then boom, there you go. Why are we bro. so graphic on the show? Because it's real like that. <laughs> it's real like that. Damn. Yeah, it's King Rich's show. Yeah, big up King Producer. We got top producer, we got security, we got everyone, bruv. Yeah? So, basically, he picked a girl, he picked a woman uh, that didn't really like him because she's a bad bee. Boom. She did what bad bees did. She was, they wasn't even married that long. And then it all started going all How over the place. How long married? Well, it couldn't have been, two, what was it, two years? Whoa, really? If that... They already started having problems by year one. Man, get He's the He's Tyrese. Summers. You are not get giving context summers. of what he told on himself or what he did. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, a lot of the problems are a lot of these, these celebrity guys. Bro, you've picked, a, uh, you've picked a woman, yeah, based on she's a bad B. That's what a lot of guys do. Yeah. And when you're in a position like that, you can, do, you can have your pick of the litter. Yeah. That's the truth. Men need to like be more discerned and like really like vet women that they want to be with and like bear children with because and women. But a lot of women are good ways. actors as well. When they want something, they know how to do do the man. Can you, you know, make him go around and around in. No, I'm saying to get the ring in the first place. But how long? Like it takes a while in it when you're dating someone. Bro, it, I think that a lot of women. Though. If if a woman is a really good looking a woman, yeah, she won't really be that much because she's got the halo effect already. So the guy's gonna want to believe that she's a good woman, bro. He's gonna want to believe that because he's already in him. He wants to choose her. But Rhi, do you remember do you know how he yeah, was the, the things needed, he was sure. saying? Like he was not. He was telling. He was putting down other men in this interview, saying a lot of y'all need to heal. Uh, and, and not be in a relationship for years before you, but I don't need to do that. He went straight from his marriage to another relationship. He said, am I supposed to use your um, words carefully? Um, use am your... I supposed to uh, touch coconuts, my co coconuts spank while I'm watching what spank the monkey while I Bust nuts watch on uh, corn, um, corn, corn, corn on the internet. No, y'all got to do that. 
But he was saying, God told me I don't need to do that. I can go to another woman because I'm a good Christian man. And I'm he's supposed to be um, um, uh, uh, releasing and a woman who's not his wife. It was so many contradictions. He's, and he was putting us down as regular people that he don't need to do what we do. You see that? But he's got it on lock. And all you other men, he was putting other men down. <clears throat> That's what it is, too. It wasn't like he was having problems. He was putting all of us down, like, as regular people. Like, y'all got to do this. I'm a good Christian man that I'm allowed to spank monkey in another in a woman, in a woman who's not my wife, while I'm still married. Because he you got see, with her while he was still married. The issue with this topic is none It's like, deranged. Have, hold on, hold on, the, the, speak, the issue with this topic because we haven't watched this. So we don't have context. It's, it's the the only people up. that really have yeah. context is you and King Riches. So there's not really much we can really All right, say. Let me move on. Or, let yeah. me move the conversation on. Yeah. For sure. Because we're talking about simping. And so we've gone into Will Smith. We've gone into Tyrese. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you lot experienced a guy simping for you? And what was the. What. What. What was the worst um, example of simping you've had coming your your way? Like, um, have you experienced? What's the biggest simp you've experienced in you, your could life? You, I'm gonna start. From, I'm gonna start from Miss Two Five Foot Ten. Noor. 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 Yeah. Noor. Yeah. So, can you explain in a different like way, please? Like a guy, like basically going all out for you. You're not really showing him nothing. You know, you're giving him the one word answer replies. If you even reply in 24 hours, you might not. But he's still doing the most. Oh, let me take you here. Let me take you there. Oh, I'll buy you this. I'll do this. Oh, you can walk on my back. I will carry you over burning hot coals because you are a princess and I'm just a peasant. Like, how have you ever? Have you ever experienced that in your life in any capacity? And what was the biggest simp that you ever experienced in your life? Okay. So I have, and I am not proud of it. And I actually did that to a guy because cause he liked me more than I liked him. Yeah. So I was in control and, you know, I could get whatever I wanted. And I kind of felt that was good at the time. That was a few years ago, and um, I don't want to go into details, but let's just say that when I left him, we were in on top, like we were in a high, how can you say, on the top floor. And um, when I broke up with him, I just told him, "Don't throw yourself out the window," kind of like that. So was he giving him box though? If I was, yeah, he was my ex. He was my boyfriend at the time. Oh, so he was a simp that graduated to boyfriend. Yeah, he was my boyfriend. So. How how long did you make him wait um, to become boyfriend? Uh, quite a few months. Oh, yeah. that's not that bad then. I thought he was gonna say years. Like, yeah. yeah. So so, what didn't you like about this guy? Why didn't you like him since he was doing the most for you? What? Why didn't I like him? Yeah. Why did? Why is it that he liked you more than you liked him? I think it was more like. <laughs> More of like um, appearance. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is the girl that said that looks don't matter. I don't really go for looks. I don't really care no, about looks. No, because I looked better. Ooh, Bruv, sorry, I looked... you said you don't care about looks. But I looked obviously be... you do. Because I look... obviously you do. No, no, no. Listen, that's I look... why he was simping, and you left him there, and you said the first thing you said, "Oh, are you simping." No, because he wasn't doing. Because he wasn't doing. Because he, there was nothing that he was doing that I needed anymore. Cause, so that's why I didn't need him anymore. So I left him. Yeah, because you didn't let, because you know, I, didn't, you, I, I didn't need him anymore. Because you didn't <laughs> like him, bruv. Because he wasn't good looking enough in your eyes. No, Looks no, no, in no, the no. eyes of the no, beholder. No, 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 no. That's what she said. No. He was, you was the beholder he, and you wasn't liking his look. He was, that's what it was. He was acting I'm like Tyrese. He was acting like listen, Tyrese. King Riches. No, no, no. no <laughs> listen. Tyrese. He was acting like Tyrese. <laughs> he was acting like Tyrese. Okay. He was but, acting like Tyrese. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so but the thing is, the fact of the matter, the fact of or the fact of the matter is, you didn't like his looks. And that's why you treated him like you treated him. That's why the no. dy- that's why the dynamic was the way it was. Attention, you. I didn't say that. I you said, said the look. I, I didn't say. Yeah, because he liked me more because I looked better than him. But I'm so not saying that I didn't like him. like him. Why didn't you like I, him as much? Since he was doing all this for you and he loved your I feel looks. like I already know why she no, didn't no, like no, him. No. no, 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 no. Let her say it. Don't help her. I'm not going to help. I don't know. You say it's it. It's business, isn't it? I already know. Listen. We're listening. <laughs> We're listening, babe. No. Um, yeah, that's it. 
I love that. Well, you didn't even answer the question. Classy. That's it. She doesn't want to talk too much. So basically, the answer is so if you you don't want to answer, I'll answer it for you. The guy didn't look the part. Mm. Yeah. I. He didn't look... Uh, now, you want to answer? I could tell you the story, but let's just... Mm. You can summarise it really easy. This is what I didn't it. like about him. If you don't want to summarise it, don't summarise it, girl. He was... He, Stop ad-libbing. He would compl- not your show. Sorry. He would, he would, like, he would complain a lot. He, was, he had a lot of feminine energy, you know? Ooh. So... That's 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 the thing, you know. He's watching the story. So you met. So when you met him, so when you met him, he you met him with feminine energy, right? Mm-mm. I got to or know. Not. It wasn't. It wasn't like that in the beginning, you know. But you know, like in a relationship, like behaviors tend to change. How did he used to simp for you? In what ways did he simp? Oh my god! Oh Uh-oh. shit! I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus simp- is Lord. Simping. Makes a woman lose sexual attraction for you. 100%. Yeah. How did he simp so for you? That's why she lost attraction. How did he simp for you? Come on. The truth will set you free. You, <laughs> you healing somebody right why now, girl. You it's like your ministry. That's Come true. on. Yeah. Come on. Um, he would do things like, I don't know. Oh, my God. You do know, man. You do know. Simplify it, please. What do you mean? I wasn't there. What would he and do to do turn you off? <laughs> That like even though you thought it was nice, it was just like, oh God, I don't even have to try or do much. He just do the most, and it's just even if I tell him, it's not that like, like you know how like we have these dynamics, like he's doing the most, yeah. and you're just like, it's like you don't have to work for it, and you don't have to do anything. He's just extra. He just so in love. Yeah, he just do whatever, and it's just like, ugh. Like what was he doing? So first he would he he was a liar. He was, a, he was, a, mm. and he would say that like he used to show me a lifestyle that he had. And first, I, w- I didn't stay with him because of the lifestyle. Obviously, he didn't have it when we got when we were together. He used to lie about it, and then, um, and then complain, cry, um, sex game. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, boss. Who right. you are, you're good. It bro. always boils down to the same yeah. thing. She's saying over for you. He's a liar, but uh, bruh, bruh. Do you know what it comes down to? He wasn't good looking enough, and his willy wasn't good enough. No, lying. I'm gonna tell you but, something. But that's not necessarily Integrity simping. Integrity means a lie. Yeah, but that's yeah. not necessarily yeah. simping. No, but that's not necessarily simping. You keep I, catching no, a man but on I lie asked her, No, bad. but I asked her. What did what was he doing that was simping? She may not we understand what, what she it, does the, understand. No, she I don't think understand. she does. I think because she's meaning what turned her off. Yeah, not simping. She's talking okay. about what turned her okay. off. What turned me off? Yeah. No, no, but that's not what I asked you. I asked she, you what what <laughs> what the how did he do this? She ain't red, but right, she cool. don't understand. No, 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 no. Okay, do you understand what simping is, right? No, please explain. Okay, a guy simping, like for instance, yeah. Say you was talking to a guy and he's texting you. You don't text back but he keeps texting and texting and then, oh let me take you to uh, the most expensive restaurant in town and you go and then you still don't talk to him and you still don't show him any uh, attention or anything like that but he still keeps trying and trying and trying and there's nothing he can do that is going to make you respect him or look at him as a, as a prospect but he still keeps going after you and he talks about he wants to drink your bath water on your Instagram post and he's doing all of those kind of extra things that's simping Okay, he would he would give me money. He would fly me out. He there would, you go. He would, we would go restaurant. There you um, go. There was a moment he became homeless. There and you go. He became homeless. Yes. And yeah. he, I, bet he, I bet he went homeless. He's spending all his money on you. He 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 became homeless <laughs> and he spent his money on a big Airbnb for no reason. And I'm looking like oh, there was a reason, fam. It was for you. He wanted to impress you. He wanted to have a nice little weekend. His life, the rest of his week is gonna be destitute. But for that weekend but with you, he's going to live his character. movie. Listen, he's going to live his movie with you and he's going to make it look like some romantic rom-com. Yes. King, King, That's what it was. King, no woman wants, if you reach a certain place, you're irresponsible enough where you, you know what I'm saying? If you, if life makes you, like you get in a homeless situation, like things happen, we understand. But like, if you're doing irresponsible stuff and we don't see the integrity mm. of you, like you're spending money frivolous, frivolously mm-hmm. on things that you shouldn't. It speaks to your character, and I think a lot of men think every woman is just this way and that way. But like we read things, and I'm just like, w- you don't have money for the place, but you're spending excessive money. You won't listen to anybody. You're hard headed. 
You're in the position you're in, but no one can tell you anything, and you're spending excessive amount of money on an Airbnb. Hey, can that I was ask crazy. You? And I can I ask you? What, can I ask you? Reason? Can I ask you? Did you go to the Airbnb? I did. Yes. That's, and I broke up with him. And I broke up with him. And I broke up with him at the Airbnb. I broke up. Oh, so, oh my God! <laughs> I'm so confused. my man, I'm confused. No, no, don't do. You're, you're not, no one can be confused here. What did right, you do? No, shh. Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Silence is silent. Silence is golden, bruv. Listen. So my man, who you didn't like, you didn't like him, bruv. I didn't say I didn't like. Let him. me finish. Mm. So my man, who didn't have no peas, bruv. He's scraping up with his last coins. He went and got Airbnb.com. Yeah. <laughs> Then he was like, yeah, I want to bring you there. And you knew he was struggling. You knew it was his last two pennies, bruv. Because he's already lied about this and that. So you knew he was a liar already. She broke up with him. Let me finish. And then the next thing. Oh, yeah, babes. I've got this Airbnb. Are you coming? He was like, yeah. No, it, I, what, didn't you? You went. No, you no, went. It's not. You no, went. no, 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 no. You no, went. No, no. You went. No. You went, bruv. I asked you, did you go? And you said, yeah. He was, listen. You he, went, yeah. And then the next thing. You broke up with him after. Is that not correct? After? What do you mean after? It's not after. You didn't even know. Like, Okay, listen. you went to the Airbnb and then what happened? I broke up with him. So you Cause stepped was, in the door. Because we, we, we had... <laughs> You're dumped. We had, no, we, <laughs> no. We had the, 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 the conversation before. We, what we had, is going on? We had the, the, this conversation before. In the Airbnb? Before. Before the Airbnb. Oh, so you dumped him before he bought the Airbnb? Yes. And he bought it and then you went? Listen, he was chasing. <laughs> Bruh, you had the conversation. You dumped him. He bought the Airbnb and you went. Correct? Yes or no? You're not getting. You're not getting. Like, listen, he was chasing. After I had spoken with him that we should go separate <laughs> ways, he still kept texting me, calling me. He you knew where I go. lived. You didn't he have knew to where go. I lived. You didn't have to go. I think that's the, that's the least I could have done. <laughs> what? And, and then you went to him there and, and talked to him and talked to him in person. And then what? You talked to him in person. Then what? I think she did right. I gotta say, Bruh. she was not disrespectful, no, and she told no, him before. He, no, she did You defending a simp right now. I'm not defending. This so you know. I'm, this so you know. You're defending. Think, you're de- no, you're holding down no, your brother. No. Your brother and simp. I find it ridiculous. I think the whole no, I, no, the simping. whole the whole situation was ridiculous. What did she at the do? end of the day, she didn't need to go. At the end of the day, she the was guy was. Serious. I was listen, going listen, 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 listen. He was a simp. He was a simp. He was you out of pocket. No, 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 whatever. He was a simp. Yeah, listen, she it right. listen, listen, let me she speak. Was let me speak. Let me speak. He was a simp, yeah. He was an idiot because he's not focusing on himself and making sure he's got money in his pocket and focusing on himself. He's an idiot because she, she obviously didn't like him that much, and I'm sure she gave him signals and signs that that was the case. Yeah, he fucked up. He was a simp, absolutely, one thousand percent. The reason why I'm going on and on about this is because this show is about simps, and he's a simp. That's what we're talking about. But at the same time, she still did something that's a bit questionable what? because at the end of the day, if I broke up with somebody and then they was like, oh, you know what, King Richards, I, I just got this Airbnb for me and you. Can you come? And I was like, mm, yeah, I think that might be a little bit questionable. Attention. Oh. Even if I went there, I even if I went there to speak to them again. Attention. I think you're, and you know I hold women. You know I don't play games, so don't even try to make it like I'm out here holding modern women because I don't hold y'all hoes. OK, like I'm going to call you on it. But what she did was she said she broke up with him. He was so thirsty. She felt bad, you know, and like she because we will get caught up in our emotions and feeling bad for someone. And like I'm like, bro, where this isn't going to happen. He doesn't want to listen. He can cry and complain. He call and all that. And you say, you know what? Maybe if I go in person and let him know mm. and hold respect, no, I don't want to do this over just no. the phone. But if I say no, that's but you can't. Let me tell you how. But guys you're think. like you're I think crucifying she's under the her. Let me tell you and how there's guys more think. modern women than this that would not be Whoa. honest about a man. It's better to get it, it's better the girl completely cuts off, bro. I'm but, telling you. Right, it so may that's be ghosting. better, but that's what isn't it? Right. It's not ghosting because you told but him maybe already. Maybe he did for no, her. No, it's not maybe. And she wanted, yeah, I'm going she off what she's saying. I'm not going off maybe's. I'm going off what she. She said, she said that she already told man, this is over, bro. Know. She already told man. So if he goes and books an Airbnb and invites her, that's on him. He's an idiot. That's on him. 
Right. The best but thing for her to, to no. The best thing for him okay. to, for her to do okay. is to excommunicado. That way he has to get the message. Bro. But you're teaching us now because mm. you have to understand. Like you're teaching us that because you're coming from a man's perspective on how we should do it. And this is how a lot of us women get in trouble. We feel sorry for the pookie. We feel sorry for the Ray Ray. We feel sorry for these homosexuals. <laughs> and what's what your, that got to do with it? No, listen. You have to understand <laughs> your job is also teaching women, not just women, men. You're I just teach, did take teach listen, her. I said she should have excommunicated. She should have called. I cut am off. agreeing with you. Okay, good job. Good I'm job. You're doing good. At me. You're doing good. I'm listening. Finally, you're listening. The good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, she didn't know at the time her feelings got in the way mm. of dealing with a man the way she should. But a man like you is now instructing her. She's learning that. But don't hold her like some. Like she was this, like doing some street tight whatever. I never said Give that. Her, I know, but you come in, you come in with a heavy hand. Give her instruction. Oh, it's about feelings Give her again. Ins- no, 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 no. <sighs> feelings. She's again. willing to learn. She's not even combative. She wants not- to learn from you. Mm-hmm. Tell her how mm-hmm. to handle a man who is not about anything. Give her that brotherly wisdom on how she should deal with a man like that next time I just so did. she can deal with res- she can treat him respectfully listen, listen, and listen. treat him right. I feel you. That's and all, cut it off. That's lovely. But listen, it's lovely. Oh but listen, God. yeah. Hey, there, yeah. Look, the best thing for guys like that is best to just cut off. Because anything you do in this little back and forth, or I feel sorry for them, let me go and talk. That's making him feel like there's hope. I'm, I'm telling you as a guy who I have done that before. Most guys have done that kind of simping antics before. And if the girl keeps responding back or mm. it even worse, let me come and see you. I just got to speak to you person. Y'all don't friendly? Bro, no. Okay, can we're I tell friends. you a lot of us, <laughs> but can I tell you that's the delusion we're under? Because guys will even wow. say, listen, I'm not that pressed. We can be friends and we will believe it. And that's our fault for not understanding male nature. Y'all have to grow up learning female nature. We just have to exist and y'all just acquiesce this simping. So I yeah. will say, sh- have you lived and learned from that thing? Would you ever do that again? No. Would you ever feel like, cause some men will say, well, she led me on. And that's where maybe where he's coming from. We're like, she still came through. She was still talking to me because a man would just cut that off. If you knew you didn't want to deal with him, like a lot of men are saying like, why'd you continue to waste his time? Just cut him off. Did you feel like you had feelings for him? You cared about him? I did care. And you didn't want to just You didn't care mean. enough though. I you didn't care enough to be there anymore. To till him. this day, he still texts, <laughs> he still texts me. Do you text I, him I, back? I don't, I don't text him back, but he does. He keeps, this he keeps block his seven. number then. Why didn't you block his number? I don't, it's not on my, he goes, he creates different pages on my Instagram. Damn. <laughs> you got to like okay, that girl? Sorry, you can't Damn. Uh, you can't I can't, I, I, hey, that guy's just simping. That guy's just a simp. Listen, I can't hold you on that one. You know, if the He's guy's making hard. ghost accounts, you get me? Like, I feel oh, like she's keeping again. it a hundred too. Yeah. She's just like confused. Like, I don't he makes new pages. I don't know what's if wrong. He, if, if, my, if, if he's making ghost accounts, like, oh, can your I tell page you? Is me can again. I tell you, as a woman, though, the reason why she handled that way, and you guys don't may not realize this, a guy that is that intense about you, we can be scared that if you don't handle it right, mm. he knows where you live, and y'all were in a relationship. You don't understand. We have to walk on eggshells mm. because he can be Tyrese and blow. And not just on radio, but he can do things. I know per- in my family this has happened to. Been nice as I don't know what. Listen, this ain't working. If she doesn't answer that call, the dude is outside the house. He is doing the most. And this is the thing. You may say, call the police, do this. That. You will call. And it's like, well, we can't charge him for this and that because he hasn't done certain things. He has to whip you. That's true. He has I to beat it. you and do certain things. So a lot of us have to be like, let me be as nice as possible yeah, so he don't get mad at me. That's why, in a way, simps and so are we get scared. That's why, in a way, because simps are dangerous. That's so exactly. Now the alpha man Stop is not talking. dangerous. <laughs> I was just gonna say that she had to say it, blood. Sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. Next one, yeah. All right, tell us about your simping story, like the biggest simp, because obviously 
you're a 10. So obviously, you're going to have a lot of simp- simping after you. So let's hear the, the simpiest story of the of them all. I still don't really understand what a simp is. Like, I'm still a bit confused. Oh, Jesus. I'm be, I'm you ain't been honest. listening. I've been listening, but like, I'm still a bit like, because there's one I have in mind, but then I don't know, like. Go on, go on, hit us with the story. What, what did he do? So basically, I was with this guy, and um, basically, he basically messed up. Like, he cheated. Um, and then, yeah, because he cheated, I was, like, obviously threatening to leave. And, like, he went on his knees, and he was begging me mm. uh, to stay with him. Obviously, that's the first time I've ever been in a situation where, like, He guy, cheated on you? Yeah. Okay, and then he begged to for you to keep him around? Yeah. Is that simping? I don't know. Not really. Simping. He's trying. He's groveling. He's groveling, but it's not necessarily simping. That sounds like I'm not sure. Um, like simping is like if you don't like a guy and he overly likes you and he's just trying to do the most for you, even though you're so not showing him nothing. So what's the what? What do you want to know? You want to know if you want to like, know how I handled the, it? What's the worst simping experience you've you've encountered? Um. So like, there was a guy who liked me. Um. We were friends. And I like basically I friends on him. He liked me, but I friends on him. Mm. Um, Why did you friends on him? Because he just didn't have the looks and the vibe that I was going for. Like so I said at the beginning, I, I maybe go it's for just looks. looks. Maybe it's looks. Yeah, it was looks. It, um, what did he look like? What what was the looks that you didn't find attractive? What was it about him? He just looked very interesting. Like it was, he looked a bit weird, didn't it? Like damn it, man. Yeah. Damn it. And man everyone looked, kind of like man look interesting. Thing. That is not a good descriptor, bruv. Yeah, I don't want to go into it. I never want to be described as interesting looking, <laughs> bruv. Because that's not positive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, for years, he was basically trying to get to me, basically, for years. And like, he basically just basically pretended to be my friend. Um, Why would you keep him around for? Honestly. You went to use him in some way. Honestly, the only reason, and I'll be honest, and it's not good. Yes, and I'm, I'm happy I let go of him. But, yes, um, yes. He made me feel good about myself. That's yes, actually why of course I kept he did. Around. You're you're gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. He just used to do everything for me. So, like for example, I remember I wanted to do like um. Oh, he's gonna see this. He might not. Okay, hopefully he doesn't. Um, basically, he um, I I, I used to run events when I was in uni. Mm. So I used to run like showcases and like um events and stuff, and I needed a venue. He got me like a whole venue for free, like. Wow. He did a lot, like, for me, like, just randomly all the time. So you never gave him no kind of, like, favour in any kind of way, capacity? In that time, no. Mm. Did you ever do anything with him? Later on, down the line. Well, a couple years. C- uh, yeah, a couple years down the Man, line. That, you know that sympathy thing? Yeah, couple really. Years. Um, But, yeah, and then I had he to He must just... have busted quick then, because obviously he's had to wait for a long time. Um... Yeah, but anyways, yeah, that's all I can think of in terms of that situation. And I kept him around because it was an personal reason. So, yeah. 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 So, basically, this guy was simping, getting you venues, yeah. gassing you up. You're a queen. Literally every day. And I'm a peasant. He would call me every day, like. Calling you every day. Oh, babe, so, you know, just want to know if you had a good day today. Literally. Have you eaten today? Literally. You know, yeah, I've been thinking about, oh, you know what? I saw a new restaurant has opened up. Do you want to try it? Like, Literally. we could go. Literally. Do you know him? Dickhead, bro. Do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> you know Dickhead, Did he come and tell you the story? Tyro <laughs> therapy out soon, man, because you, man, make me sick. No, but like. You don't mess the game up, bruv. Yeah, you don't mess the game up because you you do the most for girls that don't even like you. So when the, or a guy like Tyrone Therapy candidates come in the place, now these girls be asking for the sun, moon, and the stars because Bear Simps have been gassing them up. As a man, though, why do you think those guys do that? Because they don't know no better. They've been socially engineered that way. A lot of guys don't have their dads as well. Yeah, he did. And plus, our society is all about uh, girl power, pleasing a woman. It's all about what a woman wants. A woman can have unrealistic dating requirements, but a man can't even have a preference. That's why. God and the majority, and, and the majority of women are tens. Remember. There you go. <laughs> there you have it. So, so why did you give him some box then? What What brought you to that point where you thought, you know what? Yeah. This guy, he he looks interesting, but let me give this interesting guy some interesting box. What brought you to that point? Do you want me to be honest, yeah? Yes. The, the, <laughs> do you want me to be honest? The reality is he actually had a really good personality. Like, he was a really, really nice guy. Yes. And I bet before you gave him box, you probably gave box to some bad boys in between that time, didn't you? 
No, I was no. never that kind of girl. No, when you, we, when, you've, when never, you've never, you've never, you've never dabbled in tabloid with a bad no, boy no, ever. No, you sure. Yeah, I don't like bad boys because, like, my whole thing with bad boys is I see it as a future thing. Like, if I end up falling in love with you, I don't want police at my door. I don't want gang members coming for my kids. So, okay, maybe yeah, not. No, maybe not a criminal. Maybe not a criminal. What's a bad boy? But an f boy. Like fraud? No, d- no, just like a, no, a boy well. that a boy that a boy that sleeps around with a lot of girls and I just doesn't do have no ties. I don't to, do that. Yeah, but you usually won't find out until you get dumped. Yeah, I know, but like I would like avoid it. Discernment, like I, I don't, I, I don't fall into the hands. You've got that power, kind of yeah. It's not me, it's God, but like I don't fall that's into those kind man. of hands. No, that's good stuff. but like with him, he was really nice. Like he actually like was a really nice guy. Like, so did you yeah. date anyone before? So in between the time of you knowing this guy, him getting you events, him doing all the most for you and texting you every day yeah. and up to the point where you thought you know what let me give him some sympathy vagina yeah oh, did you think did like you that. think <laughs> did you think did you oh date days. any guys in in that time period from when you first met him to the time where you, years later when you you did something with him yeah I did. did you date guys in between yeah and i would tell there him about go. those guys and you would tell him jesus is lord yeah, because he was my friend. He was Jesus never. Lord. He was, he was never, never your friend. friend. But he was never your I friend. I treated him like a friend. So yeah, like, yeah. you friends. Yeah, that's why it's called friend the friend zone. zone. I actually made a he song about it called friend zone. Jesus is Lord. Stream me volume one. She made a song about my. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your song? Is no. it? What's your song called? No. It's called friend zone. No way. Oh but shoot! Sing us. Oh, sing, sing, can you? Can, wait, uh, this your show? Can she sing us a couple? Can she uh, sing us a little bit of friend zone? I don't want to sing friends. Up. Go stream it, guys. We Go want friends it. over. That we gonna get the stream. Trying to get those streams up. But can you? But if you sing it, can, sing the hook. could we hear? Just the friend hook. zone. Yeah, just the hook. Go on. This is like interesting. <laughs> so I like it. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I want to hear it from the perspective of him. Like, we're in the perspective of him. So, okay. You gonna have me all alone, sitting in this friend zone. Sitting in this friend zone, sitting in this friend zone. You gon' have me all alone. Sitting in this friend zone, sitting in this friend zone, sitting in this friend zone. She can sing. Well, Don't play with it. Do you her. know what? Yeah. No of them can sing. Hey, listen, listen, I listen, can't. listen. I, I can't hold you. Hey, 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 hey. That, that, you see that hook here? Yeah? I don't think any guy should listen to that hook because you know why, yeah? It's, it's brain brainwashing, bruv. Sitting in this friend zone. <laughs> bruv, I don't want to ever be in that life. I've been friend zone as well, though, so I spoke from that perspective. Bruv, I don't care if you've been friend zone, blood. At the end of the Wait, day, yeah, you see guys, yeah? It? Can you sing it again, sitting please? Sitting in that friend zone. No, no, hey. you were like... You would look in pain because it's painful. Sing it, sing it more Not pain. Sense. Sing it more pain, though. Huh? Just for context, just let's just. Nah, do you know why? Because it's been a long time we've been thrown in the friend zone. Oh, they don't put you in the friend zone. Why don't women put you? Why do women put some men in the friend zone? Why are you different? They because don't put you, you in the know why? Zone? Yeah, you know why? You've yeah. never been friend zoned. I won't allow it. You've mm. never in your life been friend zoned. Oh, in my life, yeah. Okay. What now, as King Riches? No, that's it's good. It's not gonna happen, bro. The, no, the only way, the only way I can be friendly with a girl is if I choose that. There has to be a reason why. Like, there, it has to outweigh the the, the pros. Got to outweigh the cons. Mm. If there's no pros, then what am I doing? What would I'm you consider the pros? I'm the guys. I'm the guys I make jokes about at that point, bro. But can we ask you for like? Because we want to know as women. Is your why do you want to know? Because as a <laughs> man, no. Oh, listen, you don't need to I know. always tell men, I always say, women, you need to learn from men. Mm, and it, yes. you guys, we want to hear from you and we want to learn from you. So tell us, mm. like, what makes you determine, like, that situation? Well, first off, whenever I meet a woman, it's very, I make it very clear by my uh, speech, by the way I carry myself, that I'm probably trying to smash. But do you I, say it? Do you say it straight up? Do you say it? say it in my eyes. But do you say it straight up or you do innuendos? I don't say, I don't, you say, I don't say it straight up listen, because... I'm I, about that. I'm Listen, listen. listen, listen it listen, is what it is, listen, Ma. Listen, at the end of the day, it depends. It's a case-to-case basis. At the end of the day, it depends who I'm, I'm talking to. Do you get what I'm saying? If I'm talking to a girl that I see like some kind of relationship with her, then cool. I'll make it known that, yeah, I actually like her. And then, you know, that's the kind of... 
energy I'll be giving off. Energies, let's go, let's go. So obviously, <laughs> but if it's just a thing of like I'm just trying to smash, yeah, the innuendos are flying around, suggesting. Can you give us some innuendos that you would say? Because I can I be honest it's very with you. Situational. Can I be honest with you? It's very situational. You? Some to be of honest. like I grew up, I'm socially awkward because I have ADHD. I can tell, I, I can tell you too. What, you what you're not gonna do. So I have ADHD. <laughs> y'all, we even talked about y'all. Don't act, don't let him fool you. I have ADHD. So one of the things I don't pick up on social cues, I had a high Mensa IQ, but mm. social cues were like guys, were, people like he likes you. And I'm like, no, we're just friends. Like we just talk about whatever. And we talk about geeky stuff. And, and it, I could not read. But really, he Some, wants to smash. Right. He wants to slide to in there. To this day, thick, I cannot tell. Veiny. I can't tell. Thick and veiny. I can't okay. tell. Like, I can tell. Thick and veiny. I just assume it, <laughs> but I can't tell. What would you say is different? Because some guys may be, like, what would you say are the tell? Why don't guys just say straight up, out the gate, I'm trying to get with you? Why because, the innuendos? Because why all this? Guys do like, right give now. us the straight, and a then we can make it known. A lot of guys like, do. the innuend, I know guys do, yeah. but some don't. He yeah. said, it's innuendos, the way I talk. Like, tell yeah, us, but at the same Mom, time, I'm trying to get it. At the same time, it. listen, at the same time, you, you got to be able to read the room and test the water. Like, every woman is not, you can't use the exact strategy with every single woman. Like, it, it ain't going to work that way. But then Some women, you, you're going to have to you're gonna have to test the water. Just by the, the, the suggestive things you say, <laughs> innuendos, like, even just saying, you can say something flat out, straight up to the face and see what, what's going to happen. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be talking to some girl that absolutely has no interest in you and doesn't like you so if i'm saying certain things that may be in sexual in nature or sexual connotations i'm going to read her response if it's a playful response or she matches my energy then i know that maybe i should go to a next level and see how far i could take it then but if the girl was just completely cold to it or she friend zones it from there then that's my indicator that okay cool let me fall back that's just how I, I do like, it. You know what would be great is to see examples of this because i think a lot of women we need to learn from men and we don't know, some of us don't know what it exactly looks like. And we can read it as one thing and not, it's not what it is. And we take it as that or we don't take it as that. And, and then, and I'm not saying women are innocent and, and don't know what they're doing. Trust me, there's a, most women do. But I'm just saying, I want to hear from men and like, how would you escalate? And that's not, that's not the show. This is your show. I'm just I saying know. in I the future, in the future, if you ever decide to, I think a lot of us would be interested in to hear from you with that. About I that. was going to say, you can do a little role play to, to oh. close out the show. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh. What kind of role? Oh. Role play. All right, hey. cool. I, hey. You know, listen, it's me hey. in it. Like, whatever, in it? Like, role play. What's the role? What? What is it? What are we playing? King producer, what shall we role play? Yeah, we can just, like, do a role play of you, like, chatting up to one of the girls. Huh? All right, cool. Well, like, what's the situation? So situation, tube station, you see the girl. <laughs> how, how would you approach her? Oh, okay. What? But so, I can't get. I, I can't do it physically. But no, yeah, yeah. But okay, who, who, who's, who's going to be the girl? Who it's wants whoever. To who, who wants, wants to, to do volunteer? it? Who wants no, to do it? No uh, <laughs> Who wants I think, to do I it? I think she should do it. I think she All should right, go on then. Go on What's the tube station? Is that the metro? The subway? Yeah, yeah the, the metro, metro subway. subway. Okay. So you see. Uh, it's hard because I can't do the physicals. It's a bit See, hard. See, like. you only rely on the intellectual. No physical. No physical. All right, cool, cool, cool. Whatever. All right, cool. So what? You're just minding your own business. In my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So she, <laughs> so she's doing a whole, uh, you know, typical, typical modern woman. Oh, Instagram likes, Instagram comments. Oh, blue check guy message me. What? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's you. And then I'm like. <clears throat> Because what I would do, guys, yeah, if I see a girl that I like, no, whatever, talk to me. You're I supposed know. to, no, I'm we're supposed to role the play. Stage. You can't talk. You no, them. but I have to give context because no, it will no not make context. sense. No, no context. We did. Let, 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 let him run the show. Jesus Christ, this girl's mad. So, like, <laughs> so basically, what I would do is either sit opposite her, directly opposite her, or sit straight up next to her. Yeah, depending on the situation. Because if it's just like empty and I just sit next to her, that's a bit much, innit? You get what I'm saying? But if, it, if, if, if it's like there's people around, or, you know, if it's empty, I would sit opposite her. If there's people around, then I'll sit next to her, innit? Straight up. I'd be like, yeah. Say your game, innit? I am. My phone is dead, but I'm literally pretending like I'm on Instagram uh, cool. right now, like he said. I'm like, yeah, man. Oh, hello. You're right, yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Um, was it? Are you local? Are you local in this, this area? Are you from around there? No, I'm actually visiting. Visiting? Yeah. What is that an accent you got? Is Where's it? that? Is what, it? You're American. I am American. Oh, that's dope, you know. What state are you from? Um, Washington, D.C. Oh, okay. My brother used to live in D.C., you know. Really? What did he do? Yeah. Um, he's in banker. He's in finance and stuff like oh. that. So um, what, what brings you to the U.K., to London and that? Just some work. Work, yeah? Yeah. Are you over here a lot? I want to be over here a lot. You want to be? Yeah. Do you need an, a, another reason to be in London a lot? Can I just tell you, I feel like it's boring. Like, I just come I, here and I work. I have given you a t- And it's not blood. much fun to do, so I need another reason to, like... Like, is there fun stuff to do? I feel like... Oh, I thought you was out of character for a second. I thought you said I was boring. No, I'm just... <laughs> I thought London was boring. Oh, yeah, I fucked You done broke for <laughs> See, this is over. No, 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 no. Oh, we no, can no, bring no, it back. No, because I thought... Because then she you. said, I think so, my too. My bad, my bad. Yeah, my it was bad. her. That was my fault. That was her fault. <laughs> That was her fault. My bad. She was like, yeah, it's boring. <laughs> no, I Sorry. said London. I meant London. Yeah, no, because you said, oh, yeah, this is boring. That and she was... said, yeah, I think so, too. And then not I was like, you. what's going on? I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That... Sorry, sorry. She was the ops. The no, ops in the building. Do that one in that blue hair is the ops, man. Anyway, take it off of her. <laughs> anyway, back to back to what we're saying. So, boom, like, what's it? Um, yeah, so what? You, you find London boring? I mean, I've lived in New York, D.C., Atlanta, yeah, L.A. Yeah, it, mm. I lived in the states as well. Florida a bit. is a different vibe. Where would you? Where I was live? in North Carolina. I've seen a bit of Florida, uh, VA, uh, New Mexico. Yeah, what would you do out there? Why'd you American the football? Really? Yeah, college football. Mm, okay. Yeah. Do you like football? I mean, it's good. I don't know much. I mean, I watch it sometimes because. The culture, but I'm not into it. Oh, okay. I'm not into sports. You're not into sports. What are you not into like then? What are you into? What are you like? Um, a lot of things. But listen, like, like honestly, tell me, what is up with London? Like, everything closes early. It's like I like, don't know. I, don't I go know. to Atlanta. It's like a hookah lounge here. It's like a vibe here. We're open till then. Uh, like, you know what? I know a few hookah spots. Yeah. Like, we can hit that up one time. If really? You got, yeah, like definitely. Are you inviting me out? Absolutely. Or are you just saying, you just talking? No, absolutely. 100. Okay. Well, what's your availability like? Um, well, tell me what you are look, talking about. Well, like, usually weekends is the best, isn't it? That's when it's like the most lively, good mm. music and stuff like that. It's a good vibe. Uh, you like it. The weekdays, you guys don't have stuff going on? Yeah, but like obviously I, like, I work Because I feel like it. the weekend, like especially in the US, is like turned up. It's too much. Like it's like. Hey, extra, listen, extra. listen, listen. When you when in the Rome, weekdays is like grown. It's like sexy. We're chilling. But do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I work on like week week nights, so like I'm pretty much okay. Out of commission, but weekends, like we can do something hundred percent. Okay. What, what are you saying? You feeling well, that? Let me give you my information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Boom. Are you going? Bang. Yeah. That's it. Solid. Solid. Boom. I'll probably get off the next stop, even if it ain't even my stop. <laughs> <laughs> For just, the, just, the, just, For the, just to end that, it. bro. Just to get out of there. Really. Let me say one just thing. Just to get me thinking. Trust me, because if you're there sitting there and she's just start looking at you, analyzing, actually, I don't like this guy. Bro, nah, bro. Don't yeah. give her too much time. Don't give her too much time to think, bro. Yeah, you gotta be in and out. It's gonna be, bro, you gotta be an archer, bro. Just bang. Like, that's it, bro. <laughs> Robin Hood vibes, bruv. Just boom. <laughs> Steal from the rich, give to the poor. The poor be me. Give it. Boom. That's it, bruv. I'm so done. I'm so done. <laughs> Get out of there. Listen, that's a real proper tip, like Tyrone Therapy tip, yeah? You talking to girls, don't talk for too long because you're usually going to say something stupid, bruv. You get what I'm saying? Don't talk for too long. Don't hang about. You start getting gassed. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Oh my. You start getting giddy. Say something stupid, bruv. Come on, man. Anyway, so boom. Hey, blue hair, what, what's going on? You don't seem very, very happy or impressed. You felt that was whack. Now you cheating on me? Yeah. In front of me? Yeah. Sorry. After I gave you my information? I want to try blue he hair. He I want to try blue no. hair. He try for the streets, I girl. Do. He called I, that I don't blue think you do. He is unfaithful. Blue hair has a name, by the way. Esther, come on. Esther, oh, yes. my bad. All right, Esther, let's do a role play quickly. Are you sure you want to do this role play? You're just going to be mean I'm just for no ask reason, you. No, though. no, no. I'm just going to ask you. Are you sure you want to do this? Because I, I don't know if you want to do this. I don't care. Okay, like, you that's don't care. Right that's right. That's I'll cool. just be natural. You and be I'm natural. I'm gonna be myself. Yeah, you be yourself. I'll be myself. All right, cool. What's yeah. the scenario, uh, King Producer? What's the scenario? Uh, Why are you looking? <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe you meet her at 
her concert. She just finished her concert. Oh my day. I love she's going to be on a super You're hype. You're my fave now. She's going to be on a super hype. No, bruv. I'm not. I'm going to just be feeling calm and humbled and grateful to God for a great show. All right, cool. Yeah. Watch you take this L now. Cool. Aye. All right. What was her name? What's your stage name? Esther Durin. All right, cool. Oh, hi. You're all right. Esther Durin. That's you, innit? Yeah. You, you was awesome tonight, you know? Thank you so much. God bless you. No, nah, definitely. I was really impressed by your performance. Like, you're, you. you're a great artist. God bless you. Thank you. That's awesome, man. So, Thanks. what are you up to? Like, what are you up to after your, you know, your concert and stuff? What you got going on? Can't lie. I need to hurry up. I've, um, I'm flying out to LA tomorrow. So, I'm trying okay. to just, like, get back to the hotel, get ready, get packed, and get out. Okay, really? yeah. that's awesome. That's awesome. What do you well, do? My name's Michael, by oh, the nice way. Nice to meet you, Michael. What do you do? King Riches. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Yeah, I do um, media. I work in media. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's kind of like we got something in common, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're obviously you're singing and that. I'm in media. You know, we might have more things in common if we get to know each other better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Would that be like something you might be open to? No, I'm not really interested. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. I I respect the honesty though. Still, yeah. like that's cool. Well, man. thank you so much, though, for coming to the show. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, I didn't pay for the tickets, still. So that's good. Calm. You got a little freebie. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's like, good. Nah, like, yeah. Thank uh, you, though. Adios. Take care. That's what I would do. Honestly, that's what I would do. Listen, guys. Yeah, you see when a girl wants to try and pie you off like that. Yeah, <laughs> this that is, is what you do. People. Listen, listen. This is what you do. Just, just, just excommunicado quick. Don't even say nothing. All oh, your butters anyway. Don't even say that, bruv. Just like, just like, oh, all right, cool. Don't try and argue or haggle or try and make some deal or bargain, bruv. I just respect it when guys off. do that more, to be fair, as well. Because when you're, like, asking, oh, why? Or, like, are oh, you not even going to give me a number? Like, you're now looking like a simp. Like, you need to chill. So, like, you're right. You're basically making it so she's she's above you. Yeah, you don't want that. It was not above me, bruv. Respect yourself, There you know, girl, bruv, listen. Listen, bruv, yeah. I just, I'll, I'll be so... Deadly honest with with you lot, yeah. I don't think no. There's not really much women that are gonna be uh, doing better than me in life. They're not. That's just that's just like that's just the way I feel. Such a bold statement. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Because guess what? If we compare the typical man to the typical woman, the man's probably doing better than her in life. And guess what? You hit the wall. I don't. So at the end of the day, your biggest commodity as a woman is how you look, and that's what. You got to what? The age of what? Uh, 30. Then it starts going downhill. That's a lie. My I mom's only 60 and she looks good. I don't care. I don't care. She looks good. Shout out to my mom. She looks good. I don't care. And on that note. I don't care. I don't care. At the end of the day, you can say whatever you like. But if we look at it typically, most women's best years are going to be their early 20s. That's their best years. So you could say this exception, that exception. But the reality is the reality. So I don't know why people start getting upset. Though. It's not my perspective. It's biology. It's biology. So, so you're I, saying that this physically or just in general? Physically. That's what I said. The highest commodity is how you look. How did you not get understand that? I said how you look. That's obviously physically. Now, mentally and personality-wise or financially or educational-wise, you might, you might be 10-10. But men pretty much care about how you look. Like That's the first point of call. So perspective. It's not. Yeah, it I just feel like that's not. It's perspective. That's not. Um, that's okay. Like you can have your perspective. You're I'm delusional. Not. You are I'm delusional. Not. You are delusional. I'm not. You are. But thanks, anyways. I mean, I don't have to worry about it because I'm not a woman. You are. So, it, I'm so happy <laughs> you can to be a woman. you can say you can say whatever you like, but at the end of the day, you're the one that is facing the wall. I'm not. What do you mean by facing the wall? As what in you your looks, your looks deteriorating. That's what I'm talking about. But well, I don't get it. Men's looks. What don't you? Yeah, what like, are you a yeah but men are men so are ju- like... men are judged differently than women. We all know that. Men and women, we're equal, but we're not the same. Can I ask you a question? Because mm-hmm. I know. Okay, do you like? Are your points based on like what society thinks, or are these your opinions? Yeah, is is just the reality. My my points are based on reality. You didn't answer my question. It's just too. What? too I said. I said. Are your reality is society based... and me. I'm a part of reality and society is a part of reality. So it's both. Okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. That's, Do you that's know what I mean? Answer. Like, because at the end of the day, like, if, if okay, 
you you may know this woman or that woman who are they look great at 40 or whatever 60. yeah 60 40 whatever do you think they looked better at 60 than they did when they was 25 or some 22 some women age like fine wine you know mm. and men some mm. men age like fine wine as well so it's perspective <laughs> Bro, it's the truth. My mom looks gorgeous right now. She was really cute when she was younger, but my mom's gorgeous at her age. You're that's not my being mom. Serious. Do you think that's typical? Um, I think it's rare, definitely. I don't think it's like so a So if it's rare, thing. why would you talk about something that's a rarity? It hardly it ever happens. It still exists. But just because something exists doesn't mean that you're gonna use it as a measuring stick. That's fair enough. Yeah, so is there any objection to what I said now? I said it's fair enough. Like it's, ah, yeah, cool. it's fair enough. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like for me personally. There's not going to really be... Uh, hold on. I've got to just block somebody. Mm. Uh, not a block. No, nah, nah, not you. Oh, no, no. Get rid of somebody. So what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, if a guy... Okay, if, if a guy's 25, yeah, and say he's not the best looking guy or whatever, a lot of the women are in his age group's cup of tea or whatever, right? If he works on himself, he gets his money together, he gets in the gym, and that doesn't necessarily change his face. He can still look medium ugly or whatever but he gets his physique in right right his social skills in order his status in order all of these intangibles in order which we know women all kind of measure men by those intangibles because at the beginning of this show what did i ask you if you had to pick looks money or stat um looks money or loyalty you lot most of you 90 percent of you threw looks out the window so really for a man the looks is important and will carry will can carry you kind of to a certain, you know, distance, but is your other intangibles are just as important as your looks. Because you lot threw away looks. I didn't. Okay. But most of you <laughs> most of you did. Yeah. You love talking about exceptions, which I don't understand. You're gonna live your life by an exception. Yeah. You'd live okay, cool. Let's say this. So since you live by exception, so let's say you went into the jungle, yeah? And you petted a lion and the lion acted like a little kitten and it purred and you stroked his back. Yeah? Does that mean that you would always go in the jungle and pet every lion you see because that one lion acted like a little kitten? No. Exactly, because you don't live life by exceptions. That's fair enough. That's your, exactly. that's your viewpoint. It's not my viewpoint. You just said you wouldn't do it. It's not my viewpoint. You just said you wouldn't do it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is weird. It's not. It is weird because when it's when it's time to, to use this logic on men, you understand it 100%. There's no it's your viewpoint or anything like that. But when it's flipped and turned back on you, now it's your viewpoint. Now it's your perspective. Now I'm going to talk about the exception. It's bullshit. It's, bo it's both it's ways. It's crap. No, it ain't bo both ways. Because men, when, there's no such thing as shortism. There's no such thing as brokeism. There's no such thing as, oh, you're, you're, you're uh, shaming guys for having little willies. It just doesn't. Them Can kind of things don't question? exist. Can I ask you a question? You're going to go why, on. Why are you so passionate? About this topic. Because I'm a man and I understand what men go through. I get messages from men who are struggling in life that are depressed because they can't get no women or the women that they like have cheated on them or cheated mm. them like crap. And nobody cares about what, what men go through, especially women. Oh. That's the facts, bro. Like, nobody cares what men go through. I nobody do. does. There's no... There, you don't see no mainstream talk show where men are just uh, pouring out their, their, their emotions. It doesn't exist. I pray that the society changes this so and men can be, like, more open. So we can give people, like, Tyrese Grace. Because people are going through... Right, like, you, 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 you're not listening to what I said. I you're, heard you, You're man. just going on some other tangent. At the you. end of the day, when the, when the light is shined on women, now there's a problem. When the light is shined on men, it's okay. It's all good. In fact, women will make videos and daytime TV, like The Real and, and them, all them other shows on nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, laughing at men and dissing men. But did so, men deal with that before, though? Did they deal with that, like, the men before, that came before us? What did the men? How do you think they deal with the situation? The, though? the society is different. Those men, those men of our grandfather's era, they wasn't dealing with the society that we live in now. True, that's true. We, it's a we different have it era. more. E we, we have it more easier though. Who does? Men and women. Women have it easier. Why Wait, do they say how easier? men dealt with it before? Women were not disrespecting men, and I understand. Um, you know, like we're used to the culture as it is, but you know, women were stoned. Women were not allowed to get out of pocket like this. Even the, this is biblical. If you're a Christian woman, you claim Christianity, you either do not know the Bible or your God and what he has told us as women, how we should be and, and, and submit to men. 
Bucking against a man is anti-biblical, is anti-God, is anti-Christ. The Bible talks about this in Proverbs, about the, about the woman, the harlot. Many of us operate right now today as Christian women, and we have all this pride and ego. Pride comes before the fall. Women were not allowed to talk, dress the way we do, <coughs> adornments the way we do. So if we want to take it biblical, And all of these things, we have to understand the world. You may have Christian values as a woman. You believe in God. You believe in those certain things. But the world has tried to deceive us and try to make us something we should not be in order to be accepted. And it's deceptive. So we've if if, this is not that show, but you have to understand women back in the day in the Bible. This is uh, this is out of pocket. Men were way worse then what we have yeah, today, and they were so this, is, this is godly. This is a dream come true. The worst man you can think of is godly compared to what it was biblically. Like if you really know what it was, I was raised in Christian school. Every day I had to digest this. This is my life. And so when I compare today and women complain, we go through slavery in the U.S. And what women complain about today, I'm not free. Are you? Are you smoking crack, bath salts, flocka, PCP? I don't know what you on, but you do not know anything about what real struggle is in this world. We go. There's children in the Philippines right now to eat. They have to go through garbage. They have to go through the landfills and eat maggot written meat. They call it brown stew. Like people have real problems. What we say in the West, men are doing this, we're oppressed and all this other stuff. It shows a lack of a fundamental understanding of your God, your world, the Israelites. You think about Moses. If, if it was, so I'm not trying to go there, but we've got to really get a perspective. Men didn't have to deal with this. And I'm not saying men are perfect and they do every, like, let's not play games. Let's not play games. But we're out of pocket. Like, I I can't say, oh, men are doing this, so I can't do this. I have to answer to my God and who I am. God made me from Adam's rib. I am subservient to the man. If I am a Christian or Muslim woman, I was created from man. It may not be the role I want in this modern world, but I promise you, doesn't like men treat me with so much love and respect. I just, it, it, I'm out of pocket. He's corrected me several times and this is my show or whatever. Instead of taking offense, I just, I'm laughing because I'm like, oh shoot, I am. Because he's corrected me and I appreciate the correction because I need to grow and learn. I don't take offense to it because to me, that's love. Mm. If he didn't give, if he didn't care, he just let me be wild in the street. Why is he even talking to us? Because he don't care. Because he just want to dunk on women. You have to understand the same hurt you may have gone through. All of our brothers have gone through. And society, the government, corporations, they they want you to claim God. But you know a form of God, but not God. If we knew what God was and the way I was raised. It, it, and, and a lot of women are raised. You have to understand, like, this is how men are. And no matter how much we complain, how much we buck against it. Even the city girls, women who have been like the street, they aren't for the street. They pave the street for the rest of us. You be coming up with these bars, man. I swear. I'm sorry. Right, let, me, uh, shout, I'm let, me, let me shout out the super chat. They want chat us to quickly. fail. Like them. <laughs> Hold on. They want us to get peed on. Let me. Let me. And let desperate. Me, let me, I'm getting flued out. Stop. Okay, uh, girl. Can I do I the super chats quickly? We got Manny F. He says blue hair looking like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka Blueberry. We got. Oh, I look like her today. We got Will, like Walter Walter <laughs> Rich Morgan. He says, did the modest Christian woman just rate herself ten out of ten? Jesus is Lord. We got to Omni Design Studio for the 20. Um, average female can become a 10 if she's feminine, friendly, and fit. Young, attractive females are usually for recreational use only. Male, you are 10. We got Daniel for the super chat. You ain't a queen unless a king appoints you as one. Oh, wait, you have one, so how can you be a queen, boo? We got Daniel for the su- super chat. We got Walter Rich again. He says, King Rich is uh, simping. Bro, I know you're gonna read just because you said Kate Rich is simping, bro. I'm just putting. I'm not gonna read the rest of it. But big up to you anyway, though. Big up to Omni of uh, Design Studio. He says Mel is a ten because she has three 
three Fs, feminine, friendly and fit, young ladies pay attention and learn. We got Frenchie for the super chat. We got Frenchie, yeah? We got zero fallout for the super chat. How come they didn't call Jada a groomer? If it was Will, his career would be in more shambles than it already is. He is known as a simp now. We got Michael Mitchell for the super sticker. We got Big Boy 702. Melanie is a beast on your pod compared to hers. I love how her more on this pod than when she's on hers. Keep up the good work, King. You the man. Uh, big up, appreciate that. Big up, Tricker. I love your energy, Melanie. Modern women need to hear this without the sugar coating. We got Chief Keith. He says, Blue, Waffle, Smurf, Barney, Dinosaur, just and learn. Uh, big up, Walter Rich <laughs> Morgan. Mel- <laughs> Melanie used a fire. No. Melanie used a fire and ad- analogy with Aaliyah and Tupac. That was a well thought comparison. Big up Omni Design. He says, Mel, let me know what you are drinking today, mammy. Love you. Big up to Caleb. All black women who do not have Melanie's energy for Jada. You're complicit in the destruction of the black male image. Just like the hypo- hypo- hypothetical, you would cancel Will if he did the same. You are not our women. Big up Johnny Yallop, the third. Uh, baby, baby boy, stop that. I see what you did there. Big up to. A medics 92 respect to Mel's but how many baby drinking references is she gonna give us today she has she was she's definitely a keeper big up to Michael Metro for the super sticker shout out to Melanie and King Riches get your flowers champ W producer big up to big boy Melanie is a beast but she does talk a lot yes she does she talks a lot bruv talks a lot still big up to Big up to call me Mr. Bibbs. Melanie, this is a perfect time for you to say something that Kevin was say that those women are called Transformers. LOL, I miss you, Kevin. Big up to Walter Rich Morgan. A simp is a man that gives an undeserving woman access to his time and money and attention. Big up to Walter Morgan. She has divine discernment. Jesus is Lord. Big up to Falcon Blizzak. 1K in the box. Salute. Appreciate you. Big up to uh, Michael Mitchell for the two super stickers. Big up to Top Brass 88. Uh, role play but switch genders hmm big up mad hatter for the super chat Esther trying to sneak back on the podcast as destiny girl you ain't slick what what does oh. that mean what does that mean because destiny's a There's youtuber that's got blue hair oh what about her guy, oh it's a guy yeah yeah, it's a guy, and Esther's another girl that came on the pod, but at the same time, she got Girls she got story. she's not allowed back on. Oh, so what they said about the so they said you, you were not they, her. I but you're you, not you're not don't as bad do as that. Esther. Don't you're do not that. as bad. Don't as do that to her. The other Come Esther. Come on now. Oh. There's a she's, there's another she's Esther. She's been very kind and listening. Even you know, y'all don't do that. Don't worry. Don't do that. You'll see you, the girl. video. We'll send There's only one Esther Durin Shah, but okay. Yeah. All right. We got to. Big up to uh, interracial relationships. Most women do not understand that one day they will lose the attention of 90% of the male and of all your special treatment will be gone. Grow up. Big up to Manny F. Ma- men age like Sean Connery and women age like Sean Connery. <laughs> hey, who? He's what? Oh, he's Sean Connery was it. fine. Don't yeah, but not, yeah, Don't but play he, with but it. But not a woman, though. If a woman shared the, if shared a woman looked like Sean shared, Connery, Cher just stole Amber Rose man, and she in her seventies and he's in his thirties. I don't care, bro. Hey, I don't hey, care. Hey, no, she couldn't steal me, bro. <laughs> hey. She paying him. But she can't hey, steal it me. is what it is. Anyway, big up eternal outlaw. He says society runs off man's pain. <laughs> society runs off men's pain. You know, that is cold, bro. That is a cold bar. I feel like men are going for a lot, man. Yeah, but they're you in know. pain. Like, yeah. like they and they don't have an outlet, and now we're hearing it. It's good, but you have to realize, like, they don't mean it like personal. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think it's just more. It's what not going personal. Through. They yeah. just suppressed it for so long. We got Michael Metro for the super sticker. Like we got Carlos for the super sticker. We got uh, Mister B nine three. He says people want the perks, but not the responsibility. We got big up to him again. He says Lady in White is actually listening and learning. Awesome. Hey. All right, cool. Let's reverse the roles quickly to end it. The role play. You hit no, yeah. You hit on me, and you hit on me after, and let's oh, see if you got let game. Her, let her do it because she hasn't done one yet. Yeah, yeah. All, right, all three of you then. No, Wait, uh, no. she I'm just don't want to do it. I'm a Mr. Sword. She don't, don't want to do it. I don't. I don't. She don't. Why? Man. Why? Why? See, this is. Jack, do you know what that shows? Do you know what that shows? What? Say again. I, said, I, don't, I don't really move to guys. So I don't really know how to. No, yeah, but either. that's the whole point. It has to be a guy that I have point. been able to see his character, yeah. like maybe work with, or yeah. like I've seen him about, and I'm just like, 
I just want to ask him something. And I want yeah. to, and I will go anyway. up. All right, let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. I've gotten to know you yes. in this. So let's do it. I'm ready. Yes. Let's do it. She's ready. After you, I'm just minding my business. What are you mm-hmm. minding? Uh, what are you minding? Uh, Why getting you in the studio who later. Are you, who are you talking to? All your girlfriends? In my head. All your girlfriends? In my head. But you got your phone. You talking to all your girlfriends? I'm looking at how many likes and how much money we've made this month. Really? Yeah. Really? How many girlfriends you have? Yeah. Huh? How many girlfriends? Is that you what have? you would say? Have you started? Yeah, she started. I've her. been starting. Oh, so oh, dang, it's the Matrix. He uh, didn't even know. I didn't even notice I you. I was asleep. I didn't even notice you. <laughs> I didn't even know you was there. Oh, you didn't know. I thought you was talking to yourself. I was. Because uh, you weren't paying Are you time. mad? Why you don't like That's what me? mad people do. You're mad at me. Mad? Yeah. Am I mad at you? Yeah. What do you mean crazy? No. Oh, wait. It's the UK, so I don't know how to say it. You seem like you're, like you're upset with me. I don't know about you. About something. I don't know you. You do know me, but I wait. Are we pretending like this, yeah, is, this fresh is off the block? Play. Yeah, fresh off the block. But I'm she gave to, context. But though. I gave context. That's not fair. That's too easy. Why? Like I don't my come one, up my to one, dudes my one, my one on the was, street. My one, yeah, but we, it's just an experiment. But men are okay. It's I'll come up to a man on the street. Where oh, are we? Cool. You set the stage and you tell me what we're doing. Subway. <laughs> not Subway. The, the Nando's. sandwich shop. The Subway. Nando's. Oh. Nando's. The Subway. You know I raged on Subway. I'm not coming to the UK to eat. Ah, right, cool. Ghetto uh, Subway. What's it? Wingstop. Mm. Not Ghetto Wingstop in the US. And Chick Fil A. Oh, can we give a UK Nando's. Popeyes? Okay, what we're not gonna do? Chipotle. We... That's oh. all right. I don't go to these establishments. Like... Um, I don't go to Chipotle. Okay, can I can I say anything? <laughs> can, we, can it be a networking event, like or like sure, a, whatever an, you a want. party? Live your movie. Like no, like, it is. like a party. That's yeah. what I would be comfortable. I don't feel comfortable, and I understand men have to put themselves out there, but men are conquerors. Men are supposed to. But I have to Let's be in a party. Let's get on with it, man. Okay. So we're at a party. <laughs> I started. He ended it. Oh. Okay, so it's like. Oh, this party is dead, boy. Yeah. You think it's dead? Me too, right? Yeah. Is this how it is in the UK? What, like, our party's just not lit? Like, I'm used to, like, the US. Like, we're just, like, it's like everyone's so stiff. What's up? Boy, it's just the way it is, isn't it? You seem a little stiff. Oh, am I bothering you? I'm sorry. Nah, you're not bothering me. I but... feel like I am. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, I'm just here, and I'm just chilling. I just wanted to, you know. It's kind of weird trying to talk to people, and like, I feel like no one's like on my vibe. Why? Why you feel like that? Are you like an alien or something? What's going I'm on? a little bit of an alien. I'm a weirdo. I'm socially awkward, and parties kind of make me like. I feel like everyone's like talking about like, what do you do for a living? Like, I do this. I do. That. I'm just like, like, can we just vibe and have fun? All right. How do you How do you do it then? If you don't talk about stuff like that, what do you talk about? Just like just fun stuff, like what we're interested in, like like things we want to do, like like you know our our t- like different topics, our opinions. Just like, but can I be honest? I don't want to talk. I don't come to a party to talk. <laughs> All of y'all are talking and it's like blah 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 blah. It's like who's dancing and partying? Is this how it is in the Go UK? I can't do then. this no more. If you start dancing, I'm sorry. This if is you dead, start, if you bro. start, if y'all you... are weak. Wow. Y'all are sad Damn. out here. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like Damn. I haven't had any man like really come up on me and like give me that energy like that alpha like mm, mm, that waist and just dance and we just got a vibe. I grew up around Howard University. You know what that is? I don't know where that is or what whoa, that is. Whoa. Who's Howard? Howard University. Yeah, what is that? The historically black college, the first historically black college in the U.S., and it's a vibe. vibe. Oh, I uh, I wouldn't know about them things. Where'd you grow up? In London. What part of London? South London. Well, I grew up in D.C. Well, P.G. County. Have you heard of P.G. County? Nah. It's called Prince George's County. It's Pretty Girl County. That's cool. Have you been to the U.S.? <laughs> You have zero games. Zero. I'm giving you games. Zero. You're being you're being excessively. Zero. And when I said nobody's Next. grinding up on me, you should have been grabbed my way. Next. This was a zero Next. for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> guys, tell the Women truth. Women can't take I rejection. Told him, no guy. <laughs> they can't take rejection. Look at that. 
Showcase, Melanie King. Can't take rejection. There you go. Him, girl. There you go. He, tried. He, 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 he wasn't faking. really giving you no he energy, to be honest. He, he was giving like, you nothing. She wasn't like, saying come anything. On, he was giving nothing. You, it was giving nothing. Uh, she was not saying She's taking that phone off. And dancing, <laughs> when a dude's like, nah, nah, she said, nah, nah, I'm like, nah. okay, he ain't into, like, I like how you're, uh, he ain't into this. I like how, I like how, I like how Esther is doing backup dance. Like, yeah, he wants to do. Are yeah, you going to yeah. have your go? No, Are you going to nah, do? Nah. Yeah, then you get me quiet. Anyway, next one. I don't one, mean to guys, on. man. Let's not right, Let's see, let's see. <laughs> so so where are we? Uh, the same place in a party. No, sit down, Melanie. No, it's okay. It's okay. Listen to, let, let's see someone else try it's okay. You're good. Look, that's it. That's it. That's it. Good job. All right, go on. <laughs> In a party, same situation. Okay. Yeah, man. I'm, get, I'm getting out there still. I'm doing well. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're right, yeah? Good, good, good. Guy. You're too busy right now. I'm seeing you checking your phone. No, 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 no. I'm cool. I'm Gucci. I'm good. I'm here. Yeah, you Gucci, yeah? Thing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what about you? You alright? I'm good. You know, I'm just here. You know, came here to have some fun, but my friends are doing some crazy stuff back there, so I'm just they're here. doing crazy stuff back they're, there. They wilding out. Listen, is it? <laughs> but well, anyway, you're the good girl there. Then I can be good. I can be bad. It, does, it really depends. What oh, you about got accent? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Portugal and Angola. What you got, Lee? <laughs> do, do you speak Portuguese? Nah. No. Do you, speak, <laughs> nah. do you speak any like Nah, I speak English, that's it. I mean that, that's That's it. That's 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 good enough. That's good enough for me though. It's fine. I can okay. understand you. So 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 exactly what made you like, you know, come up to me, you know, that's you know, women don't usually do that. So what made you come up to me like you want me to be honest? Wait, 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 say, you getting way more vibe. <laughs> Am I wrong? He is like way more lip. friendly. He's, he's so hostile. She's so hostile. She's so hostile to me. So but, but you know what, girl? You quick. got it. I'm going to let you. you know oh, she's mad. She's mad. She's mad. Yes. Women I'm can't mad. take rejection. I'm Let's mad. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why? You got it, though. You got it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> eh, eh, eh. anyway, anyway, yeah. So carry on. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, I saw you on your phone. I, I look bored, so maybe we could, you know, catch a vibe here at this party. Like, why not? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's that's good. But you know what? I'm actually, I gotta make a phone call still. So you gotta make a phone call, right? Now. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. You gotta go right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you gotta go, you gotta go. But I gotta, I gotta live my movie, fam. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I'm not gonna hold you, but when uh, when you come back, no. yeah, 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 all of that, all of that, all of that. Okay, would you like to drink? Uh, uh, water. You're at the party and you like to drink water. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol. I don't like alcohol. It makes you do stupid things. So wait, wait, say stupid things. So wait, what are you doing in this party? Ah, uh, someone just dragged me out. I don't like coming out either. I don't like parties. I don't like people. You don't like people. Why are you speaking to me? Because you spoke to me and I'm not that rude. Okay, so what do you like to do then? Uh, make videos. Okay, what kind of videos? What kind of like... bad videos? Bad videos. <laughs> <laughs> bad videos. Yeah. Bad videos. Bad videos, man. Hey. Okay. Nah, nah I, yeah, I'm being an arsehole on purpose. Um, listen, I don't know where the rest of the guests are gone, but I guess they've ducked out. Whatever. I want to say I appreciate you for being the last one standing. I'm going to okay. say, um, can you uh, give me your final thoughts on the podcast and everything? Um, I like the the platform because it's giving like quite of awareness to, to the youth out there, you know, because you have no filter like putting out wh what things are supposed to be said. And I really praise that. And I just really hope that you guys can keep like, you know, doing this for, for a long um, period of time. And that the people, like, actually, instead of just, like, listening and watching, that they can actually um, take, that, take that inside into mm. their lives, mm. you know? Because this is kind of like schooling, schooling. So it's quite, it's quite, I, I respect that. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you can shout out your um, socials or whatever you want to shout yeah, out. Yeah, of course. So my name is Noor. It's N-U-R. And my Instagram is N U R. <laughs> underscore m-u-s-i-i-k so it's nur underscore music with double i and the k i just released an ep you can check me on spotify nur energy that's the name of my ep and i'm dropping a new video so so gone um next week stay tuned awesome
And what about you, Esther? What about me, what? What is your final thoughts about the show today? Honestly, I felt like I had a lot of like strong opinions, but I actually did hear a lot of what you and Melanie were saying. I feel like I'm the kind of person that I like to get my point across, but sometimes that sounds like I'm trying to be combative. But the reality is I'm just saying my point. I want to be heard, but I really do appreciate some of the things that both of you guys said that has kind of taught me some new perspectives that I might need to take on board and contribute to my train of thinking. So that was nice. And I think it's a good platform um, for people to just, yeah, have their opinions and their thought pr their thoughts um, and people can learn from it. So, yeah, I think it was a good discussion, insightful. I learned a lot about a lot of different things, a lot of different perspectives and myself. So, yeah, it's been productive, I guess. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, we had a few people they had to leave because they had to go home early and stuff like that. I don't know where Melanie's gone, but you know, obviously, she's salty because obviously, I had to just reject her real quick. Get me King Riches, yeah, normal. <laughs> Big up to me anyway. Big up to King Producer, Top Producer, Security, yeah, whole team and that. Make sure you're hitting the like button on this video, leaving comments. Let me know what you think, all of that good stuff. Big up to me, yeah. Big up to me, underrated guy, I work hard, bruv. Big up to me, yeah, don't matter. Don't matter where you're watching this, any part of the country, any part of the world. Make sure you sh show me my, my respect and my ratings, all right? Anyway, with that being said, we're signing out. You lot take care of yourselves. We're out. Peace. What's going on, people? I'm King Riches, and you're on the King Riches YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe right now and have the notification bell ringing so you don't miss any of the quality content on this here quality channel. We've got something for everyone. We've got the street interviews, we've got the reaction videos, and we've got the podcast. In the street interviews, I go out there and ask the general public questions pertaining to dating, such as, do nice guys finish last? And then on the reaction videos, I react to crazy stuff you see on the internet. And on podcasts, we go more in depth on issues pertaining to dating and men's self-improvement so if you know you like content like that make sure you subscribe right now and have that notification bell ringing so you don't miss anything do it now